Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, Elmers. Wallen, as always, good to see you. Gucci, I got you today, dude. It's a good time to be here. Because, yeah, we're gonna do the tutorial all over again. Because I DC'd last week. Oishi, hello. Raging Moogle, congratulations on your Necromancer. I think, right, you got Necromancer on the Dark Knight. Danjay, hello. Sarek and Luxy, hello. Jason, hello. What's up, guys? How you doing? You did. Damn. Necromancer on Dark Knight is pretty awesome. Nice. Well done. Good job to pick now. I mean, it's 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 in a great spot um, to do that, so... But yeah, hello. Kiwi, hello. Yo, what's up, guys? Here we are. It's part two. How to be a necromancer. I, you know, that should be the name. How to be a necromancer. But honestly, that's what Sig does. He, he has... I think that's his thingy, so I can't take that. So we do the live tutorial. Um, what I'm gonna do, aside from, like, you know, not disconnecting like we did last week, is we're gonna try to pull everything. I'm gonna try to pull one of everything, so in this video you get to see what each thing does. And I think that'll be useful to a lot of people. And I'm pretty confident with the fact that we can do that. So that's what we'll do. So let's hop right in, we got a long night. Maybe I can, uh, go a little faster and avoid the disconnect, I don't know. I welcome another world's necromancer. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Alrighty, let's do it. Opening steel's nice. Do, 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 do. But I hope again you guys are having a good uh, Thursday. This little bird thing is real easy. One of the ideal ones to pull. He's sight too, or she sight. I don't know. Dude. Don't want to make assumptions here. The spriggans are gonna shoot you from afar, so you wanna watch your feet. They'll do a blizzard and shoot you from afar. I'll avoid that one just for now. Uh, Dullahan is. Sound and that's the uh, Spriggan shooting at me. So if you can, you can RP walk and uh, avoid them. I don't like fighting Bites, and you'll see why. Because the Bites do uh, paralyze, and then they follow up with AOE. Although I just also aggro the Dulahan, but whatever. We'll fight the Dulahan anyway. So that's why the Bites suck. The Dulahan will do uh, an on drain at some point. So you want to be careful with the kind of- I mean, you could stop it with, uh, with Interject. And, uh, also the double problem with, uh, Spriggans is that if you're paralyzed, they will kind of womble combo you. With their AoE and such, so that's why it's kind of extra bad to deal with them. My Dark Run is supposed to be the meme run break from wiping at, uh, 180. Four times in Warrior, alright. Um, I've been probably read Mation Mimics for her and me, so I have War Machinist file try out. It says Gucci, got it. Damn, well you know what? It just you just gotta always take it kind of seriously, man. And you just never know sometimes, you know? I mean even though you're hopping jobs. Uh we'll fight this brigand so you guys can see it. Um even though you're hopping jobs, you know, you just, if you play for real, you just never know what'll happen. That's just how Deep Dungeon really works. So just cast Blizzard, but it also casts a fast boulder. That's someone that's shooting at you from far. Not too bad at all. A lot of these enemies are not really bad. I think the only time you're gonna start to run into the first set of like bad enemies is let's say the Aramon in the next set of floors where they do uh, petrify. All right, we'll just get on out of here. I'm not really here for points, so we're just gonna go and provide the exit anyway. Yeah, Red Mage really takes a particular method to do it. I mean. It's like it's great, but it's not it's not as smooth as some of the other jobs. I'm, I'll admit that. I still find it a lot of fun. I still like Red Mage a lot, but it's tough to really argue against Warrior, Machinist, Summoner, Reaper, even. Um, so it's hard, but it's understandable. And then I cleared Boss One of Dark Knight. I was like, oh boy, only thing I should have done better is take advantage of Landmines with LD. Hey, I mean, another way to look at it is that you didn't need to take advantage of the LD, right? Because you clearly got it, so not a big deal. It helps, but you didn't need it. I gotta make up that reasoning I used in the last set, because we had to demonstrate the, uh, the Cobra killing. Uh, I'm gonna extend this. We're gonna hug the walls very tightly. I'm okay with a trap here if I step on one, but a lot of the times we should be okay. I'm gonna go the way I went already because I know there wasn't a trap. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll walk along one side of the room and I'd like to retrace my steps because at least I know if I walk exactly the same path we won't step on a trap. 
So, yeah, not to assume that there is a trap on the other side, but I mean, if you're walking through a new path and you decide to, to pull, then you could be stepping on a trap you didn't track already. Joxer, hello, how you doing? You finally cleared Ed Singer and Singer um, X. Nice, nice, Danjo. Let's go, man. You've been wanting to do some of the harder stuff, so it's good to hear. Wait, was there something here? Oh, Animantoys. Okay, I gotta pull Animantoys. Animantoys does just an AoE, and if you keep it alive long enough, it will do uh, a defense bonus. But that really only becomes a problem if you're fighting multiple things. You really won't see it on Machinist. Watch your Ricochet here. They also have a little bit of a longer aggro range for some reason, I think because their bodies are bigger or something, but they, they will aggro you a little bit further than you'd want to expect it to. Gonna pull the, uh, the Terok because it is in my way to get to the room. Pox made me panic, so I figured an interrupt might help me get- yeah. No, that's fair, man. Um, that's, that's completely fair. Yo, what's up, Sig? I know, I'm gonna try, man. Keep that, keep that uh, DC protection on for me, dude. Do -do 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 okay, we got our Mimic here. Not too bad, we're just gonna run it past. Just make sure that you have uh, your interrupt ready. Oh. Is Z Dungeon easier or harder for Machinist with this new update? Um. Well, if you're talking about the 6.11 update, uh, Machinist doesn't get anything out of that. Wildfire only gets affected by um, the higher levels, so that doesn't change. Uh, if you're talking about the 6.1 update, then yeah, it's just a it's just a pure potency increase, so it would just get better. Um, but it, it's in a good spot. I mean, it, it hasn't gotten worse if there's if, if that means anything. I would say because of the, some of the potency changes, it's probably a little bit better now than it was in Shadowbringers, but it was never bad to begin with. So it's really funny because um, I know Machinist is in a bit of an issue for PVE content, so they keep kind of, like they keep bringing it up because of raids and stuff. But it just makes it even better. <laughs> like it, like it wasn't really needed in Deep Dungeon at all, and it just keeps getting better. So it's pretty funny. <clears throat> it's like, hey, I'll take all the DC. Says Luxie. So I just age while I get. Oh my god. So can you feel the difference in Machinist mode seen in in? Uh, can I feel the difference? I I'll... it. I haven't been doing it consistently enough to tell you. I mean, I guess you can compare the times in which we take to get through the floors, but I can definitely tell you that at least when we were doing last week, uh, I just wasn't in. I wasn't threatened by time one bit. I mean, we were just some cruise control. I would have cleared last week if I didn't have the DC. You know, we would be doing something completely different. But such is life. Is there any new enemies here? I don't think so. No, not yet. Okay. Uh, oh, wyverns are proximity, so you want to pull them first if they are blocking your path. They just do a double attack, they're also a lot worse later, but they are proximity, so if you're trying to navigate through rooms, you want to eliminate them. Always, always handle the proximity enemy first. 330 wasn't, it wasn't much, yeah. Purity, don't really need that. Duli Han again is sound, so we can bypass it right here. All the turtles are facing to the right, so I can sneak the chests. Although the other one might turn because he hasn't moved in a second. Strength, I'll reuse it. So I'm gonna reuse strength here because I'd have to go back for it. I remember, I remember mentioning in the other video in the in Tuesday's run, like if you wanna re up the strengths, kind of closer to when you're done with the room. I mean, I could have killed these two turtles first too, but there is another room I really want to check. And that's one reason why I just picked it up now, because I'm not going to come back to that room. So it kind of depends and varies in the situation. A lot of times you will want to open the exit and then get the strength, but... That would have probably cost me a couple kills just to make that happen, or it would take me too much time. So in this instance, I just pick it up and refresh it right now. Wyvern over here might aggro, so we're going to take him now. Uh, in case he moves to the middle, I can't get to the other room. And you'll watch, I'll, I'll be kind of here and there, whether I, whether or not I want to walk through the room or fight in the hallway. A lot of times, depending on the enemy, I'll just fight in the hallway, wait for it to die, then move, because I wouldn't want to couple it up with a strength, uh, with a, with a trap, that would be real bad. Um, okay, I can get this chest, because these are all sights, unless I step on a trap. Lust, this me nothing. 
I'm gonna check all the rooms because I am down a raising and I'd like to have the raising. Uh, we're down a raising because we used one to demonstrate a death in the previous set. So, you know, I don't want to go in with lack of raising, so we'll take a little bit of extra time to check some chests here. Check, 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 check. Safety, which means I'll get the beam. I had lots of fun, but I was feeling healer deep. I was feeling the healer DPS lost, lost Christian, lost Christian tank. Yeah, and healer, I mean, healer is interesting because you have the heals, right? I mean, you, you probably won't die as a healer, but therein lies the issue is that you want to use your heals less and less because if you're using, like, say, GCD heals, that means you're not doing damage, and that's a problem. You gotta do as much damage as you can because your damage in general is really bad. Um, just a tough bound, but but I'll be honest, Miluxi, the, the healer runs as as hard as they are, and as irritating and annoying and frustrating as they are. Well, let me tell you, they taught me so much from from those runs of how to go faster and how to manage time, and I felt like it carried over into basically every other class. And then when you come back to a job like Machinist or Red Mage or something, you're like, wow, we're moving so fast. Like it, it's like time is a, is literally like slowing down. Because you're, you're accustomed to time being so rushed in the in those jobs, and I, I just felt like I just got so much better because of healers. So I like that experience, I like that challenge a lot. You just learn so much, pushes your limits so much. Healer is painful early on as well. Yeah, and like, a lot of healers don't get their AoEs to like 45, 46, so it's just terrible. Yo, what's up Mage Gunner, how you doing? Come here, Spriggan. Yo, Ari, hello, how you doing? Good to see ya. So this Wyvern will have to go because it's Fox. Um, because it is blocking basically anywhere. It could go behind me, so we eliminate here to minimize the kills. Again, the theme that you want to go for is you want to kill just enough. Minotaur is patrol here. I'm actually going to heal extra here because, uh, this is a lot of damage in the min in that thing. The Minotaur does, um, AoE swing. I'm going to back out of here. That's all it really does. Kind of a kind of an ass position, but we're okay. Alright, let's proceed. Good to hear. That's why I'm using healer tank to form pot treats, well as other class I don't have experience on. Gotcha. Okay, dead end here. Purity. So we'll pull the uh, the enemy in the in the exit so it's clear and then we'll go to that room if we need to do any more. Uh, if I just run Summoner Reaper, I'm not gonna improve. You will! I mean, you will improve. But again, it's also kind of a subjective thing. Um, you know, you'll improve for that job. You kind of you kind of think of like two prog points. You're progging Deep Dungeon in its in itself, and then you're progging the job. And you prog the job, but yeah, potentially you're not necessarily progging Deep Dungeon as fast. That makes sense. Okay, so these doing these last throws says Speed Mage. I felt so much more at ease doing. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear. And if you're sitting there, I mean, we're definitely going to get up to there unless unless we have tragedy with the internet. But um, we're certainly going to get up to there. And yeah, you know, the more I do these, the more I kind of see what needs to be what needs to be mentioned. And comments like you like you guys mentioned really help me too to figure out what we can talk about. And one of the main one of the main improvements we'll do with a with a guide like this is we will I will intentionally try to pull everything and explain everything. I think before what I did was I explained like, okay, this thing aggro's like this, this thing does this. I explain what it does. And a lot of times I would avoid pulling them and give you an explanation as to why. But then I did see over time that it's like, well, people actually just want to see it, you know, just visually see it as well as hear about it. So it's like, okay, let's just do it. But I've also gotten better since like the last life to thrill to be fair. So I'm more comfortable, like when we get to the higher fours, I'm totally gonna try to pull an Anzu if I have a steel on, we're gonna pull crawlers, we're gonna pull sprites, we're gonna pull flash dragons, like I'm really gonna pull everything. Assuming the uh, situation presents itself and I have the proper buffs for it, but I, I would like to pull everything so you can visually see it. Um, and I think that's going to be important. Because I can tell it to you, but again, it's like kind of the premise of this video, it's the premise of me doing these 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 runs in the in the beginning with is to like show you the proof, right? Video proof of what's what's going on, and I think that's part of that that I just have to just show you. Um, okay, so the basilisk does an opening uh, petri, but it's just a small conal. It's really easy, and then it does a very fast body slam, which is just a point black AOE. That one, 
Uh, not a, not a big deal. Just, just, just go away from it. Especially if you're probably hiding a machinist, it's like a, it's like not, it's not a concern. Should do the Conal, but it didn't get to it, so it's fine. I'm gonna pull the Sprig in here because he just moved in a spot that uh, would block me from that area. This is right. Alright, what else we got here? The wire wrist proc, so I probably have to pull it. Um, yep. Minotaur is coming in. You wanna pull the Minotaur? I'm kinda face tanking here. Oh, yo, what's up, team? How you doing? Good to see you again. I'm gonna go away from the AoE. Back in. Alright, we're gonna go. Uh, actually, no, we, let's check the chests. I, I, I still need to have some items, so we'll check. But we won't, we'll try not to pull anything. Um, so I don't have to do extra kills. Uh, I think it's over here. It's over here. Hugging the wall tight to avoid traps. Safety. Don't have to worry about traps. Timmy, how you doing today? Good to see you, man. Turtle's not looking in the direction, so I can go visit the room over here. Expand the Peloton, guys. Even if you have to come like 80, 80 D about the Peloton, use the Peloton. I'm probably gonna aggro both the Spriggan and the Turtle. Yep, that's by the way. Uh, we did get a flight though. I'm gonna focus the Turtle, because again, the Turtle has a defense bonus if you keep him alive long enough. Also gonna watch my HP here to make sure that we don't do it, we don't overdo it. I'm gonna pot here just to make sure. The rooms here, we've been talking about it in the previous video that the floors 91 to 140 are a little bit tougher. Enemies seem to die slower, they also seem to hit you harder. So I'm putting that into respect, like if we do a double pull, we may want to be a little extra careful because I also don't have too much running room, um, to be fair. Although I did safety this, but you know, it's just tight quarters, so it's just better if I just play a little safer. But a lot of times I can deal with most things here without using sustaining. It's going. Nice. So we got a strength and a steel here, so I'll pop them when I get closer. The Spigen might shoot me, because he hasn't chopped me in a while. So I'm gonna stay away from him just for a bit. Alrighty. Let's go to the exit. The steel's by the exit. Could have been a respawn here, but probably not. Alright, let's go. Moving right along. Time is fantastic. As it should be. Ah, uh, good old FF12. Le Mimic. Is it only one? You want to be careful. Okay, I did actually want to mention this one time. So if you do an altered, if you do an altered room and they turn into mimics there is a small percentage chance that they will actually open with Death Trap instead of Infatuation. And let me tell you, when you've been doing dozens and dozens of Mimics, and you're conditioned to do an opening Head Graze on a Mimic, because that's usually what it does, and all of a sudden it does Death Trap, that is the biggest Jebate ever. And it's definitely Jebated me a huge amount of time. So if you see an Altered Mimic, it can happen to a Mimic that you spawn from the chest too. It's extremely rare. I've seen it at least one time in my entire existence doing deep dungeon but it will be way more common in uh it will be way more common in the the mimics that are already there so just kind of give it like a little bit of a one second buffer so you don't get caught up not that it matters on machinas because you have the purities but you know sometimes it kind of sucks to take the take the pox at a certain moment in time absolute fear of seeing the cast keep going after head graze oh <laughs> it was because of the lag or something oh my god it feels more common than you're saying for the chess mimics. Hey, love kips. If it happens to you, then hey, look, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to dispute that. I'll just say from my end, I rarely see it. I can only recall literally one time that it happened. But I see it way more from the altar, so that's just my experience. Yo, Ricky, what's up, dude? Thank you, Institute. You ended up clearing. <gasps> Wait, you're the one who did the, uh, who was, who was stepping into, um. 
who was gonna step into 191, and you asked for some advice. Yo. Hmm. I'm glad. And I'm glad some of those things probably helped. Maybe helped. I hope they helped. I feel like altered ones do death. Yeah, altered ones totally do death trap first a lot. Um, again, I won't disagree with the pop chest, but that's just my experience. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Ricky. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the five. Oh my gosh, that's too kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey man, congratulations on getting the Necromancer. Welcome to the club, as we all like to say. Actually, you know what's cool is that I got alerted by YouTube uh, that you can now actually... Uh, it's a feature on YouTube videos called Thanks. It's called Super Thanks. But apparently what you can do is you can actually... If you wanted to like contribute extra to the video, you can actually do it directly there. I thought that was kind of cool. So I, ha I turned that feature on today. Um, so it's almost like... It's almost like how you guys would do bits and subs and stuff. It's like, you can do it on the video now. On the YouTube video specifically, so that's kind of cool. Um... Aww... Ex ex Exodius. Enjoy that sub. Hey, guys, did you know? See this? I'm gonna use the mouse. I know, we don't use the mouse. See this? We got the bone down and the damage up. They have a defense bonus. Uh, when they have, uh, Gloom. We have a Lust here, so watch this right here. This is gonna get overwritten by the Vuln, so it's gone, because the Vuln will take it over. Uh, that's just a little tech for the, for uh, having Gloom and then seeing Lust. It's not, it's not a common thing for me to have, um, because, you know, I don't typically use Lust in a just willy-nilly, but we have the extra, so I can show, I can show you that one. It's kind of nice sometimes. It, it'll come into play sometimes if you really need to, but, I mean, if you got a free Lust on the ground, and you're like, yeah, what am I gonna do with that Lust? Well, you can just take out the damage. You can just take out the, the defense bonus for like an enemy. Even if you just do one cast, you do one cast, it's fine. Now he's now he's taking damage equal to equal to like without gloom. It's kind of nice. Can't wait for the next Eve dungeon. You and me both, dude. I'm I'm ready for the next Eve dungeon. I gotta I gotta kill what I think it's eight nine months. We gotta kill, so uh, you know, got a lot of time. This thing's moving, I can hear it in my ear. Something was moving. The uh, owls are sound. Actually, I started to stop explaining things. The owls are sound, you saw what they did. The effigies, did I pull one? Let's pull an effigy. I think I did pull one. Effigy just does a really long conal. Uh, if you get hit by it, it's just going to do a knockback, it's not going to kill you. Uh, but it's it's not. It's one of the best things to pull, and they are also sight enemies. Uh, the centaur are proximity, so you do want to handle them. Um, and they just do kind of a damage boost and then an AoE follow-up. So just staying away from them is not a big deal. Um, you can handle them pretty easy. Owl's coming in this way. There's the AoE rear. If anyone did uh, put the Baltus in Arsenal, it's basically the same move except rear. It's not going to delete you if you get hit with it. It's also a lot slower. In Baltus you had to you had to stop the Berserk, otherwise like people would just die. Uh, Steel, I'll use it later. Let's exit the floor first. Uh, let's pull the effigy because it gets me to the chest. I'm still hunting down a raising that I'm missing. Alteration again. I already have one up. Uh, I'll use the steel now because I may not come back here. I have one more room to check anyway. Uh, let's pull the effigy, yeah. Yeah, I'll get the chest first. I'll fight here just in case. Don't quite remember the path I was walking. I'm gonna walk here so I don't take the owl. My peloton. Let's go to the exit because we got two more rooms there and enemies to kill off. More owls. Look how hop- look how fast it's hopping, dude. The, uh, Urlith are proximity. And they just basically- they're just like a caster, pretty much. They're not too bad. But they are proximity, so they kind of are annoying. Uh, I'm gonna pull this one so I can get access to the room next to it. 
So this is an extra kill, but it is what it is. I think something just spawned here. Could be. I could be hearing things. Another lust there. Um, that's a bronze chest, so I kind of want it. There's two enemies here. Let's pull this one. I want the bronze chest for the pot shirt. Kind of here for pot shirts. I got a load of time anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Pot shirts are a higher rate of, of drop here in the higher floors, so that's why I'm going for it. Alright, uh, great. That's nice. That's proximity, so that probably has to get pulled. I'm gonna run this way. Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna run now because uh, I could take the chest. I'm gonna pop a potion just in case. We get the chest here. That's a pot shirt. Worth it. Run the back. Following my footsteps here. Alrighty. Okay, Lust is here. We're good. Alright, to the next turn. Yeah, it's going through the classics today. Alright, we got Corrigans. Two. I'll back out. Oh, actually... Here, it's just shot. Safety. Good pick up there. Yeah, there's a backtrack first, and then we'll check the... we'll come back here. Potchard! Give me those potchards. Alright, these are all proximity. Well, actually, two of them are. Kind of blocking the chest. Effigy just moved into the chest, so I have to pull the... The block, anyway. I had a pog. Corrigan treasure room allowed me to bypass damage down. Ooh, coming into the clutch. Let's go. Hey, those alterations can come in handy sometimes. You know, I mean, most of the time they're gonna be handy, and either way you slice it, but. Wait, did I check that chest? No, I didn't. There's another safety arc. Okay, what do we got? This is safety. These are all sight enemies, as you can tell. Steel. Uh, we'll pick that up later. Let's go, let's just clear this up, open up the exit, and then we'll go. Risky ricochet there, because the enemy is kind of close, but not close enough. So here in this instance, I'm going to pick up the steel later, as opposed to now. I'm going to pull the centaur, actually I'll pull this centaur. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm going to sneak in right now <coughs> to get the two chests here. This is two bronze chests, they could be Patrick. Uh, that's one. Okay, I have one. That's one. I'm gonna step out of this room first. Yeah, yeah, the effigy's coming with me. I, I didn't want to pull too early because these things could have moved. Can't hit a GC apparently. We're gonna move towards the steel now. Since I had to have this floor safety. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's get the steel and off we go. Which is good because I want to have steel for the boss. Even if I didn't get the extra, I would have steeled for the boss, because the boss is going to do a lot of damage. And you can take care of the boss without steel, except... Oh, this has to get full, this proximity. Except, uh, you're probably going to have to use a lot of sustaining potions to get through that fight. So I would recommend a steal, especially if it's your first time, or, you know, first couple times up here. Just play a little safe. Um, the, the logic that I put into it is, where is the steel more useful to you? Is it more useful to you on the boss, or is it more useful to you on the floors proceeding? But the next floors are not that bad. You'd rather just... I personally would have rather have it on the boss. But again, that's gonna be kind of your preference uh, as you do the runs. Yeah, there's no kind of right answer or wrong answer with that. 
this is the preference, the guideline, if you will. I'm gonna use the shank already, because more than likely we're gonna get to the boss within 8 minutes here. I'll take the war- I'll take the, uh, the owl here. Got a centaur here that I want to take, because it's fox. Got more owls coming in, great. We got an army of owls coming in. Watch my ricochet just in case the owls get close by. I'm gonna pull because I just propped my turret down. Good. More owls! Lusts don't really need to hear this instance. Again, they are sound. Even though they have, like, you know, bright blue eyes, they can't see you. They can only hear. We gotta pull the centaur because it's totally in my way right now. Wow, there's more owls! Like, five patrols here, holy crap. Alright. One... Two... Three... Four... Walking here, Peloton. Let them pass by. Watch out, because there are owls behind me too. So I'm kind of racing the clock, if you will, and think enemies behind me. Alteration doesn't matter, because we're gonna... Uh, yeesh, get another owl! Like six patrols here, goodness. There's a lot of owls, holy crap. The only thing that spawned is like two centaurs and 20 owls. Like literally, but there's like, there's a couple things here. Okay, moving a little bit further in, because again, we have the owls kind of chasing us behind us. I'm gonna pull this one because it might come to the exit, so that we'll just need to clear the exit out. Uh, we have the chest here. I do- I would like to check it only because, again, we're missing the raising, so I could get it. Um, I'll probably pull it no matter what. So I can have access to it. Just gotta keep my back, uh, kind of aware here because, again, you have those owls in the back that are gonna return because it is a one-way street. This is a bronze chest, nice to... Another pot shirt, love it. Good, I've gotten so many pot- I got like five pot shirts here or something like that. Uh, I got my sight back, so that's at least something. Alright, to the boss. Bring in the in-game music here. We have Shank Steel. I will lust for the boss, because again, I don't- I do not like this boss in particular. It's the- it's the- it's my least- least... Uh... The boss I hate- I hate the most. I hate this boss a lot. If this feels like the old... Um, the old Heaven on High 20 boss. Like, the Heaven on High 20 boss right now in Endwalker is fine. But in Shadowbringers, it was such a slog, and this boss is such a slog. It just takes- it just feels like it takes so long now. And that's probably a byproduct of the- of the stats squish and all that stuff, so... Potrid Mania, what's up, Biftech? Uh, you hello, how you doing? Good to see you guys. This thing does four puddles. On the fourth puddle, you need to go to the middle. Also, I'll show you uh, a little bit of tech here. So traditional strategy here, he goes to the middle, you just go dead center. Uh, that's your traditional method of doing it. Now one thing that uh, that, that a couple guys have, have taught me, uh, Zeto and also Yabi have taught me this one, just by their videos, that you don't have to be dead center, you can actually be on the outer ring. Um, and, and the thing is, when you want to go in the outer ring, it's, uh, it's, it's an interesting perspective because, um, normally when you're running into the middle, it seems like you gotta be dead center, but if you're already there, then it kind of is okay. Um, so I'll go into the middle already, so watch, I'm gonna kind of park myself outer ring here. Already be in the spot right here, that's fine. Pop potion just in case, but we're fine. A lot of times why people would get caught there is because they're trying to run in and you get snapshot a lot earlier. So that's why it might visually seem like you need to be dead center, but if you're already in that position, it's okay. It's like outer ring is safe. He's gotta be there in enough time. Of course, with this job, uh, you're running around a lot because you're trying to mitigate damage by running around. So more than likely, you're trying to run into the middle as opposed to already there. Melees are already there normally, because it'll be like kind of off time if you will, instead of running around like this. Be good. Get the hero, dude. Uh, Liu. Oh, shit. I kind of forgot. I'm gonna pop pod here just in case. Might have been late. 
Oh, we're good. I, uh, I, uh, lost count. Actually, I wanted to demonstrate that, clearly. Obviously. I hate this boss. Tactician. Oh, yeah, don't stand in the puddles, guys. <laughs> I showed you, like, the floor 70 boss that's standing in the puddles is pretty cool. You didn't have to do anything. Oh, yeah, not these puddles. You don't want to stand in these puddles. The ice one does a uh, significant weight, and the fire puddle does a significant DOT, so uh, don't stand in the puddles. Puddle's bad, okay? Did I beat Elden Ring? Uh, I haven't gone back to Elden Ring since that first week I played it. I haven't really been interested in doing it. I might though, like, honestly, I don't have a game right now that I'm playing outside of 14, outside of also Strangers, but Strangers is kind of set right now because I'm doing uh, speedruns there. I don't have like another game after that, so maybe I go back to Elden Ring, I'm still thinking about it. Alright guys, that's 1.30 in the bank. His name's Kyle. <laughs> uh... Here we go. 131. Uh, food's good. Oh! Okay, let's continue. Let's continue the guide! Dun 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 dun! Yeah, you told me! You told me that. I remember. Heck dies! They are sound. Trust me. They might have 10 eyes, but they can't see shit. I run on fumes each day. I mean, hey, don't worry about it, man. But yeah, you did tell me. Heck dies are pretty easy, they just do an AoE paralyze that you just saw earlier. And Gormons are kind of the more annoying ones because they do tank busters. So we're kinda of gonna respect it here. When a tactician, so kind of open with a beatdown, that's the that's the thing. I can't believe I didn't aggro that Aramon right there. Uh the Gormond are proximity, so that's why they're a little bit more annoying. Uh, they are- they are 100- they are 100% eyes. They don't have eyes behind them. They only have eyes in front of them. Alright. Aramon coming up next is Sight. They are patrol. Uh, you wanna stay close because they'll do an L5 Petrify. And L5 Petrify is close range. So actually if you run away from them, they never use it. So see how fast that one used L5? It was like 3 GCDs, boom, L5. Take note of that one because I'll pull another one because I saw it. And I'll show you why. What'll happen when you don't do that? Yeah, everybody knows. Maybe. Alright, hold on a second. Okay, so we're gonna pull this Aramon. I'm gonna keep running away from it. And watch this entire fight. This entire fight, uh, it probably won't use uh, L5 at all. Maybe. Which is, you know, extra annoying. I'm gonna poach him here just in case. So notice they still haven't used L5 yet. That's because we keep running, and that's why with the Aramon, you gotta stay close. So the moment I get close, he's gonna use it. Right there. And that buys you time, he's not doing damage if he's doing L5. So you gotta stay close to Aramon. Another go. Great, I'm gonna push him here. Pretty dangerous. True. Q, how you doing? Kek eyes? Jason, you didn't give me that list of uh, of emotes I should put into BTTV. Put them in at one point. All right, so we've done all those. Now we have the souls, but I'll do that later. Uh, that is sound, the soul, so I can bypass it. But we will pull one just so you guys can see it. Um, again, heck dies are sound. Trust me, I know things. So we're walking. We won't aggro. Don't ask me why. I, do, I, don't, I don't understand why I can't see me. It's just, yeah, just, dude, it just, you know, it's just a thing, you know? <laughs> it's just a thing. I'm literally right in front of it. Can't see shit. Forgot about that, aside from my work life all around Christmas special. Hey, no worries, dude. I'm, I got my things going on myself. I'm forgetful myself. It's really not a big deal. I mean, honestly, like, even if you send it to me, there's a there's a small percentage I just forget also. So, you know, it doesn't really work too well. But I know we talked about it, um, so... 
There's been a lot of side projects that I just haven't been able to do yet, because I've been busy with other things. Um, Soul. We'll pull it. Again, that is sound. But we'll pull it just so you can see. It's very... It's basically, think of it just like Hecti's. It does kind of very similar things. It does just, just an AoE, single target. It's just not that, not that big of a deal. Um, and the Ogre is Sight. Uh, I will pull it so you can get access to that chest. Uh, it's just a Sight enemy. It does a gin ginormous AoE called Hearthburn, but it's not a big deal either. Um... Well, don't tell it to me now, dude. It's even worse. I mean, you're just doing that because you know I forget what I'm doing. You're just doing it now because you know I'm not gonna remember. It. That's all it is. I see. I see your game. Excuse, 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 excuse. Okay, let's go. Oh, well, that's trash. Hey, can you turn around? Turn around. Turn around. You son of a... <sighs> Enemies always spawn on top of me, dude, or in my way, every time. Checking what is available. I think you can check what's available by just looking at my... Can't you just look at, like, your BTTV thing? Is that a way to do it? Someday I'll catch Cinder Surprise someday. Wait. Fishing schedule until you catch the last one and then they add more. Cinder Surprise is one? When what's the what's the criteria for Cinder Surprise? Alright, we we fought basically everything here, so you guys have seen that now. And we'll pull the things that are new, but we'll kinda go through the strategy. So like kind of what I'm going for here is that I'll have kind of a strategy that I, I implement in terms of just getting through the floors. And then we'll add in the fact that I'll try to just make sure you guys see something of each enemy. Wow. That sounds fun. Airmark. Then we're staying close to Airmark. So we can bait out Petrify. There's Petrify. It is a conal. It's a it's a normal conal, so you have to get behind it. Some people who have been doing Heaven on High are too used to the Heavenly Naga, and the Heavenly Naga is a is a gaze, and a, and a gaze. It's not a, it's a conal gaze, but it's not a conal conal. So like you would just turn around, but if you turn around to that L5, you're getting hit with it anyway. So uh, just uh, you know, <laughs> just uh, make sure you get behind it. I've been in Palace. You've been you haven't been in Palace for three weeks. Damn, dude. A long time. But it's okay, it's not going anywhere. Literally, it's not going anywhere for like nine months, so. He ain't. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. Pulling hair ties. Moving to the next room because it's a uh, spawn room. Let's see what we got. We have a Gormon here, we have an Ogre there. We're gonna go across the room. We got a Fortion here. Another Gormon here. Wait, what? Was that the same one? Wait, what? Did it already turn around? What the hell? I thought I had a couple seconds before it was gonna turn around. This is immediately turned around. Oh my god. I thought it was gonna like dive into the room or something. Uh, okay, checking chest after the enemy's dead. Another strength. We'll take that on the way out. I should be clear to check this last room here. No problem. Did, uh, did you finish? Did- wait. Okay. Uh, do you got a recent-ish full run of Dragoon? Uh, Heaven on High, yes, not Palace. I haven't been in Palace for Dragoon this expansion yet, but I did go this expansion to Heaven on High, and I liked it a lot. I, I was crapping on Dragoon so much before in Shadowbringers, and then I tried it here in Endwalker, and I was, like, really happy. <laughs> like, wow, this job's great! And actually, I didn't even do it. I didn't do Dragoon before the jump, uh, the jump buff. So I did it when jump was still like the original jump. Um, in terms of the speed of it. So even better, it's just gonna be even better now. With a high speed jump. Strength. Okay, uh, I don't have to go for the other strength then. We're walking. Heck eyes can't see me because they ain't they ain't they ain't got vision with the ten eyes they have.
It was a bad. <laughs> yeah, true. True. I say that. I say the keyword Magnus just appears from the air, lands on top of my head. So, purity. Ah, uh, let's pull the ogre. Dragoon. How to summon Magnus? Say, hey, Dragoon. Gonna start grinding out Dragon runs whenever I'm not raiding. Alright, hey, a Dragon's great. I, I actually do like Dragoon right now. I actually would love to do a Dragoon run if I wasn't chasing Astro, but the problem is that Dragoon's gonna kill my Potsherds. I, I cannot kill my Potsherds right now. I, I cannot afford doing that. Okay, Mummies are like the Mummies from before. There's no difference. I would say their AoEs is slightly faster. If you're, if you're fighting the ones from 91+, plus, I would say their AoEs are slightly speedier. Actually, from like 100 floors ago. Yeah, it's just it's just slightly faster. It's the only change for them. Where's the chest? It's over here. I'm coming from building a chair, and then working on new comedy specials. Nice. I heard you were doing some video editing earlier in a Chila stream. Sounds good. How is that going, by the way? I hope it's going pretty good. Video editing is ass, man. I I hate video editing. I actually have so many shorts I need to work on. And I've just been kind of dragging my feet on that, but I'm gonna do them in bulk. One, two, three, four. I think this ogre might aggro because of his position. Yep. New theme song has a full set of videos and attitude to like, ooh, cool, 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 cool. I wish I was better at editing videos. I feel like I'm so bad at that. Like, I feel like there's better ways of doing it and I just don't know how to do it. I, I gotta keep doing it. But I'm so bad at editing videos. Steal. Mm, let's open up the expert. What is in the other chest? Oh, purity. Okay. Watch out for... Oh! I was typing by accident. Rocking about the tree. Ogre. So here I'm not taking the steel yet, because I mean I don't really need steel right now, but I mean it's gonna be useful later, so I may as well just take it on my way up. Ah, uh, it's getting through the Fire Emblem songs too. Steal again, we'll take that maybe on the way out. Okay, so we have guards. Guards are not bad, not here. Uh, they are sight here. They're actually- they're- they're proximity in Heaven on High, but they're sight here. Uh, they just do, I think, a Konal and an AoE. They're not really threatening, and a double attack, but really they're, they're fine to pull. No big deal. Flight is good. Also, just keep notice of- uh, this is one thing I mentioned in, the, in last week's video. Take a notice of time. I mean, if you're- I know a lot of people like to run these- run these videos when you're doing your own runs. So essentially, I'm running alongside you sometimes. A lot of people have said they did get that. But observe the pace that we're going in. I would almost think that I should be going faster than most people. So kind of take into note how we're pulling, how we're making decisions and all that stuff, and see if you can apply just that- that application to your own runs, you know? Going faster is always going to be better. As long as you're not taking risks doing it, it only becomes bad if it causes deaths. That's the only that's the only time when when doing something like that is bad. But we're going at a moderate pace while keeping everything still rather safe. So keep it in mind. Now there was another Gormond. Okay, I gotta remember that Gormond because I gotta go back and get the steel, and that might become a bit of a problem. So I want to actually keep the the pulls a little minimal here. Pulling this one right now. Can't proceed any further because of the mummy. Full we'll stay. Hermon, I'm gonna back out first. Yeah, the Gormon didn't come this way. 
See if I can sneak around this Aramon in a certain way. Nailed it. Okay, this has to get pulled. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll pick that up later. Wait, what is the other one? Here's a steel. Okay, I do want to get the steel though. I'm actually going to skip the heck dice here because I probably end up fighting either the Aramon or the Gorman going back to get the steel. Flight here, I already have one up so it's unnecessary. I could take it for the points, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, Ganyu, hello. I'll read your message in a second. It's been quite some time. I'm doing exactly what you say. I started to run with me on the side. Hey. I, uh, I am. It is a honor and a pleasure to be running alongside you, but I hope we can both uh, get the clear, if you will. Although, if this is on YouTube, I probably will. You already know what the result is. <laughs> you know, imagine, imagine I start posting the videos, being like, you know, floor 121 to question mark. You know, it was funny because um, we were having this discussion a, a number of months ago, uh, and it was around the lines of like how certain content, video game content. Uh, if they're pre-recorded, like let's say a tournament or something, uh, a lot of times, just just under normal circumstances, you would kind of know when the tournament was done, or like what the results are. You know, it's like watching a TV series or something, and you look at how much time is left, and you're like, oh, the episode's about to end or something like that. Um, <clears throat> but then I remember someone talking about how in a in a StarCraft tournament, what what the uploader would do is they would actually load the video up with, with, uh, with just, uh, nonsense, not nonsense, uh, what word am I looking for? Just black space, a black screen for like X amount of time, like 20 minutes, 30, 40, one hour, at the end of the video. So it would throw off the prediction of like, oh, the, 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 the match is gonna end, you know, it's like, you got 20 minutes left in the video. Now he, he added in like extra fluff towards the end of the video to throw that off. Filler, thank you. Thank you, Broki. Hey, Broki, good to see you, man. That was my that was my plan to pull you out of Lurk. I got you, dude. Uh, so that would be cool if like I did that in my video. I would do like, you know, um, you know, 121 to question mark, question mark, and like you would just see like the the the, the how the times of the floors would go, and you're like, oh, like the like the the one from last week, it ends at 193. And like you would walk into 193 and you'd see like, you know, 20 minutes 20 minutes on that floor, it's like, oh that something must have happened. Uh, Smash tournaments do that. Got to be a little cautious here because this is uh, no items and gloom. Okay, the these these patrol do a minimize uh, gaze, so, and it's fast. So you wanna you wanna turn away from it quickly, and it will wombo combo into an AOE, which is designed to catch you if you do if you do get minified. So be careful with that one. <laughs> one of the most unique looking AOEs, by the way. Uh, Smash tournaments do that they put something like empty space to avoid spoilers thing is i check the live button jump the thing i see five minutes left and you're running two i go oh <laughs> maybe i found the secret entrance man you never know maybe maybe that one run we found we find the secret the secret door so there are the hawks here but i'm not gonna pull a the hawk here i'm gonna pull it maybe in the next step like i said i'm gonna pull everything but i'm not interested in pulling it in a, in a freaking door if I can help it. hey dude thanks for the nine that's twitch baby Zam, dude, you Twitch baby. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for the continued support. I appreciate it. DC on the first floor at empty at eight hours of empty space. You got it, Sig. Miss Donut Bunny. Hey, what's up, ma'am? How you doing? Less than three, less than three, <laughs> Angelus. Thank you for everything you do. Aw, uh, thank Angelus you. Thank you. Animate. Thank you for being an amazing friend and an amazing person. I saw Miss Donut Bunny. I was hopping around, was it yesterday? You had quite the night, I think, yesterday, the day before. So, well deserved, ma'am. That was awesome to see it. Guys, check out Donut Bunny. Her streams are just so, so cozy and great. And she's a great person. She's so happy on stream. It's awesome. Such a happy person. I was dead. <laughs> no, you, you, you. Okay, we're gonna have to do it the hawk. The reason I don't like a the hawk is because they give me disease, and disease uh, slows slows your movement speed, so it's just really freaking annoying. Especially when you're trying to go fast. That's why I don't like them. 
Um, hey Gal, oh Gal, thanks for giving a sub to, to the- Oh, sniping the hype train, I see how it is. Thank you for that. Disease prevents me from being Sanic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I read that as Sanic for some reason. For some reason, I thought people can type in. Yeah. Me too. Do, 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 do. Uh, I think no. I mean, I can't really check. I can't really check chests here. Here's a hype train, guys. I'll check this one. Nothing. All right, off to the next floor. So we pulled it a hawk there, so you guys know what the hawk does. The hawk, you thinking? Like a shortcut in... <laughs> yeah, Star Fox 64. Actually, I never played Star Fox 64. I played the original Star Fox on SNES. You know, just biz bank left all the time to get to the secret the secret zone. Go uh, go poke the, the, the moon with a face. Uh, Momiji, hello. Uh, does high, high item level food help in Deep Dungeon? Okay. Yes. So in... Um, in Deep Dungeon... The in specifically Palace of the Dead, you want to go as high as 530. 530 is where it kind of caps out. You go higher than 530, then you're not really getting more than anything. But 530 is where you want to go for kind of cap bit, cap stats, if you will. Now, you didn't ask anything other than that, so I'll just leave it at that. But just to add on to your question a little bit, um, people can clear without food, so it's not necessary. It's useful and it, it's, it's advised, but it's not necessary to clear. Uh, but 5.30 is where you want to go. So like if you're if you're a typical, I don't want to call it like that, if you're a raider and you have your usual food for raiding, which most people I imagine would have food for raiding, you can use that and you're perfectly fine. Not a big deal. SMT, I know dude. I think uh, one of my friends was playing it recently. Uh, yo, Scalor, hey, thanks to... Thanks for the tier one. Six months, I appreciate that. Happy to catch you live as I usually watch VODs. Thanks for all you do. Hey, thank Less you for three. thank you for being here on the live. I know the time sometimes for a lot of people gets weird, but wait, is this a spawn room? Okay, hold on. Thank you, at least. Okay, Heaven on High though. Yeah, you can say at least Heaven on High, but Heaven on High will benefit from 580, I believe. So you can go all the way up to 580 for Heaven on High. Uh, but again, the food is just. It's not necessary. It's not going to be the reason you clear, if that makes sense, right? But 580 would be good for Heaven of High, because you'll get higher stats there. Scam Chain 2 2? Yeah. Hey, I'll take it, man. People are generous here. Uh, ew. Uh, I'm going to check the chat. I'm still missing that raising, so I'm going to go for it. No problem. And good luck on your journeys. Keep me posted. I always love to hear people's progress. Alright, bit of an issue here. Um, I might witching here depending on- yeah, okay, so first I'm gonna witching here. Now the reason I want to is because we have a couple enemies we might pull at the same time. Alright, so we got out. Now the, the hawk will be the first thing I want to pull out here. I would have normally been okay with this fight uh, without the witching, but I could have pulled four. If I dealt with three, that's okay, but I might have hit, come away with four, so we're going in with here. The monk is next because it does the pull in. Also, I haven't used the potion yet, but I think I will soon. Maybe. No, I don't use the potion. Not either. Hold back. I mean, trap cost the uh, witching, but it's okay. Wait, would it? Wait, did you drop a chest? No, I haven't gone there yet. Wait, what is the first chest? Intuition, strength already used. I need to see intuition, okay. Oh, this is the exit, okay. So we'll just pull a monk. Okay, so we haven't really talked about a monk. A monk does a does a couple casts and then it does sucker. Sucker pulls you in into a wombo combo with an AoE. So watch, uh, I'll let it kind of do it so you can see it. Sucker is pretty big in terms of the pull. I'm gonna go this far. You're gonna see me get pulled in. Oh, well, that's not good. And then it gets it gets the the AOE, but that's fine. Um, so not a big deal. Just be aware. You can do arms length for it, uh, or you can just hide around a wall. That's okay too. <laughs> you hardly knew it. Off we go. 
Also, Sorbet, thanks for all the welcome in. Man, yeah, Donut Bunny, if you're still here, I hope you had a wonderful day. It's always fun lurking in your streams, I swear. Yeah, you all dressed up for uh for May the 4th too, you had everything going. And you took that you took that seriously. That was yesterday. Okay, so we have a rage. Aramon? Monk. Taurus. Taurus is just the they just do double attacks, not a big deal. I'm gonna do the rage here. I'm loving it here, I was able to <laughs> I like to show them. Hey, we're, you know what, Donut Bunny, whenever you're ready, dude, we'll get you a Necromancer too. Just bust it out, just one day you'd be like, hey, what, check me out, I got a Necromancer title. <laughs> I believe you can do it. Um, Alter Gigo, hello. Caught the life, caught, glad you caught the stream, man, I'm glad you're here. Twice now, and last week I've reached, oh no! What's killed you twice in 144? Oh goodness, not a Gargoyle has it. Troubadours are easy. They just do kind of quick conal AoEs. Right there, that's the dark that they do. Tra oh no, the traps. Yeah, I feel that. Well, 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 at least try to try to observe how we can go through. I mean, I'm gonna be taking. Um, I'm gonna be walking into 141 soon, and so there's a lot of logic that I put into there in terms of movement that keeps me alive consistently. I'll try to be a little bit uh vocal on what I do and such. I mean, right here you're watching me kind of navigate this room uh, in general. But the rule of thumb is you kind of don't want to cross a room if you have something aggroing or if you are about to aggro. So like if I were to go to from point A to point B, just make sure that there's no enemy in front of you because the biggest tragedy would be, oh, I aggroed and then you turn into a frog. Or, oh, I aggroed and then you step in the luring trap, right? Um, you, want, you want all that to happen uh, kind of plain and without any other incidents, and that'll be okay. Hey guys, thanks for the level 2 hype chain, appreciate it. I've got some emotes. Uh, I hope you enjoy them. Okay, that's a good one. I'll use it. Again, I'm still hunting. The reason I'm hunting chests here is because I'm missing that raising. So I'm doing a little bit of extra effort to look for the raising. Koopa Kwan, hey, what's up, dude? How is it going? Oh, he's pushed my accent. Uh, shout out to Koopaquan, by the way. Koopaquan is a good friend of ours in the community. Been doing some deep dungeon. Although I'm not sure if you have been doing deep dungeon res recently. I do apologize, but uh, hope you've been doing good on your end. Koopaquan's Koopaquan's gonna be one of the next best scorers in deep dungeon. So you better watch out the leaderboards. Start crushing some of the scores over there. All right, so do Tributo does dark. You can kind of. Uh, Control it by kind of walking through it. It's a delay cast, so you can do it in such a way where if you just walk right through, you don't actually take a hit here. It's really unnecessary because it's kind of whatever. It would be good if you kind of aggro something else along with it, but... My internet's very unstable now. Oh god, man. I hope you get it fixed. I know all about internet issues. We had one last week. Alright. Oh, this is flighted. Two kill flight. Miracle kill. Intuition. Steal. Uh, yeah, I'll use that when I find the exit. Check through the chest first. That might aggro. Nope, just kidding. Aggro. Mimic. Actually, I think I'm missing one mimic. Check, uh, hold on. Flight again. Oh, flight again, good. Alright, that makes it really easy, so we'll have the steel probably for the boss. Slowly plotting my flower time. Good, good. Do it. You're a gamer, donut. Honestly, you don't even need to be a gamer to this. You just need patience and time. That's all. That's all you need. Pulling this. Hugging the wall here. Low risk enemy, even if I were to aggro or step on a trap here. Oh, 
pour être chiant. Hein. Oh, fais Nice and clean so far. Time to? 31. Oh, I was gonna wonder if I got the speed run, not really. Okay. This is flighted again. We gotta rage again, so that's kinda easy. We, I think we fought everything though. I think oh we didn't fight the tor the the Taurus. If we find a Taurus, I'll go I'll go fight it just so you guys can see it. Three troubadours. Alright. Purity. I'm gonna tactician here in potion. And then we rage. Easy game. So that trap was whatever because I wasn't aggroing something on top of it, so it wasn't too big of a deal. Um, now I know that room is clear. This is the rage. I'll just pull one of these monks. I'll pull both of them actually. It might come into a problem when I need to go to the exit. Okay, I'm gonna keep that alive on purpose. So I can pull it so you guys can see it. Again, they're not that deadly, they just do kind of a double attack. You'll do like tri-clip or something. Um, I think they do actually an AoE if you're in a party, but they won't do it solo. But there's actually a lot of them. Would you rather go through AR again or have to go through straight through, no breaks? Well, how long would I have to do ARR again? And can I skip cutscenes? Shit. Uh, potion. I gotta be careful here, because there's- yep. <laughs> I'm gonna- <laughs> witching here. It's funny I didn't step on that trap the first time, but apparently I can step on it the second time. Alright. Sucks I used the witching. No, I don't have the witchings here, but it's whatever. I'm gonna also strength here because I will strength for the boss anyway. I would like to have a strength for the boss. You can't keep cutscenes, but you can take it as long as you like. Um, That just depends. I mean, I can do 1 to 201 seating, but that's just not... An, that's not an ideal logical situation for me. Uh, like I did it one time because we were celebrating Twitch Partner, but that's a, uh, you know, it's not an easy task especially. I mean, if I had to do it like not streaming, uh, that wouldn't be a problem because I, I can distract myself and I could totally do it off stream. I guess streaming would be a completely different animal. Wait, didn't I have something here? Alteration. Oh, I gotta pick up the rage. I gotta pick up the rage. Okay. Really, Sig? You never want to do it again? Really? I mean, it's not that bad, it's just really tiring, so... Can you bring in the in-game music? Nope, that's not how you do it. Okay. Why, oh, I didn't fight a Taurus yet. Okay, so let's fight a Taurus. So, again, all they do is just double attack and do tri-clip. That's tri-clip, that's all they do, that's it. Um... Branch chest here, and I would like to check it. Okay, so here we're going to do the boss with what we call downtime. There is an uptime strategy that I put out there a lot. Basically, the pattern you go for is 3-2-3-2-3-2, three, two, three, two, three, two, where you get 3 shots in, then 2, then 3, then 2. Here, this the, we're going to kind of do a more common way of doing it, because some people can't do 3. So we'll do 2 shots every time, okay? So this will be kind of what we call the downtime strategy, but this is more in consideration for most people. Um, if you can do the faster one, by all means, please do it, because it'll be it'll make your life a lot better. But we'll do it here. So I can actually demonstrate at least one time the three that's here. So watch, I'm gonna do three here, and basically it's just the moment that cast goes off, you hit it quickly. So that's one, that's two, that's three, and then you kind of do the cast here, and you're okay. That's how three works. But sometimes people kind of hesitate on the third one, and that's why you kind of end up doing slower. So when you're doing it slower like that, the best thing that you want to do, the ads will show up at the fourth puddle. So this will be the fourth puddle, the ads are going to show up. 
Just clean out the ads ASAP. Just make your life a lot easier and just one-shot the ads. Um, a lot of times, some people try to brute force their way through and try to see if they can kill off the boss before the ads become a problem. If you're not doing 3-2-3, then just do this because it's just, again, safer. Um, it's just more, you know, uh, more comfy this way. You don't have to worry about those ads now. We will have to jump out of this here because we need a little bit extra damage based on the timing of the rezo, but it's okay. You'll just finish it up. That's more of the, I think you would call it the general strategy. Um, but that's where you can kind of uh, have it a little bit safer. Again, I would say like half people who try to do that for some or for whatever reason can't do three two three two three, and I was able to do that in in high ping. I did this on JP with like a two hundred ping, and I was still able to do three two three. But I look if people say they can't do it, they can't do it. So we'll showcase that that uh that's like your backup strategy for that. The music you had in this track in the game were kind of mixing, kind of nice. Yeah, I realized that. I just wasn't listening to it too well. I don't think I can play anything for twelve hours without dying. Really, Sig? That's fair. You know, that's honestly, it's fair. I have to take a, a food break. You need me? Alright, depends on what we're doing. For a question? Okay. What do you got? Before I go into the next floor. What is the polymorph acro? To... Oh, the uh, transformation one? Sure. That is in... Uh, over here, I'll put in chat. It is status off transfiguration. I'll put in chat. Right there. We're all calling it polymorph, it's just transfiguration. You're welcome. Is that for your ERP sessions? Let's go! The gates of hell. Okay, flight opener here. We'll do intuition. Alright, let's pull everything, shall we? I highly recommend if you're gonna pull a gargoyle to maybe potion here. I'm gonna open sprint. One of the first things we'll start to pull with like seriousness. It does a par it does a poison, that's why they're kinda bad. But you play you play keep away from it and it won't be too bad. They still haven't even used the poison because they haven't caught up to me yet. I'll actually stop for them to use it. There's that poison. Poison's really bad because it does a lot of damage over time, obviously. But in combination, it's doing auto attack, so that's why it's kind of just bad. Uh, in that instance, I was able to show you how you can basically neutralize them because you kept running away. The demons will do that AoE right there, which is unavoidable. I popped the potion because I have uh, poison on me. If you keep these alive long enough, they will enrage. But you shouldn't have to deal with it if you're a machinist. Only time that will happen is if you have a witching up. Uh, if you pull multiple. Manticores, they bum rush you and they get a damage boost, but they're not too bad. Yo, Gourmet, hello, how you doing? The first thing they usually do is either Fireball or Ripper Claw. Fireball is that AoE, can be stopped, but honestly, just let it go because you can just run away from it. Ripper Claw is a frontal. You just want to either be away or uh, behind it. It'll use it soon, right there. That's all it does. And then eventually, you lose the damage bonus. Not too bad. Again, if you're going to pull a Gargoyle, it makes you kind of have haste uh, sprint going to kind of make it a little bit easier. You can gra you can wait them, I believe. Let me try it in a second. Here. Oh, you can't. Oops. Just kidding, guys. You can't wait them. I'm keeping away from them. There's the poison. Now, keep take care of the poison stacks. So you can see the poison zombie right now. Um... Although I did pull something earlier, try not to pull something with the poison on because you're just taking double damage essentially. So we pulled all those, you got a Gargoyle, a Manticore, and a Demon. Um, we'll pull the Keds that are here. The Keds are the easiest things here. You gotta steal to help me out. The Keds are the easiest things to fight here. Oh crap, well that was a mistake because I double tapped Enter. Okay, but The Keds just do range attack and then a line AoE. They don't do double attacks. So if you see them, you want to fight them. Uh, but, you know, sometimes things are blocked, you just gotta get rid of it. There's a cat right here. Oh, the exit's open though. Let me see if I can sneak some rooms first. There's a bronze chest, I'd like that. Uh, I'm gonna fight the demon if I do that. Yeah, Laziness! Okay. 
I was gonna be surprised if I didn't go it. Gonna check the chest real fast here. Safety. Um, I'll use it real fast. Okay. Okay, let's go. One. Oh, that cat will aggro me. I'm stuck here now. Two. Three. Four. So I see they just do range attack. Not, not a big deal. Alright, let's go. So we pulled everything here. I think the next enemies that'll show up maybe will be in two floors. You'll see knights showing up. Um, we'll pull them later. Sight. That's good for traps. Let's go south to check that, that gold chest first. Got a lot of manticores apparently. Watch my back. Okay, it's not coming this way. I have steel arms, okay, but I gotta watch my eyes because we're gonna take double ripper claws here. Always the manticores, man. They always sneak up on me every single time. I did sight, so I know where everything is. Okay. Proceed. Uh. Proceeding. Checking the chests. While we're moving and kiting and running. By the way, once uh, once the Manticore loses his attack bonus, he gets a damage down. So I took Ripper Claw, but he had damage down, and I have Steel on. Basically, did nothing to me. So that's kind of the benefit there of kind of fighting them and taking a little bit to do so. They get weaker. That's the same in Heaven on High, which is hugely beneficial in here. There's a Knight, so let's fight a Knight, shall we? Knights just kind of do some double attacks. If you keep them alive long enough, they will get into a small, a soft enrage where they get an attack bonus. Not too big of a deal. And that'll happen maybe like 60 seconds later. So again, this is one of those things where if you hit a luring trap, that's when that'll show up. Under normal circumstances, it probably won't show up though. Steel, I'll re-up it here. They are proximity also. So if they're on top of an exit, you really have to take care of them. Um, so priority kills just because of the way that they could be blocking rooms. Safety. Yeah, I got your tarot. Let's see if I can get this bronze chest for a potential hot shirt. That's a landmine, by the way, if you haven't seen one. Right over there, that's a landmine. Uh, this is a frog trap, because it looks like a frog. Off we go! Rage! Alright, let's get a good position here for the Rage. Manticore versus Manticore action. Lust. I want to sneak the chest- oh. Yes, that's not happening, is it? Nope. I wanted to sneak the chest before I hit the thing, but we'll go the other way. Boots are sound. They just basically auto attack you and cast Paralyze after about 30 seconds. 20 seconds. So, watch, I'll leave this alive long enough, you'll see it. So, again, they just auto attack you. There's the Paralyze 3 that can be interrupted. That's what you just want to stop. That's all they do. Paralyze is like 15 seconds, not too bad. I'm letting that cat aggro me for that for for making that easier so I don't have to dive into the room for a potential trap. Manticore dead. Gargoyle dead. Try to poke enemies behind them if there's sight. Just in case you hit a trap. Because the biggest tragedy is hitting a trap and then getting hit by the enemy the moment you hit like a landmine, you can get one shot that way. Really bad stuff. So just take it easy. 
And that's why aggroing them is a lot better too, because at least you're not stepping in a trap that way. Knights of Prox. Double aggro there. I waited for them to come at me. Got the poison. Fine. Okay, that's another steal, so that's a good. I'll use that on the way out. Two steals. Hugging the walls tight. Tight, tight along the walls here, guys. You're like one step off the wall, you can hit traps. I've already hit a couple of them. This is what? What is this? Bust. Oh, double bust. Okay. Off we go. Silver, so I'm gonna kind of ignore that room because I don't really get much out of there. So we'll just go to the other the other area here. Definitely have to pull this knight because I cannot get past this room since it is proximity. So he has to go no matter what. We'll take him to the safe spot here. We'll cut him around. Safe pull. Uh, Skull Splinter is that uh, double attack, but he didn't hit me with the regular auto attack, so it's okay. Wraith. The Wraith is proximity, also patrol. Ideally, you kind of do want to deal with them. Again, here I'm proceeding through the room without a risk of aggroing something, or I have something on top of me. So that's one way to handle those traps. And the donut room is a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a tricky spot to deal with traps because you got such small, uh, you got such a small kind of surface area. So get to the hallways first, and then start pulling. Okay, pull in this one so I can get to the next area. Gotta watch the wraith because he went that way. Okay, no aggro here, so even if I step on a trap, it's okay. So that's how you kind of can deal with traps, right? I still have a Witching too, but then I'm down to 1. But still, it's kind of one way to deal with it. Alteration, we'll use that. Wraith should be coming back at some point. I want to fight it. Okay, all the Wraith does is scream. As a Machinist, you can interrupt it. So no big deal here. It's a giant AoE. And it's a little tricky in these rooms because if you have to avoid it just by running away from it, you might step into the middle of a room. So just interrupt it. Easy peasy. That's all it does. The later rates will do the Accursed Pox follow-up AoE. And Heaven on High they do that, but not here. That just spawned, so I'm gonna take the Fortune first. And then we'll fight the Knights. And we'll also like probably clear up the exit priority. So if I need any more kills, we'll just deal with the exit room so that it's a lot easier to get to the exit, that's preferable. Uh, if you need kills, do it in the exit room, you know? Don't do it away from the exit room, otherwise you have to probably fight something to begin with. Here I can get away with the things that are in here. But we'll fight anyway. I'll fight the Gargoyle, because the boot is sound, and the Gargoyle technically would be a more difficult thing to avoid. Gotta watch my HP here, because I'm gonna take that poison, because I'm not running away from it. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's actually go towards the steel. So let's go pick up the steel and then make our way out. If anything is in my way, I will kill it. Because I do need to kill something else. But at least I can make that happen. Okay. I'm going to open here. Let's pop the boots. Have an interrupt just in case that paralyze comes out. There it is. Interrupts. Okay, let's go pick up the steel and off we go. So we're out of 44. Again, hugging the walls pretty tightly here. If we step on a trap, it's no big deal. No matter what it is, but we have a clear spot to the exit. We don't want to incur an aggro on our way through the rooms. So that's one way you can survive the traps. 
someone is mentioning they died here because of traps, and it's one way to get through them. Uh, oh, the gargoyle respawned. Nice. I clear one out, they add another one. Good, good for them. But it's okay, that's why we clear up the exit. There's another reason why. Clear up the exit. You don't know what's gonna respawn. And two things spawn in that room. So we cleared it up, and now it's not a big deal. I think here I got blinded. Which is not bad. If it's abilities, that's abilities. Okay. No peloton, no reassemble, but we were still kind of strong and we have steel on, it's not a big deal. Um, gargoyle boots proceeding. Exit's here, so I will go the other way. Nice trap over there. I love those traps. Hellhound does double attacks. Another light, let's do it. Uh, let's pull the boots. Easier enemy to deal with. I also cannot avoid the paralyze. So in this situation, you'll see what the Paralyze actually does. Okay, we got two raids, that's not good. Also, I can't stop their AoE either. So the Paralyze will be, uh, it's kind of AoE if you're in a party. But it does just 15 seconds, not really that big of a deal. Actually, 12 seconds, okay. Not that big of a deal. Um, just let it go out and we're good to go. I may want to pull one of the, one of the, um, one of the raids if I can kill this fast enough. But it doesn't look like I'm gonna get there. Instead, I get another boot. I'm gonna potion here because we're taking a little bit of extra damage here. Okay. Now, because of the diminishing return on the Paralyze, we should take, I think, a 6 second Paralyze here, or a 5 second one. Because we're taking the second one while we have diminishing return. Get a 6 second Paralyze here. We have Mimics! Fantastic! And I don't have Interrupt. Um, we'll probably fight them, though. They have a ginormous aggro range. So, oh, there's three. So the range, so watch the range here. They have really, really big aggro range. Uh, I should only aggro this one, but... There's that pull. Big aggro range. Yeah, it is a few TD special. Aside from treasure rooms being on top of the eggs, that one. I'm probably gonna eliminate the Mimics before I, I think about a purity. But you saw how close... So here, in, based on their distance right now, I should be able to have a clear spot to the exit, because they're just not close enough. But if I go any 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 step off the wall, that other one probably aggroes to the left. Um, they do have a further aggro range than normal enemies, something to take a note on. Which is annoying, of course. And it's more annoying on like, the higher floor, especially when the rooms are smaller. But, because I can handle them under normal circumstances, that's why I decided to pull it. Because we can just eliminate the fox, but I don't have uh, my abilities here. Witching, okay, one of the witchings came back, good. We'll check the chest and then probably purity. Actually, there's not that many enemies here. Steel, okay, let's fight another mimic. Just to make this less complicated, we'll fight this one. May as well. Potting here just so for insurance. Pick up the steel on our way out. Again, a, a habit that you want to break is when you see a steel of strength and you're like, Oh, new one, just pop it! I've seen a lot of people do that. No, no, take advantage of what you already have. So I already have a 4 minute steel here. Let's use it up and then we'll use it on our way out. Make it efficient. Make it, make it optimized, if you will. Oh, shit. I knew I should have take, took care of them earlier. Okay, I'm gonna let them kind of go first to see what they're gonna do. We should be kind of safe from at least one of them. I'm gonna pull this one. So here I need to make sure I position myself to avoid the AoE. So this should be good. Once I see that AoE go out, we're gonna run away from it, because I cannot stop it. I sound hello. Quad, hello! Alright, we're running away. How's it going, Quad? <laughs> Why'd you have to give me high kill here? Uh, Hellhound! I have not actually fought a Hellhound, so let's fight it. It just does double attacks, it's just melee, double attack, that's it. Boom, that's a double attack, Ravenous Bite, but it missed it because it's blind, I guess. 
Not too bad. Um, not a bad pull, although, you know, if you don't have steel on, it might be a little bit spicy, you might have the potion, but it's not too bad. I kill on a on a freaking on a freaking uh, no abilities. I hate it, but it is what it is. And we bought ourselves some time. Uh, we bought ourselves some time. So fast floors. Gotta go fast, dude! That's the key. That's the key that you gotta go. You gotta go fast, man. You're on a time- Come on! You're on a time limit, so you gotta make it count. Okay, so there's no more Mimics here, so I'm gonna Purity now. If I get another Mimic, I'm going to flip a table. I may even flip multiple tables. Do a wield flipping tables. Alka, how's it going? Mimic Rage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is, you know, no abilities on a, on a big ass, like, kill for its ass. Goodness. Like, your damage is so much lower and everything. Oh my god! It's Fifty Shades of Orange. Has anyone watched Fifty Shades of Orange? Like, the worst movie ever. Literally the worst movie ever. Nothing like running out of time in a run. <laughs> yeah. And then you have to think back, oh, how could I have done this better and going faster, you know? A terrible, terrible movie of Fifty Shades of Orange. No, you haven't. <laughs> there's Fifty Shades of Grey and then there's Fifty Shades of Orange. The spin-off. Terrible plot, terrible story. Literally rated PG. Uh, let's go steal here. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, we just listened to Crisis Core music longer. Into Feast music. Good old Feast music. Actually, actually, Feast is deleted, so I guess this is no longer Feast music, is it? This is just, uh, treasure map music. No one will ever remember this as feast music. Oh, we have a treasure room. Fantastic. Alright, what can we pick, pick apart? Let's do a succubus. Succubus does uh, an AoE around it first, which gives you terror. Highly advise you don't stand in it. There's the first one. Trust me, don't stand in it. Second AoE is Void Fire, which is pretty big. You can interrupt it though. Alright, that's one. Now we got the Persona, which does the same thing as, um, a Boots. Also, the Succubus, you may want to take care of because they do shoot from afar. Um, so that could be a little bit annoying. There's the Paralyzed from the Persona. They are considered undead, by the way. I cleared 170 earlier today, went pretty well. Hell yeah, dude, you're about to witness Behemoth, huh? You ready for Behemoth? What job are you doing it on, huh, I sound? Oh, the the miracle two kill four apparently. Let's get on out of here. No whammy, no whammy. Good, no trap. Okay, there's a wraith, however. There's a steel. Oh, good. Do machine us all wait till the. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. I'll try my best, dude. I'm gonna get there as fast as I can. Oh, looks like I may have to pop that steel. I'm gonna check these things though. So I can just maybe laugh for like five minutes straight. Five minutes straight? Wow. What's your? There's the exit. Uh, doing a run, doing a friend group run through POTD, and someone was lagging hard, and they could not dodge the AOE. Entirely incapable of it, and sometimes they res into another AOE. Wow. 
Well, at least you all had a good time about it. Let's go. <laughs> that sounds rather unfortunate. Holy crap. Good thing you're in a group one. Can you imagine, like, that was solo? Oh my god. I'm, not, I'm gonna actually get this chest here. Because, again, I'm still hunting down that raising that I'm missing. I do have interrupt. So that means I can stop this scream. Don't you wish when someone screams you can just interrupt? Just like that. Just head graze them. Checking chest. Pochon. Checking the room for that other chest if it exists. It does. Uh, I'll fight first. Okay, we're gonna do a little risky movement here. I'm gonna try to go for the chest right now. I'm gonna pop a tactician and a potion just in case we hit a trap. Intuition, not worth it. Alright, we're good. Persona. Jorass, hello, how you doing? Off we go! Dude, uh, thanks it. F me, dude. You know, I actually thought that was the uh, spawn room, not gonna lie. So we had two boots and a hellhound. Alright. Paralyze you. Potion here. Oh, I paralyzed the wrong one. Oh, because I didn't kill it, that's why. Good thing I saw it. Okay, we're good. Uh, it's too late for me to fortune. I don't remember what the fortunes were. Okay, moving to the next room here. Eh, you know, just showcasing you how to deal with a with a thingy. So we had two enemies that were single attack but paralyzed, and then we had a hellhound who didn't have any AoEs. So there's no problem to do without the witching. Not not a problem at all. Two pair once. Oh, uh, the hellhound is going to become a problem. Oh come on! God damn it! These enemies are out to get me. They're like, haha. We tried to get you with the disconnect, but apparently it didn't work and you're back in here, so we're gonna get you with the aggro. Stop the, uh, thingy. Oh, yep, I figured that ricochet was gonna be bad. I did it anyway. See, that was my bad, 100%. Hey, what's up, Kyle? How you doing? Drilled. Man, I use that steel and I've wasted like 4 minutes of the steel because I've just been killing things. And more than likely I might have to fight that persona because it is proximity. We'll see. Yeah, I'm probably gonna fight it. No, I don't. Sweet! Ricochet has ended a few of your attempts. You gotta be careful with the Ricochet, man. That's all on you on that one, so you gotta be careful. I'm, I'm grateful I'm grateful that I have not had a run end due to Ricochet, but... Well, I haven't had a strength for 7 floors, nice. GG. Okay, this I think is flighted also. Actually, the previous floor was flighted, I fought like 6 other enemies, so that's not good. Wasted a flighted floor. Oh, uh, okay, we can go this way. AoE is not large, but yeah, surprisingly large. Yeah, it's... you just always have to be careful. Intuition. Run a gun. Pew, pew, pew. Dragon! Let's fight a dragon! These are sights in here, but they're gonna be proximity later. Evil Eye will do a terror. It will wombo combo into a miasma breath right there. So if you get hit with the Evil Eye, you are 100% getting hit with miasma breath. And I think they both do damage, so just don't do it, otherwise you're probably dead. Especially in a gloom floor like this. So that's all you, that's all they do. Uh, no double attack or anything, just those two moves.
I'm gonna probably be witching here. The reason I'm probably gonna witching is because of the uh, the gloom. Also notice that uh, we mentioned this earlier. A lust will take out the defense bonus of the enemies. So I wanted to get the one lost out because we had the bonus loss. Therefore, they no longer have the defense bonus. So take a look at their thing. Uh, that one has damage up, but not the defense bonus. So I wanted to do that specifically. Here, I'm going to take out the Hellhound uh, because the Hellhound is more dangerous in this situation because of the double attacks. I'm going to safety now so I can use this room. So the Succubus is doing their AoEs, which buys me some time. Now we pull the Succubus here. The traps are becoming a little bit of a problem with, me with this run right now, but hey, I guess it's a good example of what you need to do to handle them, I guess. That's the safety. Take it to Lust later. What did I leave? Intuition? I used the Strength already. Lust, okay. Ricochet doesn't seem to have doesn't seem like it's an AoE. It's like a boomerang that goes to an enemy and comes back at you. No, it's an AoE. It's an AoE around the target that you hit. That's what it is. So it's like a small range. It's um five yalms. So it'll hit anything within five yalms of the target. Yeah, it's it's an AoE. It's a it's a classic circle AoE. Die to 133 times as a machinist might try other classes out and have an easier time with the boss. That's fair. I mean, if you have videos, if you record it yourself for me, I could probably take a look at what's going on. But it's pressure too. I mean, it could just not be execution. It's just pressure of that fight, which is fair too. It's, it's, a, very, uh, it's a very tough thing to keep your composure and keep all the buttons getting pressed correctly. Can you try to survive Blood Rain without steel or food buff? Have I tried to? I did it last week. Yeah, it's not a problem. It only does like 80% of your HP, so it's not a big deal. Um, so that makes good. You just have to make sure that you're full HP. One, two, three, four, five. No one tell Nintendo guys. This is a Nintendo song, we can't tell them that we're playing it, alright? Between you and me. Your ears only, just don't tell Nintendo. They get a little they get a little weird when you're playing their music. Gonna pop here. Uh who that? Uh Brontosaur, hey. Bront Bron Brontosaur, thanks for follow welcome in. Hello, hello. Uh, that Hellhound is gonna aggro 10,000%, so we'll pull it. Uno, two, three, four, five. I'm not gonna first see it until this thing is dead, just in case we get a trap. Aw, oh, see it! Pull it. No! Oh, she didn't, oh, she didn't aggro. Ooh. False alarm, guys. Got a rage, let's go. Okay, that's a double room there. Let's just check this room first before I use the rage. Multiple rooms here. I definitely want the bronze chest for the potion. Oh! More dragons. Oh! Confused dragon. Okay. Dragon probably aggress here. He's a key, I'll take him with me. Got your potion here. Rage here. Watch the evil eye. I'm actually gonna respect the evil eye first. Okay. May as well just take that a little bit cautiously instead of trying to rush it. Because again, it is a terror, so I could kill him, but then maybe I get I still get terrored and then it's just kinda bad results altogether. <coughs> Now, here I'm going to sneak behind the succubus, so even if I step on a trap, which I did, at least I'm not having an aggro on top of me. Very, very, very important. 
If the enemy aggroes to sound or proximity, let it come to you. We'll try to I'll try to reiterate that as much as possible anytime we have a range a rage situation. But it's very important to do that because if you step on the trap and then like let's say it's a landmine and then you aggro, it's a potential that it can kill you right off the bat, and that's really fucking bad, so don't make that happen. I won't kill the succubus since okay. Okay. Who knew that there would be four enemies on top of the exit? I was just surprised Gino got Smash as, as a me costume. Oh yeah? I am not familiar with Smash. Uh, I mean, I know what Smash is, but I'm not familiar with how that all goes. I have, I've never played Smash, actually. Okay, that's gonna be good to manage any potential traps. And you can maybe visually see some traps here. Uh, there's one right there, that's one step out the corner. Uh, we stepped on the trap here already, so you already saw what that one was, like around the middle of the room. Take a rage here. Dude, 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 that is a luring trap, in case you don't know. Luring trap. That is another luring trap. Check chests. Flight. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good for time. Hopefully we get this out before the succubus decides to shoot me. And hopefully... Two, three, we're out. Good. Oh, she is casting. You heard it in my ear? I heard it in my ear. I don't know if you guys heard it. My raid song. Pulling dragon. Watch for Evil Eye here. Now it is a short range, so I can just be really far from it and we're okay. It's gonna come in from my ass, so I'm gonna run into it. Alright, Persona is proximity, and it is blocking the chest, so I'll pull it right now. Again, we want to prioritize some of the proximity enemies first, get them out of the way. This does the paralyze, we'll take care of it. Fuck. One, two, three, four. This is a flighted floor, so the kills are minimal here. Hold. Security came back. Sweet! Oh, what the hell? Run into the dragon here. Nice trap. Like, that's why I'm careful. Check one more room. Onyx Dragoon. Nothing else here. One, two, three. Gonna stay away from Evil Eye here. Four, five. I'm still not out. I have a Gravekeeper. I guess we'll fight the Gravekeeper. I didn't want to fight one of everything. Again. Okay. Gravekeeper is the worst ones to fight because they hit pretty hard. They do a tank buster, kind of. But they just overall, their output of damage is much higher. Nail the coffin. Now, if you're in a party, they will do a, a, a spread AoE thingy. It's like a gigantic light beam. But in a solo, they don't do it, so uh, yeah, it's just interesting about that one. Alright, so no food, you said? Wait, actually, let me bring my food macro in. Uh, lock it off here. Alright, so we'll go no food on the fight. You said no food, no no steal, no food. Looks like we're gonna do it. So we go no shank, no steal, no food on to the boss fight here.
So this is just to showcase uh, Machinist's ability to do this fight, no problem. We did this last week as well, so we'll just do it again. Because I didn't pick up a Strength and Seal, and I can do this fight without it, so it's not a big deal. The only thing you really need to take care of is having a potion running when the Succubus ad shows up, as well as when uh, she's about to do Blood Rain, and you'll be fine after that, no problem. Otherwise, it's just basically a keep away here. Stay away from the crawling zombies. If you get caught with them, you will be bound. Uh, not good news. Definitely not good news for you. Especially when you're trying to avoid AoEs here. Also, as a machinist, you do not have to deal with them. And because you're at full mobility, you really don't have to deal with them. Don't bother killing them. Don't waste the GCD on them. Don't waste no GCD on them. Just basically stay away and you're good to go. You'll see why uh, in, a, in, a, in about a minute. You'll see why you can keep them alive. We're gonna have the ad coming in here soon. I'm gonna pop a potion now for that ad. The ad will tend to catch up with us, and that's why we want to do that. <coughs> I'm gonna sprint here to run away from the ad here. We don't want to be too far away from the boss though. One. I'm gonna pop a potion here again. Watching my HP here. Be fine. Okay, so the boss will suck in the ad there. <clears throat> I stay away from it. The zombies will get killed by Blood Rain coming in. We'll make sure that my HP is capped out here. We want full HP for this Blood Rain. So notice my HP here with 9,000. Blood Rain drops will get dropped to maybe like 2,000. Yeah, like 2,000. And the ads are dead from that mechanic. That's it. Um, and that's just rinse and repeat. And of course, this is more comfy with Strength and Steel. But hey, I mean, if this looks comfy for you, then try without it, because you can use the strike and seal later. It's going to be more useful to you later. So if you, save, if you can save it here, then boom. Pretty good. This will probably take about four cycles to kill this. <clears throat> Died 10%. That's not good. Keep away, keep away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Halfway through. That's good. Might have to ta I might Tactician coming up soon here. I'm gonna Tactician to mitigate some damage from both of the Ad and the boss. I'm gonna do a new potion here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna get a potion back up here. Should be good. Yep, we'll be good. And halfway done with the fight. Rinse and repeat. I guess it'll take longer than most people do it because I don't have the strength on. But uh, it's a pretty comfy fight at the, at the very least. As long as you keep away. You can keep away from me. No big deal. One, two, three, four, five, six. So just to showcase the, the crawling zombies, because I have drill, I'm gonna hold a thing here, I'm gonna let the AoE go. Okay, so if you get caught by one, boom, you get bound, boom, bound. You gotta kill it so you can move out. Uh, that's what happens, and it becomes bad if you're not ready for it. In that instance, it's just because I knew I was going to do it, then I knew I can just kill it off, but... If you get bound by all four zombies, you have to kill all of them, and that could be really bad, especially because you're a DPS. But in this instance, just keep away. Also, that one had a little bit of a delay, if you saw that. There's like a little delay when they activated, but... Potion. Oh, jumping is back. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Run away! We can't keep up while potioning here. Tactician here. Okay, we're good. I might need one more cycle here. Hey, right, so we got 60 minutes, you know, it's fine. Not a big deal. Oh, I should potion. Hee <laughs> hee. I'll do that for Potion, hello. Three, two. I might kill him this cycle, but I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five. It's a big. I actually, I might kill him in this cycle. Looks like it. Not a big deal again, but we got it. Three drop. Eleven percent, ten percent, nine, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Nah, I don't get it because I had to heal myself. One more cycle, one more cycle, it's okay. Almost. It's okay. We definitely got it this time. Made it just in time for 151. Hell yeah, dude. Droop has a new icon. Oh, yeah. He's a new Twitch thing, too. Alright, that's 150, guys. No strike, no steal, no food, everything! We did it all! Easy clap indeed. Alright, let's eat more Archon Burger. Nom nom. I need more water. <clears throat> the Promised Land. Yay, Twitch icon. Oh, Twitch icon? Is it cool? Describe it to me in five words. I'm in Heaven on High, setting up a run, and I'm in a big room. I sighted for extra traps. Apparently traps can be of all on all can be all on the side. Okay. I took ass I'll post in Discord. Damn. I not yay. <laughs> You're really excited, man. Fishing at the moment? Alright. I know fishing is important. I know, I know, I know. I get it. It's okay, I get it. Ta da, it's okay. Monka fish. I didn't get. I didn't think that there was in the big rooms. Okay, pudding. Pudding's gonna come at me, and then I can move away from it like this, and he will park his butt right over there. It's it's worth noting because sometimes some people might be like, ah, I'll just like deal with it. No, if you stay in, it's gonna do melee attacks, and that's not good. So just hang tight here. Just you know, deal with it. You're good to go. Decided. Oh no, what happened? What got you? Traps. Side of here, well, Monk is trap city to be fair. Safety, good. Speaking of no traps. Alright, Dead Eye. Dead Eyes do, uh, Deep Eyes, I'm sorry. Deep Eyes do a Tank Buster ish, and then followed by a Gaze Conal, uh, Paralyzed, so just stay away from it. 
and we can kite it as normal. <laughs> Melee hit harder than range? It does. Okay, that pudding is proximity, so I would have to take care of the pudding just to get that chest. But again, we're gonna do the park thing. He's gonna come at me. I'll wait for him to come at me, and then I move away from him like this. Okay, you didn't listen to me. Good job. Okay, now we're fine. Monk is squishy. Is what got I yeah, no, Monk is kind of squishy. I mean, he's, you don't have you don't have the stances anymore. Would you say Machinist is still the easiest job to get a clear on? Hey, Abyss. Um, it's hard to say. In Endwalker, it was undisputed in in Shadowbringers. That I won't I won't complain about. I cannot argue with that in Shadowbringers. But it's 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 iffy when it comes to here in Endwalker. Because Summoner is really good, Warrior is really good, eh, Reaper is debatable. Uh, for for first timers to get Necromancer, that is. Um, so there's a lot of jobs that seem, and Dark Knight could be actually a favorite now. Of people, we just had a recent Dark Knight who got Necromancer via Dark Knight. Um, so it's it's up in the air. You gotta see. You gotta look at the boards and see what clears are there for like 2022, and then that'll give you a better answer. But kind of to circle back to the first question. I mean, Machinist hasn't changed. If anything, it's better than it was in Shadowbringers, you know? So so if the if the going the going quote is that it, it was the best in Shadowbringers and the fact that in Endwalker it's better, then you know, take that take that as your answer. And one reason I'm doing a, a tutorial again for Machinist is because people are going to gravitate to this because I think it is it is it is um, common enough knowledge that people will still gravitate to machinists because that's what most people are going to talk about. You know, they're not. You're going to be. You're going to rarely hear people talk about summoner, even though it is good. But summoner it just hasn't really traveled along the the word of mouth yet. So we want to handle the one that's most common. So got a pull. I was wondering if that chest was silver. Yeah, I looked at the map immediately. I just ignored it. Tank Buster coming in. Which tank is currently being talked best easiest? Uh, Warrior for sure, however, Ganu... Dark Knight needs more tests because of the updated Living Dead, the updated Stalwart Soul... Um, so Dark Knight can, can be one of the... I don't know if it'll beat Warrior, but it could be kind of there for like definitely second place. Almost un... oh wait, he dropped the chest. I'd almost say undeniably it's second place. Whether it's first place is questionable. When you do your clear, does it have to be 1 to 100? Okay, no, it has to be 1 to 100. The, if you look at the achievement in itself, if you look at the in-game achievement, it says explicitly that it has to be cleared from the first floor to the 200th floor. What was the change with Stalwart Soul? Uh, that basically you have Stalwart Soul now, Terrell. They pushed it down to like 52 or something. So you have it earlier, which means you have, a, you have an AoE combo in POTD and that's kind of nice for damage. Okay, the Shopti only does uh, the fast death door. Uh, just make sure that you're moving laterally for this. Just basically go side to side and you won't get hit with it. You're good. 1 to 50 is new. And it is, but you have to do it. All of us had to do it, so it just that, that just is what it is. You just have to do it. When you clear with other jobs, we'll get you the Omni Clear Club. Oh, it doesn't matter. So, that's just a community thing, Luxie. Now, for me, for Palace, I've been doing it for... I've been doing it from 1 to 200. And that's literally, no joke, it's a streaming thing. It's a streaming timing thing. Uh, it takes me two and a half hours to get through 1 to 50 usually. And so if I started at 51 plus, it would just kind of throw off my schedule. So that's what it is. Now for Heaven on High, I did a couple clears on 21 instead of 1. And that was also, again, a stream thing because, like, let's take Healer. Healer would take me... Uh, Healer would take me forever if I started at floor 1. So I started at 21 for those, but there were a couple jobs that I started at 1 because I can go a lot faster. Uh, but honestly, it's just like, you get to the bench, you get to the shrine at that point, it doesn't really matter. Um, in my opinion, in terms of like, say, the Omni clear, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I, you know, you know what is the more important part is if your score shows up on the board. That that I think is the most important. So, like for instance, here's take this for example. Okay, let's say that you wanted to do you wanted to do Gunbreaker or Warrior. Actually, more Gunbreaker right now on Aether. Let's take specifically Aether. If you started at 21 and you did a 21 to 100 on Aether on Gunbreaker, your score is not showing up on the leaderboard. It's just not. It's not gonna. It's not gonna get high enough. Literally, all the scores I think is going to have to be from one plus because the high, the scores are pretty damn high. I think. Don't quote me, but that's probably possible. So, in my opinion, I think it has to be on the board, at the very least, to claim that you have Omni. 
So the only detriment at starting at 21 or, or a lower floor or a higher floor is that you don't you miss those points. Now for Astro, I mean like if 20 if 25 people are going to beat my Astro score or like 24 people are gonna beat my Astro score, then it's like, all right, good job. Like, have fun with that. I'll just take a screenshot and like you know live my life or something. But you know what I mean? Um, okay, the Gremlin. I didn't really talk about the Gremlin because I was going on a monologue. The Gremlin does a Volm down and then an AoE fire. And it's really not that deadly. It would be more deadly if you're actually fighting something else on top of this, that's all. So this is just a really good put pull through. It doesn't really do double attacks, so you're good to go. Exactly, it's free by itself. Astro's pretty fast. Astro's a uh, lightning speed. <laughs> Now I would argue, personally speaking, uh, Luxy, to kind of follow up again on that question that you had, if you were attempting a world first, I would think it would be more validated if you do it from the full run. That's what I think. I mean, sure, you can hit the bench or hit the shrine, you know, first as the first person to do it, but I think that isn't just my opinion. I think a lot of people would agree that like doing the full run would be probably more validating than doing the shortcut, um, in my opinion. Now, you could also think of it as like a, a category, right? So like speedrun, speedruns have a category. You know, 100%, glitchless, any percent, so on and so forth. So you think of it as like a different category. But I think as a world first, you'd want to do it like the full run, in my opinion. So like, next deep dungeon, it would be an interesting case, right? Someone could hit the, could hit the very end by starting at the, the higher floor. But I think most people would probably consider someone obtaining the title as the world first. Does that make sense, right? So if you're arguing who gets to the top as the world first, I think most people will say, okay, you gotta get the title. That's the world first. Like, okay, you hit the thing, but you didn't get the title, right? You did 21 to 100, you didn't get the title. I think a lot of people would make arguments about, ah, it doesn't really count, you know? So... I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna make the argument there, then that's gonna be... Like, that's your prerogative. That's not what I'm gonna do. If I did- if I did 21 to 100 as a world first, I'm just- I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's gonna be a challenge. I gotta do the full thing. <laughs> like, that's my thing. Like, yeah, you can- you can- you can talk it up and say it as an official. I'll be like, yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, no argument for me. So, you gotta do the full run. Wow, double subs! Damn, dude. Poof! Double subs coming in at the same time. Uh... Just to find my world first. See, that's a different case though, because that can be an argument, Capman, in terms of the job. Because in that case, it wasn't technically Lone Hero, it was just basically hitting 100 first, right? Like, it's a, I would say that's a different thing altogether. Oh, slash, um, almost at one year. That'll be up to be like, up to the whatever the community decides. For me, I was gonna do the full run no matter what. I don't care if it meant I was gonna get the shrine faster, I always felt it was more validating to do the full run. But like for the next deep dungeon man, it, it's like a different argument, right? Like you wouldn't you wouldn't call the, the world first like who just doesn't get the title or something like that. Yo, Aurora, thank you for the eight months, I appreciate that. Perry, thank you for the eleven months, I appreciate that guys. Thank you so much for those TV subs. Hope you all having a wonderful day. Title first. That could be a way to code, yeah, title first. But that doesn't happen in like other content, right? Like you can't do a content short oh well. I think Savage you technically could, right? Couldn't you like just skip over to P4 if you really wanted to? But I think every single person who does the run would never do that. Like who's going for a world first would always go in order. Alright, so the Deep Eye Palace Pot will do a Mysterious Eye. That is a that is a 360 gaze. So watch out for that one. That's a that's a big damage plus blind. Yo, pick two! Hey man! Someone has to have cleared up to P4 to bring others in. Oh, I see what you mean, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, thanks for the five, I really appreciate that. Thank you, Big Two. This season, man, I can't be like I can't be superstitious since I don't have either title yet. Hey no, it's fair, it's a it's a fair question. Don't worry, man, I'm just giving an honest answer, that's all it is. You know, you're not getting me riled up or anything, that's just that just is what it is. Check and chest. Resolution came back. Um Big Two, how you doing? Thanks, man, I appreciate it. Alteration is already up. I was, I was mentioning this earlier in the stream. Um, 
I, I recently got access to this new feature on YouTube where you can give super thanks on the videos. So you can actually contribute straight to the video. It's like it's almost like a donation link. That's kind of cool. So that's a neat little feature that they gave in there. Um, I thought it was cool. Another way to kind of monetize the videos instead of it just being ads. Yeah, I thought it was cool. I, I, I got access to it today. I was just randomly checking my other emails and I'm like, oh. Cool. <laughs> it turned it on. So, I don't know when I got access to that, but it was just today I got the email. Um, okay, I already know the exit is. It's over here. Nothing else is really needed by here. Twitch not careful, YouTube's gonna take it over to it totally. Would you guys watch me on YouTube Live, like, if I go to YouTube? Oh, I can't use that rage. Wait, but I have a Serenity. I gotta go back and get the Serenity, okay. This is- this is the late Mariko. Hold on, I gotta concentrate here, sorry. I'm pretty sure this is the Serenity. It also does a double attack, so they are a little bit deadly to fight, in terms of the pots. Uh, quick round of howdy, but sleep has a harpoon aimed and me, and thus must lead to my head to rest. Get shooting, I will, dude. Appreciate you passing by. That means a lot that you actually pass by, say hi, and, and leave. That, that's actually kind of cool, so... Thank you for that. Oh no! I'm stupid. Oh. I targeted a defy, I confirmed, and I smacked him. Chatting is way better here. Yeah, it is. I heard the I heard the YouTube chat is a little messy in terms of moderation, but this is not what to do. It's right. Don't be a dummy like me. How about clicking the mob and trying to click on the chest? I don't know what clicking is. Is that is that a mouse? Is that what you do to click? Who uses, who uses a mouse in this game? Jeez. Yeah, I got Corrigans. Let's go poke the Corrigans. Clams use mice. Keys can click. Clickety clack. Goes the keys. F. Deep eye, you are with me. Mice are overrated. I completely, like, I play complete on keyboard too. Yo, let's go, soul. Yeah, it's a way to play, man. These mice users. Don't worry, I took your miss. Oh no! Stop! People, stop DCing! That's why the guide isn't even available on YouTube yet. That's not exactly how you're supposed to do Deep Dungeon, okay? Goodness. How to Deep Dungeon, DC. <laughs> no, no, it's not for the guide. Stop. Uh, plus. Here. Steel. Oh, steel. Okay, Serenity. Good. I play Bass only. <laughs> What do you do with your left hand? Wait, should I ask that question? Hold on. Let me retract that question. I never asked that question, never mind. Don't worry about it. Ooh woo. Got DC'd on oh my god. God, stop, stop. Stop. Stop DCing. Uh ooh, like God damn it! Okay, hold on. Let's do the uh actually let's do the I'm gonna pot here just in case. We can keep the uh, oh I'm gonna do the pudding first. Here. Here. Blow them up. Okay. Flights here. Disconnect dungeon. No, stop! Don't jinx me, I'm gonna blame chat on this one. I don't usually blame chat, but I'm gonna blame you if I disconnect again. Unplug Ethernet sounds like the best way to win. Yeah, that's what a cat says. If you, if any of you have cats, that's what they, that's what they say. Hey, thanks for the, another hype train today, guys. I really appreciate it. Well, no good thing about fishing. If you get DC, you don't lose your progress towards fishing intuition. You get trapped in something. Okay, that doesn't seem like a. That's not convincing enough for me to do fishing though. Uh, would anyone happen to have some advice to become a black mage? I'm having trouble bringing and burning fast and I've died twice. Hey, Wolf, have you seen my video on black mage? I have it on YouTube. So if that might help you out, I definitely suggest doing checking that out because I think I may have one or two attempts on uh, YouTube for Black Mage on Behemoth. Um, so you can check that out. I do have I did do a rather like kind of set rotation for Black Mage. 
Uh, I started off with Blizzard 3, and then I went to Blizzard 4, dropped Ley Lines, and then we just kind of proceeded to do like the normal rotation, if you will. But Did I pick the flight up? There is a second flight, so I didn't take it. I, I, I used one, picked one up, and then there was yet another flight, and I left that in the chest. So, good observation, though. But I did purposely do that. I do appreciate that, by the way. I, I do miss chests commonly, so... Um, yo, tough as fluff, hey, thanks for follow. I actually wanted to pull a gargoyle, but I'll show that later. I, uh, I thought I searched on YouTube for that one, I must have missed it. Oh, I do apologize. That might be on me, I should do a better job. I think if you type in, uh, if you type in 180, 180 Black Mage, it should come up, but... Yeah, that might be on me. Okay, we're gonna pull a Devilette. So, Devilette will do Ice Spikes first, guys. Watch me what I'm gonna do here, very specifically. I'm gonna stop the Ice Spikes, and I'm gonna disengage. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. Wait, that's not how you're supposed to do it. Well, we did it wrong. Oh well, backup chest. I'm supposed to stop the dude. I'm supposed to stop the Void Blizzard? Holy shit. Oh, we'll pull another one. How not to do a... How not to do an imp. Like that. Don't do it like that. Reset. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to reset the whole file just because of that. 180 black mage is it? <laughs> I should do that. That's actually smart. I should do that. I should type it out as one the word and then 80 the word. So I missed it in the last four. I'm really having trouble. I'm having trouble fighting Corrigans. Can can I get the best? <laughs> you haven't tried to. You're, you're having trouble fighting Corrigans. You need to do a staring match. If you stare at them for 20 minutes, they 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 will eventually die. Okay, well, we can do another Devilette. Okay, so let's do it correctly, okay? Okay, so we pull it. This is the right way of doing it. Ice Spikes comes out, we let Ice Spikes go. Ice Spikes is gonna go... now. Let it go, and then I Void Blizzard, and then I disengage. We wanna wait Ice Spikes to, to get out of here, and then we go. There's a chance that if I hit Ice Spikes with a physical attack, I will actually get slowed anyway. So you want to make sure that you don't do it, but you want to make sure that you also uh, unsheath or sheath your weapon so you don't hit, hit the thing. So that's how you do an imp. My apologies. False advertisement. Did I flight this? I guess. Alright, let's check the last chest here. There was no last chest, we're just gonna go. Appreciate all the- Hey, no problem Wolf, and, and yeah, I apologize that uh... I mean, thanks for telling me, by the way, because stuff like that does is is important for me to know. If like you can't find it, then I need to do a better job at making it discoverable. You know what I mean? So. Oh, here we go. So at least when I type it, but then it's also possible because it's it's my video that it will come up faster. But just for you, uh, Wolf. Uh, where are you? What's up, Swig? How you doing? There you go. That that that's my one any attempt. All right. Did I miss something? Yeah, I missed popping the the steel. Okay. So this is gonna be a no item floor. So we wanna be wanna play keep away. So we're gonna take this a little bit more seriously right now. One, two, three, four, five. In hindsight, uh, Black Mage probably wasn't the best choice. Hey, I mean, you got to, you got to 180 on Black Mage, which is already very impressive as it is. You know, that's extremely impressive, so... Maybe you are someone who's destined to do Black Mage. Okay, the tor the Tauruses are gonna be easy. Uh, different than the one we fought earlier. They're going to do an AoE here that you don't want to stand in because it'll give a bone up. Uh, it'll increase your damage, so just stay away from it, and that's all it does. It's basically all it does. Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Sometimes it works, dude. I, I don't know, JC. Okay, so this is again not too bad. We're gonna pull a Merilith here while I still have Steel on. This is gonna be a little bit worse of a fight because they do kind of double attacks here. So they're gonna open with a double attack, which kind of stinks. Like a tactician. Double attack here followed by AoE, which you can stay away from. Highly recommend you go away from them. We'll do another double attack coming in soon. Are you asking if I normally DC on a certain day? No, it's random. For what happened last week, it was totally my ISP. Um, if it was the game, it would be different, but it was totally my ISP. 
Doesn't have to deal with the ISP problems as much anymore. Uh, yeah, I'm happy I don't deal with it anymore too, because, yeah, that's just really annoying. I still deal with it though, but yeah, it's a totally different story altogether. Okay, so I want to pull the harder enemy, which is going to be the Merilith. I'm going to do it while I have Steel on. Hog the wall very tightly here. Very tightly, because there's a trap that could be one step off this wall. One, two, three, four. Not too much running room here, so I'm going to move myself back over here. Uh, Paru Paruma, thanks for following, welcome in. Okay, good. I'm gonna pull a Gargoyle. Haven't pulled a Gargoyle, I think, or maybe I did. All the Gargoyle does is AoE, but if you keep it alive long enough, it will get an attack bonus, And but it, it's like a minute. It's like 60 seconds plus, so more than likely you're not gonna have to deal with that attack bonus, and not to mention since your machine is here, you're probably not gonna get hit anyway, so it's not a big deal. But it does do it. A healer is gonna run into it. My seal is now down, so I'm gonna be careful. I also do not have, uh, I also do not have, uh, my, my, uh, second win going here. Be careful here. Okay, we did make it out, so that's good. I'm probably just gonna go because I don't want to risk any more pulls. And we are on our way. Welcome back, Danche. Don't, don't scare me with that emote. I'm gonna be a lot less scared of Devil Let's Know. Yeah. Use your runaway scared. Yeah, it's the ice spikes that do a number, but if you can handle it that way, it's good. Okay, so here we have a bit of a problem with the, uh... Wait, I do have... Okay, so we're gonna pull this. Um, this one will do a Paralyze. So it'll do the first Conal, which is fine. It'll do an unavoidable Paralyze here. And I would recommend after maybe about 3 GCDs, you want to walk into the Arch Demon. That's the Paralyze. So we do 1 GCD. We do 2 GCD. We do 3 GCD, get under, because it's doing, gonna do a Conal soon, right there. If we get Paralyzed in melee range, it's gonna be very tragic. So 3 GCD is gonna go underneath the Arch Demon to avoid that Conal. And then here you can run away from it for a while, because it won't use that Conal for maybe about 20 something seconds. Also a good idea to um, pull another Demon back to back, because you'll be on a Paralyzed Diminishing Return. So that first Paralyzed was 30 seconds. This second Paralyze will be half that amount, it'll be 15. And it's really good, if you're gonna have to fight one, just fight them back to back. Going pretty good so far, Dan J. Terrible, he has missed targeting, he's talking about these things, such bad times all around. Oh, me. I'm Catherine. Okay. I'm gonna joke, it's fine, I'm gonna be good. <laughs> Don't turn around! Okay, so, a little bit of an issue here in terms of what I can pull. I'm gonna pull something over here because the Taurus is better. I mean, we can do with the Soul Flares, but the Soul Flares are really annoying without abilities, and I'll probably pull one eventually. But we'll do this one because he's easier. I may be dumb, but these guys are my go-to pulls for these four. The Arch Demons? Well, one reason why you want to take care of them is they are proximity and they are patrols, so sometimes you just have to take care of them, but you don't have to be a choice. Um, a lot of times I'd like to avoid them, but... Look, if there's a lot of them running around, then you can't really be helped. Push in here. Okay, we made it through. Checking the chest area here. No chest here, gonna pull. Come up. Yeah, ideally you do want to take out pet patrols if you can. I mean, you don't want to... It's it's a lot worse just trying to dodge them. Um, so if you can take care of them, it's better. Hold on, I will... Let me get through this room first. I'm gonna move along. Got more things to kill here. Alright. I overkill pets. Sometimes, not gonna lie, it's a bad habit. Watch that exit. Uh, Swig. What is my go-to plan for dealing with luring traps and higher force sets? Usually a witching. Also, you do want to take a quick look at what you actually spawn, because sometimes you can deal with them. But usually a Witching is going to be my first and foremost play. If it's a higher, higher floor, sometimes it's a Raising. Like, just Raising and get out and just maybe take it out. All Patrols must die, no survivors. Well, I guess if you're doing with a Chimera, that could be Revenge. There's a Loring Trap right in the snow pile. And that is a 
I think that's a impeding trap. I, I honestly don't know. Either. Side double side. Okay, we're gonna pull this. Oh, the triple dragon luring. Yeah, see that in that situation, that was totally like, oh, I know exactly what these do. We don't need to do anything because they do a lot of stop and go. Just run away from them. If you pull like, if so, if I so okay, let's take an example in this specific floor. If I hit a Loring Trap and I got three Soul Flares or three Imps, oh, that's an instant witching. There's no way I'm, I'm surviving that engagement. If I pull three Tauruses, I can probably deal with them, because I can probably bind one, I can probably wait one. I can probably get away with three Tauruses. Um, three Archdemons, that's a big no, because they're going to do double attacks with the uh, with the other thing. So it really depends on what, um, what you spawn to help you out. Paul, good to see you. Just checking what my uh, things are. Okay. How do they walk around? Like they own the place? Is that what you do to a dodo, Sig? When you see the dodo on four ninety nine heaven on high, you're just like, how dare you? How dare? I think we pulled everything, right guys? Is there anything I missed pulling? Oh, the Soul Flare. We haven't pulled the Soul Flare. I'll pull the Soul Flare when I don't have ability down. Question for score. Is stepping a Loring Trap worth it? Yes. It is always worth it. Uh, even from floor 1. It is it is worth the points. And the higher and higher you go, the more worth it it is. But it's, it, is always a, it, is, it is always a point game for stepping in a Loring Trap. Also, there, I think there is some, some bit where really the more kills you have, that will just contribute to additional score. So it isn't just a factor of essentially stepping in a specific Lurie Trap, but just boosting up the number of kills will eventually just give you a high score too. Um, okay, I guess we're gonna deal with the Soul Flare. They're not good. The reason why they stink is one, they're casters, and two, they do a drain move. So what you do want to do is you want to stay close like most casters, it will not melee. The reason we want to stay close is because it doesn't mind bl blast like that. If you do not stay close, it will not use it. And then it uses a soul drain right here, drain touch, and that'll heal itself back. And that's why it's bad, because this fight is going to take longer than necessary. I could have fought anything else. However, I don't have ability, so... Um, but as you can see, this is a bit of an issue. Considering a witching here. Okay, got a little lucky with that mind blast here, and we should be good. Got a little spicy with that pull. I'm probably gonna pull the Marilith next. Let's do it. Not fun. Those soul favors are not fun, and they are sights, so you can't avoid them, but sometimes if push comes to shove, you may have to deal with them. I saw a Dota once and had to fight it. So full of itself with its chest out. <laughs> We gotta kill 10 enemies. Well, yeah, welcome to welcome to Palace of Dead in the Higher Force. They might be pretty, but they are deadly. Run away, run away. I'm still not out of here! There's nothing left to fight except a damn soul flare and a stupid imp. Um Soul Flares. I would rather fight a Soul Flare than an Imp without any, uh, without any, um, uh, abilities here. Gonna stay close to the Mind Blast. Nice dodge, self. Good evasion, self. <laughs> nah, Sig isn't a mod. But he is a very, very, very honored member of this community. Alright, we're out of here. Uh, okay, we're gonna go behind the Soul Flare. The Imp was blocking me, so we're gonna go this way. My mind. I still haven't seen the goddamn uh, raising that I used all the way in 120, 111 to demonstrate a stupid Cobra. Hey, we got blocks. Do you guys want to see some fun stuff with a block? Let me show you. In this instance, I'm actually going to stop uh, Ice Spikes here. 
Ice Spike. So here, when you use this for LOSing, you'll never get it off because this is a wall. Although they kind of mess it up a little bit. Okay. Here. Hide underneath. So we can use this as a wall. Very nice little wall. Solid wall. Some heaven on high tactics here. Great. Unless you get a Gargoyle that shoots you from afar like that. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Some good tech that you can utilize. I have no healing. Okay. Cobra got me good. I let him get me. That's the thing. Pulling the Tauruses. The Taurus. Poor Devilette. Yeah, well... He's killed many here, so we have to get our revenge. I think I now have pulled everything, so you guys have seen at least one pull of every enemy in here. So now we will definitely pull our recommended... The ones that we would rather fight, which is the Tauruses, the, the Taurus, the, the Gargoyles. Waited for that imp to move so I can get this chest over here. Keep my HP going. Intuition. Where's the special mob pool? To be, uh, to be, to be, to be determined. If I interrupt, if I interrupt on Devil of Reflect, so it's no longer cast slow. No, no, no. It will cast both of them. So what you want to do is you want to let Ice Spikes go and let that cast Ice Spikes and then stop Void Blizzard. In that instance that I had earlier, I LOS'd it. So that's why Void Blizzard didn't go off. It's because I LOS'd it. But you do, under normal circumstances, you want to fight it, let Ice Spikes go, and then do it. So I can pull another to show you. Let me just get these chests full on. I'll show you. Strength is going to be good here. Blood Dragon today. It all depends if I get a steal, but yeah, I'd like to. I want to do an answer today too, but it depends if I get a steal. Like, I couldn't do it or I couldn't do it last time because I didn't have a steal for Anzus. And I didn't pick one up. I'm not going to force it, but... Okay, Gargoyle's going to get pulled here because I got to get out of here. I'm back in 141 after a couple unfortunate deaths. I have 150. This one is the unconfident. I can get to beat the him. Good. Good. Confidence is important, definitely. Damn, he doesn't want me to fight the imp. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't want me to fight me. I'll, I'll probably pull an imp on the next floor. One, two, three, four. Five. Alright, we'll do an in them. So watch what I do here, Kyle. <laughs> Let Ice Spikes go. And then Void Blizzard here, and then I, I sheath. I wait for Ice Spikes to get out. Waiting, two, one. Re-engage. You want to stop the Void Blizzard because the Void Blizzard is what casts slow. Now Ice Spikes can also give slow if you shoot into it. So that's something to concern yourself with as well. But the Void Blizzard is worse because it puts a 30 second and that's the one that's guaranteed to get onto you. Okay, letting the Devil, the Demon go, it is proximity. So if I just get close to aggros. <clears throat> oh, come on, dude. What a jerk. I don't know if I can get around him unless he goes, nope, I have to wait for him. He knew where I was standing. I'm gonna do an affluence here, because I'm missing a couple things, so I wanna see if I can pull some stuff back. Alright, so that should cover everything. I think we did pull everything, right guys? Fortune. Good song. Site, that's excellent. Shoot. 
Hey, it's okay. Don't worry. That's why I'm here. Alright, so let's see if we can actually dodge the, uh, the, the Abyssal Transfiction from this thing. So the Cone will come in first. I'm gonna run away from this thing. I'm gonna sprint now. I'm really far away from it. Pog. So you want to be away from the Conal, then sprint after, and then you could get enough distance to actually avoid the Abyssal Transfiction. I couldn't do it earlier because I didn't have sprint, so kind of you kind of need sprint for that. All right, I guess I'm fighting you. Not my preferred fight, but we're doing it. Attack this in here. Mind blasts. Moving away. Okay, open chest. That's another shank for the boss. That's good. Let's check the other three chests. Intuition. I already have one up. Okay, Mimic. Rather be fighting a Mimic than like the Imp or the Soul Player, honestly. Oh, something dropped the chest. Walking into the boss with probably 20 minutes left, so that's gonna good. With you talking about trying to go fast, well, we went fast. Lusts. Resolution. Okay, none of that good. We'll check the last chest to the south. Uh, go this way. We do have a strength, so we want to mine that. So, oh, another strength. I'll take this one. I'm, I'm here anyway. Bring the in-game music here. Get the steel ready. Here, because I'm gonna start with a steel, I won't use a lust. Um, if I had a steel from this floor and I walked into the next floor, then I would consider doing a lust there. Um, but it's unnecessary here. It's, I will kill it in time. Alright, so here we'll uh, demonstrate a couple iterations of doing this fight. Try to cover all the bases for you guys. On Red Mage, I'd say about six and a half, probably about six and a half, with typical strength and seal. One, two. Keep your potions running here, by the way. Not what I did. I'm gonna park the puddles on the sides here. Anytime he's about to do the knockback, we'll bring him back center to get a good spot of where we need to go. So traditional strategy here. I get him to the middle. We get the open spot. We get knocked back into it. Good idea to get him middle, so that he has to chase you down here. Uh... Oh, my potion's down. Potion priority. Okay, you got the fuck in the puddle. So that's your basic strategy right there. So let's do a couple, a couple different ones, right? So it's gonna do two puddles. The only the opening will it do one puddle into the knockback. You would always do two after that into its rotation. Second puddle, we go to the middle. Alright, so you can't arm's length this. So let's say you don't have a good spot here, I can arm's length right here. And then we can avoid the knockback. Now I do recommend you taking the knockback if you do have a free spot. Simply because, again, you're kind of mitigating damage by doing that. Uh, it has to chase you down so you're not taking one or two autos to do that. Running it around here. Gonna get a potion up soon. Potion! Do the fun shot. We're definitely gonna showcase it because it's rather consistent. So we got the clean, the clean opening that you want to look for. We have the arm slank, and then we'll do the slightly more riskier one. But it's not as risky if you're used to it. So we get back middle. So the thing with the circles is that there's always an open spot in between it. So you can aim in between if your geometry is good. Boom. And we get to the we get to. It. So that's one way also, like you're kind of like, oh I don't see an opening. None of the balls uh, will will overlap with each other. So they won't explode like like in, in big circles. So you will always find a spot in between to, to sneak in if you're kind of like, you know, if you're a little bit panicky in where to go. 
What happened to that bug? Where red mates wouldn't get knocked back for some weird reason? Oh yeah, see that, they fixed that. That was a really weird bug. So what happened with that bug that was mentioned was that for some reason this knockback was a positional. Which meant if you're like backwards turned or something, uh, you wouldn't get knocked back. You would only get knocked back facing in a certain direction. I, I don't know why that happened. That was so weird. We tested it out a few times too. Um, and it was specifically like it was literally a positional. So like if you're- if, I think if you're backwards turned when it tried to do the knockback, you wouldn't get knocked back. Yeah, and then they fixed it. Because <laughs> that threw off some people, because some people had actually, um, they had actually set up their strategy on this fight such that they would get knocked back into a safe spot, because they would be going along the edges and they would use the knockback to get into a safe spot. And that threw them off because, you know, if you're expecting knockback and you don't get knocked back, then that's kind of a really scary moment. Yeah, it was just like a patch thing. I think they it was like a hotfix. It's so weird because it, it probably affected something else in the game stick. Something else in the game was probably getting affected, so so that's why it's like, you know, just weird coding in that in that situation that you just did something here and then it affected something there kind of thing. So that, this is the fight. Just make sure you keep the potions going. Sometimes you might see my HD getting a little bit scary low, but that's because I'm not keeping the heals up. Here we'll do another in-between here. Geometry. Get to a straight line, boom boom. You have some time to adjust too if you need to. So like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. You have about three seconds to make that adjustment if you are uh, if you kind of missed and hit the AOE. That's fairly consistent. They will not explode early. They'll always explode kind of on the same cadence. Would you say that steel is needed on this fight? Oh yes. I mean, look at the damage I'm taking with steel on. A hundred percent. I would never recommend you ever do this. You don't even do it on no steel and red mage, and you have the heals. I think only tanks can do this without steel comfortably. Maybe healers, but man, this is not not a good not a good day in the office for that. Do we have our opening here? Boop, 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 boop. Come on! Two! Three! Four! Five! How about run into a safe spot before the knockback count? How about run into a safe spot before the knockback count? Okay, so when you- the thing is, you would want to- you would want him to knock you back into it because he chases you down. So watch, if I go all the way here, look what's gonna happen. He's gonna come right at me. See that? So that means I'm right in his face and he's gonna start getting hits on me. So it's more ideal to get away from him as opposed to have him come to you. Does that make sense? Especially if you're trying to mitigate damage, it's- it's preferable. And sometimes, you know, if you have this fight down pat and like, you're okay with the HP, it's kinda just like a little- little like... Just a little detail thing that's not that necessary, but man, if you're straining for HP, and like you need just a little bit more breathing room, that would be more ideal. What are the macros for checking Behemoth health during and turning off transformation? Yo, I got you a bit. So let's put that out now, huh? So there on my bar, this is my transformation macro, which is over here. Uh, transfer, transfiguration status off. I'll put that in chat and you can see it here on the screen. And then, would you say for the HP health? Uh, that's my sword icon here. It is Echo Target HPP. And that is right here in my bar over here. The other one is well fed, but we don't really use that anymore. Um, I just have it there just in case, but we don't really use that anymore. You don't need to take off food, so that's the buffs. Alright, 160 guys. Let me catch up and chat a little bit. I'm going to take a restroom break before we continue. Um, let me just catch up and chat for a second. Um, okay, I got everything in. No problem, Abyss. Also, guys, by the way, we are um, partnered with uh, GMG glasses. So those are the glasses I'm using. Uh, they are they are not prescription, but they are meant to uh, protect you against blue light. And blue light rays sometimes will strain your eyes, make you a little tired and stuff. I've been wearing these for over a month now, and we do have a partnership with them. So if you buy some glasses with that link, you actually help me out. Um, but check it out if you think it might be useful to you. Uh, it's been helping me. Like I definitely, the screens are definitely way brighter if I don't have the glasses on. And uh, they definitely kind of help dim it out, kind of make it a little bit like nicer to look at. And again, I've been using it for like a whole month now and I really saw the improvements. It's really nice to 
to to be using for 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 the time being and and they're great they feel great too so if you if you're thinking about that about the blue light glasses definitely take, give them a look and we have a discount code for that one so uh we'll continue in a bit i'll be back guys we'll play a quick ad you're not gonna miss anything thanks bot thanks for doubling it up you know i was gonna talk about it and uh we'll continue into 161 so brb thank you for watching guys i'll catch you in a second Okie dokie. Let's continue. So far, so clean, although I'm still missing that raising. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about that raising, guys. Uh, I haven't seen the race. Haven't seen the racing for 60 floors. Kinda bad. Okay. Do I still have a heart rate? Okay, good. My heart is still installed. Go me. Let's continue. Thanks, Pick. Appreciate that. Hi right, team, 171, shall- wait, did I update title? No, I did not. Wait, I did, oh, okay, I'm, I'm dumb. Sorry, I'm dumb, I'm stupid. Oh no, it's the raising you burned for the- yeah, yeah, it's still the raising I burned for the toe trap, yeah. It's not, I have not gotten it back. <laughs> it's one of my bigger fears, but it is what it is. We had to demo. Alright, crocodiles, they do double attack. So we're gonna treat them with respect and we're gonna open with sprint to pull them out. Yeah, I'll get, I got that in a second, dude. So we do full sprint, full running around here. Once my sprint drops, I'll do a uh, leg graze here to continue that. Actually, I'm gonna turn back so I don't wanna go through the room. 
heal here just in case. These are the harder enemies to fight because of the double attack. Alright. The Linworms are the easiest to fight here. They are very simple. They do conal single attacks, nothing special. Got my Witching here. I'm gonna proceed through the room first to see what we got. Alrighty. I know that side is clear. I'm gonna try to get to this chest first. I have a Witching just in case this gets a little spicy. Lost. Alright, let's take a Linworm with me. I already know that that right side is clear of a trap. So we'll take advantage of it because I already walked there. One. This is where kind of remembering, uh, if, if you will, you can call it breadcrumbs. You know, you kind of leave breadcrumbs on the floor to remember the path that you took. It's going to be very useful if you want to be able to move and kite, especially with this job in particular. Alright. Check the other chests first. Here's, again, something I haven't mentioned at all so far. But you want to do the balancing of the navigation and the checking of the chests. The biggest tragedy you can do, and it's common, is that you open the exit and then you start checking chests. And what happens? Mimics. And that's why mimics become a bit of that meme and a bit of the, 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 the fear that you don't want to deal with mimics. But to help mitigate that is that you want to do a balance of navigating through the floors and checking chests before the exit opens. So in this instance, yes, okay, I aggro this, that's kind of a slight mistake, but that's okay, it's, it's a bit of a risk that I was okay with. So I want to check this chest before we have finished opening the exit. This is a Mimic? Fine. Got my raising, let's go. If it's a Mimic, it's fine because it contributes to the exit. It's okay. And Mimics in Palace are not that bad, they really aren't. You'd rather be fighting Mimics in certain other things. So if you can kind of fish them out, make them not contribute to the, the... make them contribute to the exit, you're in good shape. Um, and that's the theme that you want to go for with the with the run itself, is that if the exit opens, you want to try, try your best to make sure you don't do any more kills. Every kill after the exit opens is a waste of time. No matter how you look at it, in any situation that exists, anything that's a kill after the exit opens is a waste of time. Period. So what you want to do is you want to find that balance. How do I get through the floor between looking at chests and killing enemies, that I killed just exactly the amount I need to get to the exit. That's what you want to look for. Only bad for healers and casters. Hey, I'm going to tell you something. Like, like for sure, that, that theory and that logic of making sure you kill just enough um, is definitely bad for a healer and bad for a caster, but I would say that that is what I learned as a tank and a healer. But to apply it to a job that can kill way faster, I mean, it's still useful. And when you're looking at someone trying to go for a clear, Gabriel, every little detail counts, you know? I mean, once you start looking into scoring and, that, and those type of more harder challenges is when you can start pushing the envelope and pushing your limits and stuff. But if you're just trying to go for the clear, man, every little type of detail will help you. And that's part of that, right? So you don't want to kind of get a little lazy in certain parts of it. I mean, if you get everything right, then you're going to get a... I don't want to say an easy clear, but a pretty good clear. And it really will come down to your own decision as to, do I want to choose to do this? Do I want to choose to make sure my kills are optimal? Um, but in my opinion, in terms of getting a more secure clear and a more guaranteed clear, that's what you need to do. Keep it efficient. You got to be saving time here and there. You don't want to be bleeding time here and there. So exit's open, we're out. I checked everything, all the chests are checked, everything, we're good to go, no extra kills. Also, take into consideration that sometimes you got things spawning in the, in the spawn room. Uh, in, in, in your location, it's common in Palace of the Dead for something to spawn where you're standing. So you want to maybe take that into account too, you don't want to kill even more than that. And the longer and longer you're on a floor, the more likelihood more things will spawn. So you want to keep all those risks down low as you're going for the clear. Hope that made sense. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, again, like, I learned that from those attempts, but taking it back into the better jobs, you see how much, how much of a, how much of a, of a, an insurance it gives. I mean, look, we walked into the boss in the last boy 20 minutes. I mean, if you're, if you're a first time runner trying to go for the title and you walk into a boss with 20 minutes, how comfortable are you going to feel, right? No pressure. Easy. That's nice. Especially with something here that's such, so, like, so, high pressure and everything. You want to make sure that you keep it. Okay, so we are pulling one of everything. So we're going to pull this one. It, I don't like pulling this. It is a patrol. It is um, sight. 
But what it does is that it does an opening conal move, and then it follows up with slow ball, or whatever it is. Now that gives me a slow, right there. Ice suspension. It's a 15 second slow, it's a pretty brutal slow. Now if you end up pu pulling one, it's a good idea to pull yet another one, because again, we're talking about diminishing returns. So diminishing returns will come into play with this situation. So it would be advantageous for me to pull the other one, as there are seemingly a couple of them. <laughs> But I would prefer not to pull them all together if I can help it. How much for Hoarder title? I think I still have 1,300 to go for. I think I'm at 87 or something. So we're pulling another one here because we are on slow diminishing return. So you'll see this slow should be 6 seconds or 7 seconds. Yep, 6 seconds, 7 seconds. Some, some tech I like to use on Machinists is to use hypercharge in them. Yes! Yeah, what Perry said is 100% true. You can time your hypercharge when you take a slow, because hypercharge will set your GCD at a very specific amount, therefore it will cut through the slow. And that's really going to be good for crawlers later on, uh, when we fight crawlers later on. But they will apply here if you have to fight them. Here we open with a sprint pull. <coughs> Again, we're going to watch for our spin. Once our spin drops, we're going to do the leg raise here. I'm going to do the leg raise here so it has to catch up to me. Got a little bit... I was a little bit late, but that's not a big deal. We'll pull it back up, and we deal with the crop. These are usually really bad to fight um, because of that double attack, but we neutralize them because of our, um, our kiting ability. Did you just drop a chest? Yes, sir, you did. You gave me a pot shirt. Don't want to thank you. Oh, I well, thank you. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna wait for this crocodile to move his butt so I can get this chest clean. It is sight aggro. Thank you, sir or ma'am or sir or ma'am. Steel came back. Let's go. Actually, I'm gonna pull it. Um, I'm gonna wait for my sprint to come in because otherwise I'd have to pull the the torsus. So sprints in, pull. Tight along the wall here. Leg raise there. Okay. Hey Sugar Eve! Thanks, I appreciate it. Good old Machinist POTD, yeah, Ishin. Go back to classic. Gotta update the guides, you know what I mean? Okay, let's go here. Okay, nothing here, so we're not going to go to that room because there's no chest. What changed? Um, from Shadowbringers, the last time I did the guide was back, I think, in 5.3 or 5.5 or something. So it was a Shadowbringers attempt. And so you got the stat squish, you got some potency increases, so, so on and so forth. It's just it's just a, a number of things that are just di basically different. Um, oh, the 100 boss being harder, some of the other floors being a little bit harder. So that's also taken into consideration. If anything, the most the most telling difference that matters is 100 boss. And I've seen a number of comments already in the current videos where they're like, Oh my god, the 100 boss is so much harder than this video. And I did link my, my attempt on Machinist from like early Endwalker to the thing, but well, I can't expect people to read, to, to, to freaking look at the description all the time or read the description. So we just put the video out. Uh, I've been wanting to do this, but right now since I'm still farming potsherds, it's a good excuse because I need potsherds for Astro. So this is a good reason for me to uh, go back in here and get this guide out. We would have been done last week, but uh, you know, disconnect. So, glad I love it. My palms are great now, so I don't have to go too crazy with finding things. Um, I'm gonna kind of wait here for those patrols to come in, I guess. Oh boy. Come on. You have tea? Nice, Lexi. The 100 boss in stage took me all my rezos. Oof. <clears throat> it's a it's not a it's not a fun fight anymore. I mean it's not an easy fight anymore. If I time this correctly, I can get him even if he turns. Perfect. I might be able to get this if the crocodile doesn't move, but it's okay if he fights. I, I have I have tools to deal with him. Uh, oh, that's a good pickup. Okay, even if I fight him by accident, we're good to go. Good pickup there. Yep, we got we got everything back on this floor, so it's been nice to us. Shiny Beam of Light? I don't know what he's talking about. That's a trap position. So a lot of times the intuitions do stare a spawn with a trap. So um, 
Oh, you will see a lot of times I just purely skip it because I could be stepping on a trap instead. Strength in, good. Okay, so now we have a Wyver. A Wyver we take care of just like a crocodile here. I'm gonna sprint opener and then pull. And then we just run away from it, run around in a circle if we need to. NASCAR, as I like to call it. Once the sprint goes down, we will go into leg raise if needed, but I have strength on. These are double attacking enemies, so they're more deadlier. That's why you want to take them uh, more seriously, if you will. But they are proximity as well, so that's also another reason you want to take care of them. Um, so we fought the Linworm, we fought the the Croc. I don't think I fought one of those alligators. Let's fight those. They're, they're easy. They're, they're a little bit harder than the Linworms. They hit just a little bit harder, but they're not bad. Don't mention the Yella, you will summon her. But you just mentioned it, so you will summon her. For true hero in heaven and high, do you have to start with one from each place? Wait, for a true hero? No, you don't have to start with one, you just need to clear. Because all you need to do is show the NPC your, um, your, your accessories and that's it. So you don't have to start from one, you just need the shrine stuff. Shrine with one. Okay. Gonna pull this crocodile here. Why we're good for sages? Uh, Wyvers, Triceratops, and uh, Crocs are never good pulls, but what you can do on a Sage though is you can pull one of them and then pull like a Linworm. So you go like one Wyver, one Linworm, one Wyver, one Alligator. So you don't want to do two of them because they're going to be doing double attacks all the time. Okay, I don't think I pulled this, but we'll showcase this one. This guy just does a Konal and just does single attacks, so he's pretty easy. Um, again, he hits just a little bit harder than a Linworm for some reason, maybe because he's bigger. Probably has more HP as well, but that's all he does, so he's a good pull. I have a strength that I can go back to in a sec. Okay, check, 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 check. Sight. Definitely using that. Alright, what do we got? Trap over there, that is a luring trap. Um, I will have- I'm gonna fight the Wyver, because again, he is proximity. Now, the donut room is the best room to use for kiting, because of the pathing. Just gotta be careful for the traps, but because I did a sight, I know what the trap is, I just have to make sure I don't step on it. But it is an ideal spot for kiting here. Machinists love donut rooms. Who doesn't love a good donut, right? We had Donut Bunny in here, that's another good donut right there. Strength? Okay, so I have another option for strength here. Uh, I'm gonna pull the wire here. The croc just moved, so I don't have to worry about that. Watch my ricochet though. Oop, that one's gonna be a bit of a problem. Bring around the circle. So remember the donut rooms, guys. They are gonna be one of the best places to use the kite. You don't always get them, but definitely take advantage of them if you do. I do want the, uh, the, 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 the strength here and then the bronze chest there. Can't get the bronze chest. I'd have to fight something else with that. Alright, we're gonna go. Donut without learning trap? Well, I mean, you know, it's sitting there. I don't step on it. Ah, uh, Yuffie. Thank you, ma'am. And a flight. Alright, how are we looking? Wyvers. Oh, we got the meme dinosaur, as Miss Sheila likes to call it. I'll show you what's cool about the vinegars. The vinegar runes. So they're gonna do a front conal here. You're gonna get behind them. They're gonna do a back conal. And every time they do this, you run right back behind because they are just gonna spam this to the- well, not- they're gonna spam it at least eight times. They don't do it infinitely, but by the time you kill it, it's really dead. So this is all they do, literally. But you have to stand behind them. If you don't stand behind them, they will get back- they will just stop and do just regular auto attacks. But that's how you cheese them, so you don't have to deal with any of their attacks. It's a really, really good thing to pull. Check the chests real fast. Safety! Why? Right, yes, please. I'll use it. Okay, I don't need to be on the back wall or in this one. Uh, there's a chest here though. Mimic. Do, 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 do. 
respect. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, can't count apparently. Okay, I'm actually not gonna trick that chest. The reason here is that if that's a mimic again, I do not have an interrupt for that pull. It was at 11 seconds. I, I made it. I may miss the interrupt. So here I'm gonna pull this instead, and then we'll get the chest later. Again, we want to balance it, right? We want to make sure that we're checking chests before we open the exit. We have another meme dinosaur here, which will, which will actually skip. Up oh, there it is. We called it. So that means I have the interrupt here. So it's okay. It's not a big deal on this one. That's why I delayed. So it's something to take into consideration. This will catch people. I would guarantee it. Sometimes you're like, okay, here's another chest. Pop it open right away. Boom, secondary mimic. Um, but with a machinist and other jobs that have interrupt, you want to make sure that you just don't do it that fast because then your interrupt may not be ready and you'll take a box. No, I never do that. Why would you say that? <laughs> True, who does that? No, no one does that. Come on. It's a silver though. Can't be a mimic. Any chests over there? Steel, re-up steel. Uh, let's um, clear up the exit before I re-up that steel, shall we? Looks like I'm clear to go, although I don't get that chest clean. Wait, did I safety? I did safety, okay. So this is safety. Watch me step on a trap because I thought I safety. Fortune. Excuse me, dinosaurs, don't worry about it. Nothing, nothing to see here. Wyvern wants to go because of the uh, the chest in this room. I'll come back and get this fuel later. Oops. Ooh. My bad. I hit uh, the home button or something. What the hell? Wait, what the hell? Reset my camera. That's weird. Okay. Check. Let's, let's go get that steel and I'll get the yellow beam. I didn't- my home button would reset my camera, but I, that's not what I hit. I hit like backspace and like... something. I don't know what- I don't know what the hell I hit. And my V is the one that flips my camera too, but I didn't hit that either. With my right hand that did that. Really weird. Alright, let's go. Play Lust. I think I fly to this. Oh, let's pull a Mylodon, shall we? Mylodon is sight. It'll do an opening conal if you're close enough to it. If you're actually running away from it, it won't open with a Kono. It'll go straight to Slow Ball. Slow Ball is an unavoidable AoE. It'll follow it up, but if you're too far, it'll actually just go to Slow Ball. Not, a, not right away, but eventually. There's Slow Ball right here. Boom. Just an AoE, it's nothing too scary about. Um, it would be more deadly in like Gloom or something like that, but... Pegasus costing 11, 11 million. I should dump all of my uh, my my high level sacks and bounce before the next deep dungeon rolls around. Maybe. Steal again. Cool. All right, that's the exit. Um, I'll check the chest real fast. Actually, we'll bind. I can't bind wall. Uh, okay, another steal. So let's do the rage here. Unboxing stream. Why well, the thing is, if like the next deep dungeon goes haywire, I mean maybe more people do the other deep dungeons, and then the prices will all go down. You know what I mean? So I should get rid of the mounts now, like maybe like three months beforehand. Hey, look, we have a special enemy. Look, it's him. It's the guy. Unfortunately, I can blow him up with the rage. So he he he. he. Come here. What does he say? What does he say? Uh, even in death, I serve. Yeah, well, unfortunate. Okay, the top chest. I got like a million steel apparently. Okay, I know I have a steel by the exit, so let's just do that. 
And we had a Rage Steel Steel. Okay, so I checked everything. Scuff Guide. Why step on that trap? Are you happy with that? <laughs> I didn't know. I, was, I thought I was in the spawner. Uh, let's do uh, this one. Oh, I can't do it. Okay. I'm gonna sprint here. I wanna focus in on the other dinosaur because he is the worst one to fight. Didn't know he was here? Yeah, he is here on this set. Okay, got with them. Okay, now we do with this. You're almost dead, so I'm actually gonna beat this one. Okay, we're good now. No problem. Didn't need a witching. Just need a steal. I just wanted to show off, I guess, a little bit. Oh, yeah, he goes back to Tonko. Okay, we're good. Easy game, nothing to worry about. Let's go over here to get the steel, and then off we go to the next floor. Fubar, good to see you, my friend. Steel. we got triceratops they are worse than a wyver they just hit harder um so it's something to just mind yourself about so it's like the crocodile and then the wyver is a little bit harder than the crocodile and then the triceratops is a little bit harder than the uh wyvers they just push out more damage a little bit so just make that a note i'm gonna leg raise here You got the pterodactyls over there. They're gonna do a little quicker AoE on their end. So they are they are proximity, they are patrol. So kind of you do want to handle them. They're not bad, they're pretty easy to deal with. But you don't want to be standing in your spot too long because that Thunderbolt is actually faster than your typical AoE. So you want to make sure that you're either in motion or just know that it's coming, you'll be alright. See if I can bypass the wyver. We can, so we're gonna skip those. Go to the next area. Okay, these guys are proximity as well. They will open up with Mukin. Mukin is a stone skin. I'm gonna let the first one go so you can see what it is. It's a stone skin that gives itself like a 50% HP shield. It's only 7 seconds, but you can't cut through it. You just gotta literally wait for it to drop. So I see no damage, no damage, no damage. So just make sure that you have an interrupt for them, because you can stop it with an interrupt. Just as, as an extra tidbit, if you're a job with a stun, you can stun it. I'll have to pull the other one, because it is blocking my way to that room. And I'd like to check what that room is. So it happens about a couple seconds after you pull, so something just to keep in mind. Just have your interrupt ready for that. Right there. Incoming meme dinosaur. That gaze is a conal front, so you don't have to worry too much about it. One, two, three. I'm taking a little bit more damage than you think, only because it is HP down. So that's why we're taking a little bit more damage here. Sight is good again. Alright, the exit has a bronze chest, so we'll check all the other rooms first. We do have a yellow beam here. Safety. See my way through here. Oops, guess not. Watch my ricochet, because he might be a little close to the other dinosaur.
checking all the other chests too, just in case we get a strength or steel again. Holding on to my wildfire, we have to pull that one just to get through the room, so let's see how that goes. If I open the exit, I'm just gonna go. We did not, so let's pull the next one. One, no ricochet. Two, three, four, five, I think floor 161, 169 is a chill mod after it's begun. Well, this floor still kind of spooks me. I think for Machinist, this floor is really good. For a lot of the other jobs, I, I, I am spooked by this floor because of what the enemies can do and stuff. But for Machinist, it is a much better situation. Okay, we're not out yet, so that means we can check a couple more chests. After this one, I'm going to go back to the exit because we don't need anything further. We up in the steel. Now here's interesting. I'm gonna pull the Triceratops here. Because now what we wanna do is we wanna open up the exit prior to leaving this room. Or I can do one more kill like this. And then we'll go and open the and then we'll go towards the exit, potentially needing at least one more kill. Leg race here. Don't have to worry about too much like with the opening sprint because I have steel on. Can be spicy, DPS, food full. Yeah, what's up, Noga? Yeah, it's like when I'm red mage or like when I'm melee, this is the this is the floor that I get a little spooked on. Even summoner was one job that I just kinda liked. Ugh, cause cause it's the last floor where you really want to try to get through without wanting to use a steel. And that's why it's spicy. For a machinist, range phys uh, physical range, this is kind of no problem. Tank, no problem. I, I don't concern myself with this floor, but certain other jobs you definitely like think about it a lot more. Noga, how you doing? Good to see you. Okay, that Mylodon just spawned, so let's go to the exit here. The landmine. I will not utilize a landmine on a Machinist. It's unnecessary, also it's a little bit too risky. I don't have too many ways to heal myself back here. So it's gonna do that, and then it's gonna do slow ball. Slow ball, so I'm gonna stay a little bit away from here. Probably heal at some point. Chill in PvP, nice dude. You gonna put top 100, Noga? Just like the good old days? Okay, I'm gonna get behind him because he might turn around. Which he did. Maybe? If I get it, I don't, I, it's fine. I'm just doing it once a week. I, I just have fun doing it, but I don't have intentions of doing it myself. The ship already sailed for me. I'll just, I'm just having fun. Pushing. I had no items. So we had this discussion last time about uh, how do you deal with no items and Machinist. And really, Machinist is really good with no items. But you want to take care of your pulls a little bit more, uh, with a little bit more care. So we'll really try to do pulls with the sprint opener as well as the uh, leg raise. So here you'll see, like, this is again, no items, so we don't have any backup potions here. I do have, uh, I do have, uh, what do you call it? My second win, but we're gonna hold on to it as long as possible. I'm thinking seriously, the, the only frame that got my interest is rank 1-1. Yeah, I don't care about that one. <laughs> oh my god. It, like, has a trophy on it. It's like, a. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to showcase a trophy, I'm happy. I, I just want the crystal frame, that's all I care about. A lot of, lot of, lot of enemies here that do uh, proximity, so let's pull this one for- Oh, did I just double hit? No. Okay, so we're gonna do this one first, because this is a lot easier. No double attack, no nothing. This is like the logic where if you were melee, we would tell you to do bloodbath on one pull, and then bloodbath, and then without bloodbath the next pull. So in this instance, you're doing a pull without, with sprint, then a pull without sprint. Just reach crystal with retired. Yeah, I mean, I honestly will retire for the season if the queues stop. That's it. If the queues keep going, I'll, I'll be still in, but it's all up for the queues. Damn, why'd you give me a rage? Mean game. Mylodon? I shouldn't have pulled the Mylodon actually, because I can do this without sprint. It's okay. Triceratops, don't do it. Don't do it. So, because we're kiting it, you're gonna see slow ball first, because we were kiting it. That's the reason why that happened. Steel. Oh, that's a tempting set of enemies, a set of uh, palms right there. I'm gonna open sprint here, pull the Triceratops so to get access to that chest. God, I hope it's a, it's gonna be a surrender over there. 
Sonic Banger. This is from the Pulse album. It's Sunrise, but it's a remix of Sunrise. I retired after I hit Crystal as well. I don't blame you guys, honestly. I really don't. Like, I just- I'm just doing it because it seems like people like to watch it and stuff, that's it. I mean, honestly, if people don't want to watch it anymore, then I'm not gonna do it anymore. <laughs> like, no- no joke. Like, he's just like, okay, no one cares? Alright, I'm- I'll just do something else. I can go back to my speedruns in uh, SOP and have another day for it, you know? So let's check the chest that I left alone. I'm retired after getting my Garu Mount series gear. Okay. I'll do it for the, for the Chivos. Yeah, I have no achievements to get, except maybe Alpha Wolf, but I don't really care about that either. So on my end, it's purely just fun. Which, you know, God forbid we play games and have fun, but you know, so occasionally I, I, I do do that sometimes. Pulling this Triceratops because it will aggro. I'm just doing a daily frontline roulette to get the last car amount and get it eventually. Yeah, you get it eventually. Alright, so wait you. I think we have pulled everything, right guys? Everything has been pulled at least one time. That was the goal of today's run. If I can help it, I'll try to pull one of everything. I believe we did accomplish that on this set of floors so everyone can see at least a look at all the enemies. Um, I'm probably gonna aggro if I do that. Why does why does this Triceratops look bigger than this one? Right? Doesn't this doesn't this one on the right look bigger than the one on the left? The hell? Why? Why? Is this perspective? Maybe it's just like in a higher thing. Yeah, it's just standing on the pile. Yeah, that's what I think so too. Okay, open. Does this mom don't be rude? I wasn't being rude. Wondering. That good? Okay. I cannot check that chest because it is not clear, so I'm gonna just move along. Uh, we're going. Because I can't check that other chest either because they're all proximity, so we go to the next one. I like when mobs are shy and try to hide. Like in the wall. Because I love when mobs hide in the wall. Like, wall, literal wall hacks. Pochion. Okay, I'm gonna pull the Triceratops, it looks like. My sprint will be back up in a second. And looks like another proximity enemy in the future. This does open me up to getting this chest if I do this Triceratops. And easy pulls here. No, trust me, these guys are really bad to fight if you were taking damage, but... We're pretty good at mitigating, so... Four, three, two, one. Leg like graze here. One, two, three, four. Okay, check the chest. The portion. I'm gonna pull a Mylodon because I want to clear up the path to get back here a little bit more smoother. Uh, because I might have to pull that other one and I need some running space. I have 50 seconds of my steel left, so something to note. Okay, let's see if there's a trap here. We are clear of a trap, so now we can pull without problem. Um, I'm gonna spoil my sprint. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't get the thing. Oops. I was trying to sneak in the GCD, but I didn't get it. My bad. Oh, what about? Wonderful pull. 
Those are bronze chests. I'm gonna wait. Um, I'll pull this, but I'll wait. Yeah, yeah, good thing I waited. Enemies didn't move. Okay, I'm gonna pop a potion because I have really no kiting room here. So you'll see the amount of damage that we're gonna take. Oh, actually, I can move here because I can go behind these guys first. I should make it out before they really move again. Okay, popping the leg raise here. Mylodon looks like he'll have to come with me. Oh, we want to keep our kills to the minimum here. I'll wait for them to move. Alright, he moved. Sprinting. I didn't watch this guy, so I'm not sure if he moved. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I didn't see it, so we'll move. Okay, he didn't. Uh, Triceratops on the middle side, so I can get along the room on the right side. Alteration, we'll use that right now. Off to the next floor. Looks like I cannot get that chest unless I kill something. Our palms are full, so it's really not that big of a deal for me to skip it, so we will. I'd rather have to steal for the next floor of anything, so we're gonna take- we're gonna skip that chest. And again, that's like part of that, right? That could be a Mimic, I gotta fight for it, so part of the decision of why we're skipping it is there. And that I, my palms are full. Okay, Witching is gonna come into play later. Let's do the opening full on the, on the Triceratops here. You ever- you'll never clear this on Machinist, there's literally not enough damage. El Jeffy Ground, there's not enough damage to Machinus, you're right dude. That's why they keep buffing it for a raid, right? You're right, you're right, you're right. We'll just have to stay tuned, man. Witching. Oh, I shouldn't have sprinted, whatever. Whatever! Took the chance. I have to- I have to respect the ulti room too, or Mimic I guess. I'm not gonna get past this dino I think, so we're just gonna respect this one. I'll- I'll potion here. The buffing machinist just because of the raids. Yeah! But they're making machinists even better in deep dungeon, so... They'll never buff a job because of deep dungeon. If they ever do that, man, that is- that is going to be the golden day for all of us. If they start buffing and changing jobs because of deep dungeon, oh my god. Can you imagine? What a, what a what a timeline that will be. I have Machinist in my raid, he does fine. I think if you're going to Machinist is pretty poor as well, but yeah, I think I think like I don't know, if you're using like FF logs and stuff, I'm pretty sure that's what's showing up. And honestly that's why they keep adjusting it. I mean otherwise you might see more people use it, but like I'm no I'm no expert in that department, I just go by what I hear. Yeah, 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 yeah. But in Deep Dungeon, Machinist is your top tier job. One of the top tier- oh, we got Mimics. It's one of the top tier jobs in here, so it's- it's one that you like to use, it's one that's popular. Um, so. Okay, Mimic number one, we're pulling. Up to 30 Mimics today. Actually, not today, but in combination. Reason us were not enough still. That's 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 the consensus I heard. Um, but you know, like like in here for Deep Dungeon, it's just funny because they keep buffing it, and it's like, okay, well, Machinist was already fine before any of the buffs, and now you're just making it even better in here. Like I get it in raid, I get it. It's it, it, but you're not going to you're not going to be catering any any buffs or something to 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 level 60 Deep Dungeon or level 70 Deep Dungeon, you know. Um, you're going to focus in on the current content, but it is becoming- it is kind of hilarious how just better and better it becomes in here. Oh no, I got jabated! I was talking about this earlier. Hey, the altered mimics might start with Death Trap. Yeah, well, it jabated me, so it started with Death Trap. <laughs> God damn it. Oh well, it's fine. It's it's not like I'm really using the purities anyway. It's just kind of boring. I was on just I was just on like a like a 
like a cadence reaction. It's like, okay, first move it does, I'll just pop my my uh, my head graze and yeah, that's what happened. There was no um. No, it wasn't here. All right, well, I'll use the purity because it's fine. Um, let's pull. Let's clear up the exit. So this exit's not clear. So we'll pull this one here. Could at least give me a caution for debating me. Here we are in a unique situation, team. Because we are carrying a steel into the fight, we are actually only going to use steel. So we don't have to re-up the strength here because we might have enough damage to take care of the boss with only steel. So here we'll talk about how I handle this boss in the NASCAR way that, we, that I'd like to talk about. Hopefully we will have enough steel for this. So we do the opening pull here, no lust. We're just going to do the fights. So we have about two minutes of steel right now because it just ticked down to one minute. About two minutes of steel. Alright, so here's what we do. We just do this kiting normally. It's gonna drop a puddle. Alrighty, now here's how we do this NASCAR. I'm gonna be moving around in a circle. It's gonna give me a wait right about here. Pop. I'm gonna wait a second. I'm gonna wait for the... 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 Um... What is this? I'm gonna wait for that, which is Dredge. Now we want to park the uh, we want to park the AOE Electro right here, and once that parks in, I go into this puddle, walk right through it, and timing wise, it's gonna drop it right in it. There you go. So now that we're gonna get a uh, diminishing return on the weight, I want to make a bigger and bigger circle here. Uh, yo, Eric, what's up, dude? I don't have to sprint here. Not, I mean, I don't have it to begin with but uh, we don't need it to avoid. So we go next to the puddle here, we drop off the, the Electrogenesis, and we go into the puddle here. Yo, what's up, Eric? How you doing? Thanks for that raid. Welcome in, guys. You're on the 170 boss. I don't know if I have a mod here, but once I finish this up, I will get you a shout-out. Um, danger new time, dude. Okay, bigger and bigger circle here. How's your stream, Eric? What are you up to, man? Welcome in guys, Angelus Demon is here. We're doing a live tutorial for uh, Machinus, a brand new one for the expansion. Puddled uh, the AoE drop to go back into the puddle. And this is how we manage this fight. So you have to kind of make adjustments on your circling here to make this uh, nice and clean. <clears throat> but that's how you do it. And running around is more is more damage uh, reduction. You used to do like this kind of clockwork, like stop and go, stop and go. Oh, uh, steal. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm I think I saw the actual thing drop up. Okay, in. One. So we are doing this without strength, that's why I am not strengthening, and that's why I delayed the steal, because I was using my previous steal here. The placement is incredibly satisfying. Yeah, especially if you park it like perfectly. So then big circle, big circle, big circle. The dust is coming in, I kinda wanna hold a little bit just for the AoE to drop down. Go. Um, got two stage files to floor 30, 40 each. It was putting me to sleep even, but yeah, well you didn't, you didn't even get to, well, 21 you do get to the better stuff. Okay. There's the weight I get from that one. Gonna make a tighter circle here. I'm sprinting here. Gonna do that. Into the puddle here. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that placement. What a good placement that was. I also ate a large piece, so I was getting food. Ooh, a large pizza sounds pretty good. I'm gonna have some pizza tomorrow. Okay, a tighter, uh, tighter, a uh, little bit of a wider circle, rather. One, two, three. Four, five. Wow, 
wider circle. You made this fight look so easy, meanwhile you should see the train wreck machine is <laughs> Hey, I almost missed the steel drop, but it's okay. That was totally my bad, but I did see the, see the steel drop. That's alright. Well, you know, I, I went to describe it a little bit um, to talk about how to pull it off, but hopefully it made sense to anyone watching and listening. Um, so yeah, pretty much it's just you have to kind of make adjusting NASCAR circle. And pretty much the main parts of it is that you want to park the AoE like right next to it, like right here next to the puddle here. And then once that drops, you can go right into here and it's more or less consistent. It's just whether or not you're making a big circle or a small circle. That's pretty much what you go for. That's your kind of um, uh, visual, if you will. The visual you look for to, to get it consistent. Jitka, hello. I'm going to try to read your message. Just give me a moment, okay? Just gonna, once I get into a rotation, I'm slowly read that. Okay. Uh, I was wondering, why do people run around mobs in solo? Does it does it reduce? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So with the machinist, first of all, that's that's the ideal situation. But look at this. See this distance, Jitka? This enemy has to travel this entire distance just to hit me. So that alone is I'm already I'm already mitigating how much how many autos from that thing, right? Two autos from that. Uh, so yeah, it's it's pretty much uh, it's pretty much about the reduction of, of of damage. So it's kind of just mitigation, if you will. But that's mostly why you're running around either in a circle or just a long path. It's because of that kiting. And not to mention that this, this job in particular, you can take advantage of sprinting, you can take advantage of leg raise, which puts weight on certain enemies, which means if they're not catching up to you, they're not doing damage. That's mostly the reason. And, and physical range jobs, some casters like summoner, a little bit of red mage, sometimes the healers, they have the advantage because you have mobile damage. Um, whereas a melee doesn't. A tank doesn't. And so you're just taking the damage up front and you have to find other ways to deal with it. But yes. That is the main reason for the kiting. See, this, this entire time I don't take a hit. Trust me, it's a lot more damage if I'm just standing there. Um, but it makes sense for a job like this because yeah, you're, you're running gun. Hey, are we here? So, so we started with a 2 minute steal guys. We started this fight with a 2 minute steal. We're at 19%, I still have about 3.5 minutes on steal, so just an indicator there. Um, so that means we've done about, what, 4.5 minutes? So that's about 6.5 minutes. So you might actually get away with this fight with just the steal, no strength. And maybe do a lot to, to make it a little bit easier here. Park the puddle next to this thing over here, wait for the AoE to come out. Alright. Into the puddle. Tactician. Curse. Okay, I like the gents and jobs are going in. One, two, oh, okay, get it. Two, three, four, that's just five. Okay, we're gonna get weight here. So we did about, this was about an eight minute, uh, no, this was about a seven minute fight with steel. It's a seven minute with steel, so it's a seven minute fight without strength on, so something to take into consideration. Might be, might be a thought to just steal and then lost and then you get away without the strength. I mean, look, saving a strength is not bad, right? Alright, that's 170, team. Hoorah! Octavarius, welcome back, dude. How did, how did ulti go on your end? Alright, this is Behemoth, guys. The big one is Behemoth. So, in about 40, 50 minutes, you'll see Behemoth. Not a Hellgate? What do you mean? It's fine. It's just Behemoth. We, we up in Nid City? Nice. Which one? The first or the second? Clearly the second, right? You guys are- you guys are stre- You guys are crushing it! You're on the second Nidhog! Double up on food. Let's go. <laughs> now we casual. Doesn't matter. Maybe a casual is up in second Nidhog, you know what I mean? We're just casually getting up to double dragons. No problem. Raising comes in. Alright, let's pull one of everything, shall we guys? Bandrew Snatch! I don't like pulling these. They are like uh, the Triceratops, they're like the Wyvers. They will just do a lot of just double attacks, no telegraphs. Um, so if you need to pull them, you will do a sprint pull here. 
Um, also, 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 they have sight. If I didn't mention that, so you can you can definitely avoid a lot of them. But again, we're gonna try to pull kind of one of everything, if you will. So that's why I pulled it, so you can see what it does. Not a not a great one. A lot of the other enemies here, the Domel, the Polar Bear, the Cyclops, way better to fight. Um, and you would rather be targeting them. It did drop a chest. Oh wait, wait, what? What is this chest? Oh, steel. Oh. <laughs> First thing I saw is two patrol for his four. Yeah, yeah, dude. They're just walking along over there. Um, safety this is good. Soul Anzu. If the opportunity presents itself, I will. Okay, so the Dom Mel, I can fight no craziness here. Just pull it. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I'm gonna pull this Bandersnatch only because it is in the way. It's like right on top of the exit. So we'll take care of it now while I have sprints. No hesitation on that one. This new ultimate getting me hyped for the new deep dungeon. Yeah! Same dude! Really, it isn't just the new ultimate um, Octavarius. It's really everything they've released in terms of battle content. Even from the beginning of the expansion. From the solo DDs to the trials to the to the raids to the 24 man, like everything. It's just wow, you know, it's just kinda like really excited for really any battle concept coming into play. Alright, so that's two banner snatches. Let's pull the Cyclops here. Cyclops will do Glower and it'll do a circular AoE. Now because of your kiting, it may not actually start with the circle AoE instead of Glower. So just watch its uh just watch its uh, its cast bar. Flower is a straight line. Circle AoE is a circle AoE, so it's just don't be around it. This is the old uh, coin counter of um, the old coin counter of Orum Vale. They are still here. It's just you don't deal with them any. Oh, you don't deal with them anymore in, 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 in uh, Orum Vale. Yeah, Criterion is going to be interesting too. I hope it is at least. Alright, so that's uh, all those enemies. Now let's get to the next room first before I pull something else. We do have safety up. I hope, I hope, yo, you're definitely gonna see me do at least Criterion and when the patch drops. Whether or not we continue to do it on stream is a question, but I will 100% stream that. Alright, so here, I'm gonna do this. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So I'm gonna leg graze first. Well, there's no trap right now, so I, I hit safety, so it's kind of a bit of a move point, but once we uh, have to deal with it, I'll showcase it. But this is one of the special trap rooms that have a trap in the corner. A lot of times the trap is right about here, but we don't have to worry about it right now because I did a safety. But that's what Killer Jolt is uh, talking about. I haven't even run into this room, like, I think, yet, this entire time. Psychops coming back. Two, three. All right, we're gonna let the Cyclops go here, and then we we are off on our way. I really hope for a good DD weapon. I didn't like the Sage DSC weapon. I'm just hoping it's blue. Uh, as long as it's blue, I don't care what it is. I just I just want it to be blue. That's it. Just make it blue, and you'll make me the happiest person in this planet. I've just been watching a blue weapon for so long. A lot of pulse cells really good. Yep. Switching. Like the blue I'm wearing? Yeah, like the like a like the blue I'm wearing. I don't care, I just, just make it blue. Okay, I didn't pull a did I pull a polar bear? All they do is a conal. And that's it, they just do single auto single auto attacks. Um really easy to pull. Them, the Domel and the Cyclops, like I said, are the best ones to pull because they're just very simple. A lot of Cyclopses, so let's pull them, just to thin them out a little bit. One... Two... That's, again, don't be in a straight line there. Three... I think Shati. Shati's the same. So 
Glalie. Take out of patrol. Lost my ricochet, because it's near an enemy here. Only con digital blue weapons. I'll take it, just make it blue, that's all I care about. One, two, three. That was a ricochet. It's okay. Because the Cyclops, I mean the the Polar Bear just moved in a good spot. I'll fight the Bandersnatch if I need to. Oh, we don't have to. Where's the exit? That's the exit. I'm gonna check, see if I can check one more chest here. The Bandersnatch behind me should move because of how long it took. Oh. Uh, got my Basin back, Fog. Might get this Bandersnatch, but no. Okay. Um, that's a little bad. I'm gonna wait for him to move. I would rather not have to fight him. Also, that Dommel has to get pulled no matter what because it is right on top of the exit and it is proximity. Everything else is sight here, but that is proximity, so I have to probably deal with it. But we'll wait because I think anywhere I go with this Bandersnatch, it should aggro, left or right. He's in like the perfect position right now to be a jerk. Sorry, it's a water break. Let's go. Come on. I believe in you. Good boy. Good boy. Dommel has to get pulled. Just conceal, true. Pretty sure I get the Bandersnatch because he's gonna move anytime soon. But YOLO! Uh Some leg raise here. Same thing. Backup strategy here is to start with leg raise, and then sprint. And then what, what I can do as a backup is I can bind here for a second. I think that Bandersnatch is looking in the... He's gonna aggro. God damn it! Guess I'm dealing with a Polar Bear. These extra kills are killing me, but it is what it is. All for goddamn potsherd. Feels bad. Okay, I'm gonna watch the Polar Bear here. I wanted to get to this room fast so I can see what the polar bear is up to. We want to wait for movement, ideally. Especially because his position is not great right now, anyway. Did I have a safety here? I did have a safety here, yeah. It is used. So this is patience. Um, it should take me a short amount of time to wait for this polar bear to move versus fighting this thing. No matter where he goes, I'm gonna be good. Oh, that's a little tight though. I should be okay though, by the very edge of this. Good. Did we get a shout out by the way for Eric? If we didn't, I, I forgot about that. Let's go. Shout out to our, uh, our good man, my name, Eric. He's a good friend of ours. Just such a big supporter of all the deep dungeon runners and does it himself too, so definitely check him out, please. He, he just raided us, I don't know if he's still here, but definitely check him out, guys. Uh, Leafy, Leafy, Leafelu, thanks for follow. Hey, Wetmog, what's up, man? I'm mean, good, Wetmog. I imagine you're like, you're like in Double Dragon Ultimate, right? 
you're a gamer. You're probably already done with it. You're probably like World 4th. <laughs> I'm almost certain you're like World 4th or something. Uh, going, good, going good here, thanks for asking. I hope you're doing well. How to kill Wolf? We'll do it. I gotta clear up the room though. Only doing 12 a week? Okay. All good. Oh, my strength is dropping now. Alright, so Wolf, let's do it, shall we? Wait, I gotta sprint. I need sprint. I need sprint. Can I just have this on? Let's skip this on. Sprint. Okay, we're gonna NASCAR around the Wolf. The Wolves are usually terrible to fight uh, because they have a DOT, but we can neutralize it because we are machinists, so we just make big circles here. Watch my sprint. Once it drops, I need to do leg raise. So right about here, I do the leg raise here. So now it has to keep up with me at a limited amount of speed. I also have bind that I could do if I need to. Okay, I could. Get a little distance here, and then finish it out. There's your wolf, not even touched once. That's no steel, no strength, too. So even better, honestly, it, it, it makes it a little bit more, uh, more fun that way. Okay, where are you going, Mr. Cyclops? Pulling the Domel. Anything else we haven't pulled yet? I think that's everything for now. This one so far, good. I'm just not surprised that you're in there and doing some work, but good to hear, man. I've been keeping up with a lot of it, so I kind of know... I'm pretty I'm pretty well-versed on the fight. I've seen a lot of video of it, so... I have to keep myself updated with the things. Ah, yes, yeah, steel. Very good. I just had a dog replace the Mimic. You had a dog replace the Mimic. A dog... wait, what? At the end of the day, Necromancers are just really good at running away from things. <laughs> Aren't we good at raising the dead? I thought I forgot. I thought that was it. Oh, we got another raising. Um, let's pull the Cyclops. Sub Zyron. I usually use steel to kill the wolf. Nah, you don't need steel, dude. Not on the machinist. Just, just play keep away. Defense buff. Oh, I see. You've been watching a lot of it as well. Yeah, it's been a pretty fun watch. I did that with the last ultimate. Uh, it was pretty fun. I, I, I kind of enjoyed it. I'm gonna actually bait the... Oh yeah, good thing. Okay, good thing I delayed because I was gonna see if I can bait the Glower and then go. And it was good because that means um, I would have aggroed the Wolf. Also, it started here with 100. Again, sometimes it does that. It is in a spot that would aggro, so I'm probably not going to deal with it right now. Yep. Flight, good. Did you drop a chest? Open with leg raise here. Same thing. There's a sanguine bite. I can't go that way. Can't go the other way either. Fine for a second. One. What is this wolf? He's gonna aggro like 10,000%. Okay. Okay, get behind him. I cannot get that chest because it's on Domnell blocking it. I'd have to wait for the Bandersnatch. Do I? Hmm. Yeah, I think I have to wait for the Bandersnatch to move. Otherwise, I might aggro. It's a little iffy, but I think I will wait. Okay, let's go. Next board. I figured I'd do that. That's okay. It's okay. It does mean I get the chest, though. Fortune. Yeah, he looked close right as I stepped into the exit. It's okay, it's not a big deal. This is the easier one to fight. Yeah, 
stupid. Yeah, I know the the Elven dude. The Elysian. Elizen, sorry, the Elizen. Okay, this is flighted. Check this in. Pulling it. One, two, three, four, five. This is near. This is near. One of the few near songs that does not actually anger YouTube. Serenity, I'll use the Serenity for the haste. Duh, obviously, why wouldn't I do that? It's good when you're on a job where nothing really threatens you. I mean, some things will threaten me, but it's very good confidence to look at all enemies and be like, yeah, I can deal with that, no problem. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I'm gonna travel along here, I might take the line, but it's okay if I aggro it, otherwise it's gonna be good if I don't. Okay, potential trap, by the way, over here. So we're gonna make some fancy movement to avoid that trap. Flight again, good. Uh, the Stonehenge was one, this is the other one that has a corner trap, so we're gonna be making a big loop around. Actually, I can't because the polar bears will fight it through. But we're gonna make a big loop around that area there, because that trap could be there. I didn't realize I'm big well, I got copyright. Does it? Doesn't surprise me, but anything from like one of those, one of, anything from the primals, I think, is a problem. Hey, Sinek, what's up, man? Okay, big moving around. Mimic. Game CA. Yeah. You know what gave me a problem on YouTube that had not given me a problem before? is uh, the Don't Be Afraid uh, from 14. The E8, E9, uh, no, E... E9, E10 song that you hear in the game. That did not give me a problem until recently. I do have videos that have the song in there and it didn't trigger until it did it like a couple months ago. So you'll never hear it from my playlist because I don't use it. Um, but it was so weird because the original does. The original Don't Be Afraid from FF8 will trigger YouTube. Um, and I don't have that either, but the 14 one was fine. It's just I don't understand why it all of a sudden did it, but it does now, so... But Extreme doesn't, so... It's just weird how it works. Hold on. What is in that chest again? Serenity. Okay, off the next work. It does. Hmm. Alright, eight, let's go. We deal with apes just like we deal with everything else. Yeah, and I don't know what the exit is, so that's a problem. And I'm blinded, so that's also- Oh, but this is flighted! This is flighted! Oh, but it could be- Oh, there's the exit! I see the exit! Okay, so we're good. We don't have to go through that treasure room. So that's a good thing. So I can just- I can just work the exit. This is flighted, so I don't need that many kills. Oh my god. Okay. Let's check the chests here. You rage fortune? If you want to. I don't need to. Actually, Rage Fortune is like, honestly, that's an obsolete strategy now. We don't really do that strategy very much for clears. You'd rather be using the Rage to get multiple floors than doing a Fortune Rage. Okay, I haven't fought a Lion yet, so we should definitely fight a Lion so you guys can see a Lion. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Wait. 
gonna do shit done. Yeah, points. Choo, 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 choo. Uh, Lion goes. Lion does uh, double attacks, but it also does a big AoE cry. So there's some breathing room to, to survive from it. But we can do the same treatment as to everything else. We can give it a leg raise. Hopefully I don't need anything else though. Okay, I will need something else, but I have a polar bear in the other side, so we'll check that one. Or this is a mimic. Steel. We'll take the steel later. So I can kill things without steel, so I'd rather have the steel moving forward than have it on this floor. Does that make sense? I will not open with a... I will not open with a... With a, with a sprint here. This Chila! Hello, ma'am. Man, you've been, you've been streaming like a crazy lady. Mr. Shenando! Hey, thanks for the 8 months! Yo, thanks, man. In before rain? Damn. Why would you spoil Angel's raids? Mama. Holy crap. Can you believe it has been eight months? I can't believe it's been 8 months, dude. I appreciate you being a part of this community. Thank you for that. Alright, we're good so far. So far, so good over here. Shoutouts, by the way, to Miss Sheila. Also, 17 Greenaholics, thanks for all of them in. Uh, welcome, 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 guys. First time here, I'm Angelo Zemus. I do a lot of Deep Dungeon solo. Miss, if you're a if you're a fan of Sheila's channel, then you would know she also does, does Deep Dungeon solo. Uh, today, we're constructing a brand new live tutorial for Machinus. Check her out, guys. She streams at like literally every hour of the day, apparently, except when she's sleeping, so it would be a good stream to watch. She's just awake, streaming, and then sleeps, and then wakes up and streams. It's kind of crazy. Uh, let's go here. Golden Week shenanigans. No, 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 that's her normal schedule, man. She's just a badass streamer, that's all it is. Sprint opener on the ape to get some distance away from this guy. Once sprint drops, I do the leg graze. I also do have sprint on, so I mean, I have steel on, so it's gonna help. Sleep, never heard of it. It's a thing, sometimes. Alright, so we have the cats. I'm gonna recommend if you're gonna pull a cat to do them back to back because of sleep, uh, because of paralyzed diminishing return. I'm gonna get the uh, alteration going here, and then we're gonna pull a cat. Uh, the first paralyzed. Actually, there's a, there's some tech. This is this is what I call Zyron tech. We're gonna take this hit intentionally because this will give me a 15 second uh, a 15 second paralyzed instead of a 30. Once this wears out, we're gonna be in diminishing return. We'll take the next 15 because it's supposed to be 30. But it'll be 15 instead. The only reason I take that is because I have steel on. That's kind of a product of steel. If I didn't have steel, I wouldn't take it. So now that second paralyzed is 15. Usually you're used to being that for 30, but it's diminishing return, so that's why it's less. So this is beneficial because we are going to pull another cat right now, and the next cat will now give me this. The, the next paralyze it does is going to be a, a seven second paralyze. I don't take the conal here because it's a little over the top taking two of them. We take the next Paralyze and look at the duration of it, it's going to be... Survey says 7 seconds, so now we are on Diminishing Return for the Paralyze. So what I would like to do is I'd like to pull yet another cat if I can find one, but this Whitsent is going to ruin my day by, by blocking me, so I probably don't find one. But that would be the ideal situation. I do find one, who knows? Nope, we got an answer though. Okay. Let me get this. Uh, I should be able to... Actually, let's deal with the Wisson first, because I, I don't need this being a problem if I want to pull an Anzu. So let's pull this first. This one will just do auto attacks, but then after 30 seconds it'll do a pull in. Followed by a gigantic AoE, horrendous blast, but you can stop it with an interrupt, so it's really not a big problem to fight this thing. Big cat first noted, but Zyron Tech. It is Zyron Tech. Zyron taught it to me, so it's his deck. <laughs> it's that simple. Alright, Anzu time, shall we? Sprints. 
wildfire here. So we want to keep away from the Anzu. He has a belly flop and he catches up to you. It's kind of ass. So we want to just keep away from him. I am way too far, apparently. Popping a potion. Whoop. Okay. Keeping away here. I'm going to attack Kishin for the potential next one. One. Two. There's the next dive. Potion up. Three. There's your Anzu. I would never do that without steel, by the way, but uh, we can do it with steel. Um, a lion, a lion, lion. There's a cat up there, but I'm not gonna pull a cat anymore. Let's see if there's a chest here, though. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, with a, a witching, I would hold on to the steel. Steel is more valuable than a witching would be. I'm not seeing anything in, in the future, so I'm not gonna deal with this. So we're gonna move away. Oh, that lion is uh, trying to. What the hell? Oh, he's okay. Alright, let's do the uh, this one. Blood Dragon Crawler? Or both of them. I, 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 I've done both of them. Actually, a worm is going to be on the next hit list. He also had buffs in this for <laughs> on the Anzu. I request a do over. Nope. What's haste? I mean, you have Heat Blast anyway. You're going to be hasted for most of the fight anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> it's okay, Perry. It happens. Don't worry about it, dude. Pulling a wolf. We'll do the sprint leg raise tech here. I thought I would fight three blood, three blood dragons at once. Is that what you did in your video, Sig? Is that why? Gotcha. I gotta get to your level, man. This should be all I need, right? Absolutely. Totally. But Sheila, how was your stream, by the way? Were you doing ulti today? I didn't even ask you. I was busy blabbering. About your stream. Didn't even ask you what you were doing. Maybe she's just like twiddling her thumbs or something. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh, Corian. Hog. You're sleeping on stream? Yeah. Just kidding, you're doing ulti? Oh, okay. Could be two mimics, right? Okay. Someone wasn't paying attention. Got a bit further in fog, which is pretty hype. How hard'd you get? You phase three. Legendary two kill floor. I'm gonna appear to here. Actually, oh, I'm sorry, that's four kills. Duh, I'm stupid. I forgot about the Corgans. Four kills. Uh. Perfect. Okay. Catch just moves. Second chain we're gonna use. Okay, gotcha. I would have a reason. Not the exit confirmed? Okay, so I need to wait for this cat to move.
bridge. Well. Okay, but I need to do this right. Okay, I need to get that one out of the way so I can kill you. Get the Anzu out and then get the Boda Palace out of the way because that's proximity. Okay, now let's get rid of the cats too to make this a much easier experience here. Remember, no healing, so I need to be a little careful with what I'm doing here. Come to me. Switching. Okay, so I have a raising and a rage, so if we just pick up the rage and off we go. Yeah, it was a really good rage, and, and, and I snuck it in because, so I knew that the ape was probably going to go backwards, so I wanted, that's why I immediately walked towards the ape when he was starting to pump his chest, and boom, we got lucky with that, with that pickup. I had to kill time anyway. But yeah, I would have had to kill probably a cat, probably the, probably both the apes on the exit, if I didn't get that rage, so I would have had to do maybe three or four extra kills because then also the patrol is coming behind me. So that rage is extremely, extremely useful in that specific situation. Save this a lot of time. I have not, but Sheila is. She's working on now. She parked her file, I believe, at 150. On Dark Knight. So that's uh, that's the most recent one. So Sheila will have the answers for you that you are looking for. Hmm. This is gonna hurt. Oh, that patrol's here. Um, okay, it's cool. Let's watch my HP here. I'm probably gonna need some extra heals because of the, the tank buster. I can't buy an uh, nope. <laughs> I just did it. It didn't work, so no, it's a no. I wasn't 100% sure, but yeah, you cannot bind them. I, I just did it. Yeah. I got lucky. Yeah, uh, I saw it coming. Like, I did see it coming earlier. I just didn't know where it was after I finished off the ape. Like, I lost track of it. So, I would say that was a little lucky, but I didn't know it was coming. Um, yeah, I did have a, I, I did have a clue in that it was coming. Let's do this one. Oh, shit. That's a bug. Uh, this just has to be a witching. I don't know how I'd survive this without the witching. Uh, let's do this. Fast moving birds. Oh crap, I did the wrong one. Fine. No ricochet. Okay, we're good now. Oh, wrong button. Okay, I'm gonna sprint here. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay. 
Eh, not too bad. The Witching did have to go though, that was my one mistake because I didn't see the bird. But we good. Okay, now the Anzu's not in a good spot right now. Um, I'd like to check that room. But let's see what's over here first. I messed up my CC, but it's alright, it's not a big deal. Anzu did just move, so I'm going to take advantage of that right now. Got an ape over there, got an Anzu over there. That's a steel, so it's going to be really useful over here. Uh, I'm going to pop it soon, but not quite yet. I think it did just move. Yep. Nothing good here. I'm going to pop the steel now. No, tight. We got it. I gotta get this steel. One, two, three. Something. Um, how's that Anzu look? He's looking in the way I need to run. So let's let's hold on a second. Spin. Cool. Perfect time. Perfect time. Perfect timing. Had to delay it a little bit, not too long, because the ape was gonna go into his thingy. But I need to wait just enough for the Anzu to make a move, and then boom, he did. And now we're free to do this. And I can actually run it back now. The answer shouldn't come back because he just moved about 5 seconds ago. We should be safe. Sets me up to get to the exit room. If this opens up, then we are good to go. I may need another kill, but that's not a big deal. I'll get the uh, lions in that room. Watch the Anzu. Anzu has not moved yet, so I'm gonna stay. He did move now. Okay. Now we move. One, two, three, four, five. I think we have accomplished on pulling one of everything here again. So we're good to go on this one. We've covered the beast three, if you will. Nothing else here anyway, so let's just move. I got a buff. And we got the anxiety song. Are you one now you want a spicy? Is it? I see another bird coming and I see it. And I see another bird coming! They're coming from everywhere! Quick pull here. Don't get hit with this by the way, if it isn't obvious. You shouldn't be getting hit with AoEs anymore, like period. But that AoE will give you a 30 second hysteria or confusion, one or the other, but basically you're dead. <laughs> there's, there's, no, there's no ifs, ands about that, you're just dead. Because you're not gonna get control of your character for 30 seconds and you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's not a good thing. Next pull, right away. No waste, no wasting of time. We know what I want to pull already, so we're just gonna pull it. I'm gonna probably get to Behemoth with about 17 or 16 minutes, that's enough for two pulls. If I really need to do the double pull. My buddy just likes his floor set more, the apes and the behemoth, yeah, pain. That's fair. I mean, but once you tackle them and once you kind of have them tamed, it, it is not bad. 
I mean, I would say I have them pretty tamed right now, um, but that's just me. One, two, three, four, five. Birds come back. I like that chest. If I can get there. I'm gonna watch this room right now. I'm gonna take an observation of this room to see how the answers are looking, if they're moving, etc. I haven't looked at this room at all. So I'm gonna watch it now. Because I might be getting close to the exit. And I don't think there's any more controls, so. Andrew just moves it there, so I'm gonna go this way. Okay, and other ends we just moved as well. Ape is blocking the chests. Uh, steel, that's uh, good. I can do that on the way out. I got stuck on a wall. Nice. Serenity. Oops, don't need it. Anzu looking right at the chest right now. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's see another pull. Mm. Oh wait, I'm gonna pull one of the hands here. I want sprint though. I can get behind this one though. I'd rather be fighting in the, uh... Well, actually... I have time. Let me examine the other chests first. I'll come back here. May as well. If I, if I aggro this Anzu, it's not a big deal, but I want to check the other room. No sprint, though. Oh, there's nothing here. Well, that makes it easy. Alright, let's take a look at the... Uh, let's pull one of the Anzus in that room. Basically, I have cats and Anzu, so I may as well just do it. I have one minute of my my steel, so I want to take advantage of that. Pop potion, sprint. Cool. <laughs> Cheating gap closer. They're like flying across the room. GG, Mr. Anzu. GG. To pull. Oh shit, and Anzu just spawned over there. I gotta, I gotta do this fast. Okay. Come on, come on. 19, 18, looking at the chest. Not really, but... Oh, it almost killed me. Nice. Alright, let's go. I gotta go fast now. They were just cuddly birds the whole time. Yeah, they were just, you know, a little deadly, but not too bad. He's manhandled Anzu, but I am taking away my strength, so I gotta go quick. Behemoth time, kids, and I have two attempts on this, probably. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so he opens up with a thunder bolt into the first Charybdis. Into a second. It's usually back to back on those trip. This is except for one instance. I'll show you here. 
I like to work in a clock clockwise position for this fight. So I'll work over here. He's gonna walk to the south side for Trounce coming in next. It is a set pattern. Some people get confused with that. It is a set pattern. He's gonna walk south for here, and he's gonna flip around for Trounce. So I'm kind of favoring his position with this part. Okay, then he's gonna do another trouble trip this here. I like to park him on the sides here. That's one. Then the second one coming in, not too far, not too close to that other one. If you get hit with that, it'll be a pull in plus a dot, so don't get hit with it. Followed by Thunderbolt coming in here. And then there's going to be one more trip that it will spawn. So I'm going to put it over here. There's the third one. And then he'll go north for the next trounce, and then it's rinse and repeat the entire fight. This is the entire fight up until the burst phase. Which is the more important one that you want to deal with, but... Here we'll be doing um, the healing strategy. I always do the healing strategy. There's a healing strategy and there's a tincture strategy. The tincture basically is just pop a tincture and just do your rotation. You'll go, you don't have to hurt, worry about any heals. You just legit make sure your HP is full by the time the first meter drops and just hit a rotation. The healing strategy, however, allows you to survive an extra meteor, and what has been proving right now is that it's buying you just a little bit more time to get the kill. So it's a tiny bit more comfy, but there's more to weave in, and you have to worry about clipping and weaving and all that stuff, because, uh, I mean, for, for people with high ping, you can certainly handle, like, a double weave with your OGCDs between, between your GCDs. But here you have to make sure that you do a single weave of your potion, then to do a then to do a weave of your GCD. So you have to be careful, which which that becomes a bigger issue if you're timing or mistiming your wildfire. So the plan of action, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do wildfire late after I've done all the healing, so I can get an uninter uninterrupted wildfire uh, as we're doing the burst. That's the plan of action. So we'll talk about it once we get to the marker that I need to. On uh, my Reaper run, where I was where I first got the Behemoth, I got hit with every AoE at least once and two Thunderbolts. So much healing back. Only die only only to die because I couldn't handle that. Oh uh, well at least he got through Behemoth, you know. Andrew killed me through Super Bowl line. Was it really weird? Didn't know I could really do that. Oh well it could have been like a quick snapshot that happened. Um or it dropped or something, but the dot shouldn't kill you, but it is a heavy dot. Alright, we're past 50% now. A little bit worried about my strength though. I might up the strength again. Might have been a bad call for me to use the strength. Because I was trying to do it in, cup in, in combination with my steel, but we'll see. Need to do another kind of full rotation. What I'm looking for right now is to get Behemoth on this side of the arena with about 22%, 23% HP, and then I start setting up my Lust. So that's what I'm looking for for this burst. Because then I can set up the whole Lust rotation and then we'll be good to go for the rest of it. But I need to get it down to about that part, 22, 23 going in. So we really need to push the damage a little bit here. Luckily, uh, Machinist doesn't have any too big of a cooldown. Everything's kind of on a one minute. So as long as I just save it when I right before I burst, it should be good. I am a little bit concerned with my time though, because I think my strength will drop uh, before I finish the burst because of the timing. So that's going to be a little concerning, but we'll see. We're at 26, so that's good to see. I'm going to start holding gauge. I actually should have held gauge a little bit sooner. I, actually, this is going to be a mess. I should have held gauge sooner than this. Oh, might have caused a little bit of an issue here. Yeah, I might have caused an issue with my gauge. I'm gonna hold. Oh, hold. Okay. Alright. Stop autoing. 22. Okay, gonna get some healing back. Hit a shorter turret, but we'll be okay. Ooh, the strength though. Tactician, potion. I think we'll be fine actually. I think we'll be fine. One. 
two, three, four, fifth one. As I drop, I'm gonna get a potion up immediately here. Okay. I'm gonna kind of push it down to close to 16 here. 17. 17 still. 16. I'm gonna hold here. Potion. 15, 15, 15, I'm holding. Checking its HP here. That's uh, 15, 3, 15, 3. Nice. Okay, I can do like one more. Okay, holding. Uh, this is now 15, 2. I'm gonna hold. We should have enough shank for this, I hope. Let me like tighten my strength. Oh, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Holding here. Okay. Reassemble here. Turret. Boom. ODCD, ODCD, wildfire here, one, two, three, potion here, perfect potion, okay, heal number one, heal number two, good now, wildfire here, one, two, three, four, five, six, perfect. There you go, that's Machinist Behemoth. Only thing was probably a little bit miss on the Heat Blast, but all the healing came first, and then we wildfire, didn't have to worry about any clipping. Nice and clean. Alright, so, let's talk about the macros like we usually do it. That transformation right here, status off transfiguration, that's what kicked me out of Lust. The all-important Echo Target HPP. This one managed the HP, so when I was saying 15-3, 15-2, right here. You hit, you hit that macro, you get the percentages, you get the decimal place. You don't see it on the on the, on the the hotbar, on the HP bar of the, of the enemy. You want that macro to show it in, this is an in-game macro, nothing special, it's just in-game. So you want it to no lower than really 15-2, because if you go 14-9, it goes to Meteor. So you don't want it any lower than 15-0, really. So that's close, and then we just nailed it. My heart rate go up too. What did I get? Like a 130 at the heart rate? Target HP percentage, yeah. No power, Gee, what's up, dude? Nope. No more food. You saw it right there. I didn't take off food. We kept it on. Super potion, second win. It's comfy with food on. You saw 146. I've been higher. But this is like a comfy fight now. My only concern was the strength, but you know what I saw? I saw 52 seconds on Lust, and I saw 59 seconds on Strength, and I'm like, okay, we're good. Because I knew my timing of my Lust would carry me into the end of the fight, that's all I needed to see. Because I never have dropped Lusts during the bursts, so... But I tried that Healing Shadow in my Necro Run, it's so much com- It's even more comfortable in Endwalker, like, it's- like, it was my go-to in Shadowbanger, but definitely there was a case for the Tincture strategy, for sure. But, um... Now it's even more comfortable because you don't have to take off food, you don't have to weave that in, it's, not, it's, a, it's one less thing to worry about, it's just two heals and then making sure your sustaining shows up. So if you, used, if you saw my run, if you paid attention to where I used my sustaining, it was right before that meteor dropped because here's the timing. The meteor is 10 seconds. The, the moment it finishes casting the first meteor into the moment it finishes casting the second meteor is 10 seconds. Your sustaining potion is 15. So all you have to do is make sure that you do it within 5 seconds of the meteor dropping and you never have to worry about that sustaining potion. You don't have to worry about re-upping the sustaining potion the entire fight, the entire burst phase. If you do it too early, you have to weave it in at the middle part. So you want to do it within at least one GCD before and then it's just done. That's it. That's your only sustaining potion for the burst. Just worry about the other things and worry about your burst. That's a little tougher because if your HP is out of whack in the beginning, you have to actually get the healing in and then you have to kind of worry about it but if things go the way it needs to and that that situation it did my hp was perfect use it exactly where i needed to get the one clip and then worry about the the rotation after that um didn't even have yeah yeah as you saw that's that's the third time i've done it without dropping food so it's safe to say it's safe without using food i mean it's comfy like like without food it was uncomfortable uh, when you kept, uh, in back in Shadowbringer, when you kept food on, it was very uncomfortable. You would die. I died with food on. But here, no manipulation of Servitix or whatever, it's just, it just looked comforting, so. 
Sunshine was still good because it said two minutes by the time he was leaving himself. Yes, I saw that too, JCN. I saw that too. And that's why I'm like, we're good. Like, because so I saw it tick down, then I went into Lust. And then I was thinking, I shouldn't take 30 seconds for Lust, right? Like, to apply five dots, it shouldn't be 30 seconds. Um, so yeah. Alright, we're, cru we're, we're cruising, guys. Let's go to 181, shall we? Let's have some fun. Let's continue the run. Hopefully no disconnect. Last time I disconnected in 193, and that was, uh, you know, trash. But this time I hope we don't disconnect. Let's update the title. Let's continue the guide. 181. Plus two! Uh... Let's go. Whew. Oh, it's Chimera. Oh, it's another Chimera. Are you coming this way? That's a yes. Hey, Fuma. Hey, thanks for giving a sub to the community. Thanks to the key. T Cookie. Hey, appreciate that. Alright, ins and outs, guys. Ram in, right? We go ram in and then drag it out, right? That's what I do. Alright, drag it in. Now, watch out for this Chimera. Because sometimes he'll lean in a direction and he is kind of leaning to his left, so I'm gonna go to my right. If he goes in the direction you're leaning, you will aggro. So I'm gonna go this way to not take that aggro. One. Also worth, worthy of note, if I were to aggro that Wamora that's flying right now, he will heal his buddies. <coughs> If you guys have uh, level Blue Mage, Blue Mage has the spell that's from the Warmora that does a heal. The Warmora has a special ability where if he is aggroed and linked to something else, like there's two enemies you're fighting, he will start to use that move to heal his friends. So do not, by under under any circumstance, have to deal with this thing with two enemies, because you are gonna just get screwed. <clears throat> Always fight them single. You shouldn't be fighting two things anyway, but you know. Ram and dragon out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ram and dragon out. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> X2 B. 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 C. and something. Whatever. Dude, I, I don't know how to pronounce that word correctly. Plus. Okay, we're gonna pull a sprite because last time I actually managed to do a sprite. I'm gonna do tactician here. I have second wing coming in. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Yeah, we did a spike. Arc Rosary, thanks to the follow. Welcome in. Time for bombs, shall we? Bombs are the easiest ones to deal with here. Yo, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I think the potency damage increase of Machinus from like 6.1 probably makes the sprites way more viable because you kill them before they kill you. But I didn't have my second wind up either, but man. I noticed that last time I did this last week, it was like, oh, I could actually deal with sprites without striking their steel. Okay, well then, I guess we'll just fight them. Um, sprites are mega spooky. They are mega spooky, but I did open with Tactician. I missed the silence, but hey, they're not terrible. Is the room with the exit in the one with the potential wall trap? This one? There is one, however, if you want to get really specific, it's like a it's like a foot off the wall. So like if you hug this tight, you're good. If you take one step to the left, you're probably gonna trigger it. So there is one, but you can't avoid it. Uh, the other ones that exist, like the one in Stonehenge or the one with the big cubes on the wall, those are like no matter how tight you're on the wall, you're hitting it. But I know that one in particular, of you're talking about, does have one, but it's like literally one foot off the wall. Because I remember visually seeing it and, and making a mental note on that one. Just, just literally just tug the wall tight if you can, you, you might be okay. No problem. Dragon voice in. Backup strat as I could interrupt as a heads up. And never be dead center of this Chimera if he uses Ram's voice because you may not get out if you're dead center. So after Dragon Voice, be sure to get it to melee range. Otherwise, you might be in big trouble. <clears throat> okay, uh, I want to check that chest, and then we'll off we go. Okay, 
on the block. Well, I could check that chest too. Yeah. Nice pickup. I will just take it and run. I'm not gonna bet anymore. Let's continue. <clears throat> Alright, so the only thing I didn't fight right now is the Warmer Campa. We'll definitely fight those. They're not they're not too bad on Machinist. But essentially we fought everything here with uh without steel and strength. Uh Papa Mio, thanks for the follow, welcome in. <laughs> Been here five minutes. Yeah, I'm running out of purity, it's really bad. Might 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 cause the end of the run for that. Okay, Chimera first. Just cause, you know, I don't wanna deal with him being annoying to me. Grant's voice out. Percy, hello. Good morning to you. Oh, I didn't do that right. I didn't see my potion drop. Ow! Can you not? Seriously? Staying distance away from the Chimera so he doesn't do that again. We got a worm already, nice. I love I love low level worms. Oh. Hmm. I wanna do a strength steal though. Alright, let's do all more campa here. I'm gonna sprint for you. One more is sound, by the way. Sprites or sights? One more campa or sound. Chimera is proximity. The one more earlier was sights. Bombs or sights, that worm is sound. Uh, kind of a mix of things, but yeah, we got there. Chimera's incoming, I know that for a fact. No steel while we're camping, no problem. Chimera in it. <clears throat> no, I need strength for the worm. I'll probably pick up the strength at some point, but I won't do it here. We'll do it probably later. The same with the frost dragon. When you do a frost dragon, I need to have strength on. Dragon so waste in. It's dodge. Trans boys. So with the sprites, there's kind of a couple ways to see where they're facing. Uh, used to be you had to look at where they're going to see where they're facing, but now what you can do is you want to look at the arrow. See the arrow on the omnidirectional? That's where it's facing, so don't be in front of it for that arrow and then you're good. So you're a sight. Of course, if you're like this and can't see it, but that's a different story altogether. Alright. <clears throat> Strength. Ooh, well. Okay. Well, let's do it then. I met the criteria. Let's do a worm. Uh, then make sure I don't pull a spider in the process. Who are you facing? Okay, now. Alright. I'm gonna sprint here. Hot potion. Sprint. Let's do a worm. 30 seconds, it will enrage. Actually, you'll get the trigger when it, when it pulls you in. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to kill it before then, which is what we can do on Machinist for sure. It will do- its enrage is a pull-in, followed by massive damage. So ideally when it comes with Machinist, you just want to kill it fast enough and run away and keep the, keep the damage flowing. That's why strength was kind of needed for this. Um, otherwise I may not need that damage check. And I think I can- can I bind you? I could bind you. Okay, so one thing we could do is we could bind it or gravity, which might help a little bit. Um, but I still have to pull it in. It, it, it will stay in position, so that doesn't really do much, so... If anything, I could bind it. So one one way you can do it, and maybe I can demonstrate it, uh, it's such a tricky thing. If I mess it up, I'm dead. 
But one thing you could do potentially is if it's getting close to that enrage, which it should be about 30-35 seconds, you can bind it and then run away at about 29 seconds or something, and then it'll try to do the pull in and you're not close enough and you're fine. So something to take into consideration there. It's tough to, to demonstrate though. I might, but if I mess it up, I'm gonna be I'm gonna cry. Because <laughs> it will clean me out. Will it pull you in with no knockback? Oh true! Actually what Perry said is true, you're right. There was no knockback so it may not actually pull you in. But I'm not sure. I want to say no. But you might be right, it may not pull you in at all. So it's funny because I think you can, but Meiji has done it before and she did not... She, she was unable to block it. So it's kind of up in the air, I'm not sure. I'd, I'd have to have like another person like do a video or something, but... I, I'm, I'm, I'm unsure of it. It used to, but then Meiji showcased that it didn't. And she has good ping, too. Yeah, you could do the blocks if it's true. You have to time that right, though. That's like trying to time the whist and pull in without getting sucked in. But honestly, it doesn't work. Alright, thanks. Alright, so we got a crawler. Let's pull it. So here, tech on the crawler. It does do slow, right? So what we want to do is we want to do normal GCDs while we're running away from it. Once it does get the slow off, this is when we want to Heat Blast, because Heat Blast basically sets your, your GCD 2.5. So I can basically bypass some of this uh, some of this slow by doing Heat Blast here. And we can do this without Steel. This is an okay fight without Steel. Um, you just kind of keep away, you can do your normal sprint and, uh, sprint and weight pull, and it's okay. But definitely consciously try to keep your Heat Blast ready. And you can help yourself by bypassing that slow. Another worm. Feels like forbidden knowledge. It's good to know, right? Can you can you backflip away from the dodge after pull in? Uh Dragoon can. But Dragoon flies like, you know, 12 miles. The, the some of the other jobs depending, I think displacement should work. Um, Samurai is going to be too short. You're not going to make it with Samurai, that's for sure. Um, but like, Dragoon, yes. Um, Red Mage should be, yes. Um, that's true, you could run away from it if you time it just right. Oh, if you time it just right, you could run away from it. You gotta be ready for it. You gotta just gotta be... If, I think if you're sprinting though, right, Zyron? You gotta be sprinting. Definitely. You gotta be sprinting. You have to consciously make sure that you have sprint, but like if you're physical range, you're opening with sprint as opposed to closing with sprint. So you probably aren't sitting on it. But if you're gonna plan to just take it, then you can sprint into it. Um, what is that initial chest? Oh, steel. Oh, okay, let's go. You can stun worm and avoid. Yes. However. We don't have stun on Machina, so Bind would probably be okay. Haven't tried without Sprint? Gotcha. You got a Red Mage? I remember doing it on Dragoon once. Of course, there's no clip, so I didn't clip it back then, but I remember doing it on Dragoon. Okay, is that a gold chest? What's the exit? Was that a gold chest over there? That is a gold chest. Let's go over there. Have you ever failed the because you want to go to bed? Um, nope. I got close one time, but no, not officially. One, two, three. Okay, we've pulled one of everything so far, including the worm. So we definitely satisfied that. I gotta get that steel. Okay. Again, the Wamora and the Worm are sound, so we can RP walk here and we're okay. I'm gonna go back and pick up the Steel so it's fresh, and then we go to the next floor. Red Mage was the world first. Yeah, you don't want- uh, basically you don't want to walk in their hitbox. So their circular hitbox, don't walk in it. If you walk in it, you're probably gonna aggro. 
um, if, as long as you're in and around it. Also, take into consideration they're moving. So I think it kind of snapshots their, their new position as opposed to their old position, I think, sometimes. Like maybe with a little bit of lag. So if they're moving in your direction, there's a chance that it will then aggro, but that's only because it was probably going to be there to begin with. Does that, does that make sense? So if it so so take into a scenario if the enemy never moves, like never ever moves ever, it will never aggro in sound unless you walk in its hitbox and then it will start to aggro. Um, but if it does move, then there's a chance that it could move into you, therefore causing an aggro. Okay, we're going to the- ooh, that bomb might aggro. He is in a spicy position right now. Yep, yep, okay, I figured. I just need a chance to check the screen, If you are standing still and it walks on top of you, will it aggro? I believe it should aggro, yeah. If it goes like directly on top of you, I think it will aggro. I think, I'm not sure. Because I've never actually had that happen, because a lot of times I will instinctively try to go away from it. But I would want to say that it does. But I can't say that for sure. Solid question though. I heard this song earlier, but you know what, I don't mind. Okay, the Vinthoth are very easy to fight, so we like to fight them. Also notice the, uh, ooh. Okay. Also notice the debuffs here, I'm just gonna fight for this no matter what, I do have a steel on. But the Vinthoths are very easy, they do an AoE like that, freeze over, and then they do an AoE on top of them, uh, which is very avoidable. Okay, well, Lust here. So the Lust, look at their defense. We're gonna dump their defense because of that lust. Uh, it will it will take care of that. Um, so now I'm hitting them at normal damage. Now because these guys are easy, I can just kite them out, no problem. But now they don't have the defense bonus either. I used the lust because I did have an extra lust here. But if there's any more indication why these are easy, then there it is. We can deal with two of them, no problem. Where certainly a lot of other enemies that we have to deal with two of them, it's not going to be a good pretty fight. No problem with these guys. And it's Gloom, and it's Blind. Yeah, this is Pinfaller. Name of the song. Excuse me. Okay. I saw a couple of these floating around, so we should be we should have a couple kills in the bag right now. Okay, dinosaur there. Bomb here. Is that it? No, there's more movements okay. I think there was another patrol that went this way, right? Here. So we're going to focus on these guys first. Next one. I'm going to examine this room real quick, see if there's a gold chest here. There's not, but I can definitely take the... the bronze chest for sure. Nope, that's a negative. I right, check the other room then. Spite bombs. No chest here. Crawl in that room. Oh, I'm out. Let's go. Taking the time. Time is going to be very important, especially, look, if you're going for a clear, more important to worry about just getting to the floors, right? Yeah, points is a different story. If you're here for points, it's a much different animal, but you're here for clearing, so get to the exit once it opens up. It's acceptable for me to pass that room because I maybe aggro something, might have to wait all this time to do the chest. No, just go. It's fun. Your palms are still pretty good here too, at least mine are, so... 
Got my purity back, let's go. Scorpion is not something I want to fight in a Gloom floor. I'm gonna fight a Sprite though because we do have Steel on. But, you got it all. Oops, I throw button. One, two, three. I'm gonna favor my healing here. Resolution doesn't really do me anything. Pulling the Vintha, the, the Vinthus. Trying to see what our pulls are looking like. We have a uh, spike over there, which we can definitely still pull while I have steel on. Um, we have a one more example, which I should be able to deal with without spirit, uh, without steel. So we want to keep him alive. They want to move very slowly. Actually, no, negative, 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 negative. I'm gonna pull the sprite right, right now. After this, okay. sprite now. Tactician. I can never get that. What is this? This is a resolution. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, what's up, Ron? Five. Again, I prefer not to fight scorpions in gloom. They're already bad enough, so I would prefer not to fight them. I'm gonna wait for a new potion, then I'll pull the next fight. That was a gold chest. Oh, I thought that was a bronze chest. One. Oh, I did that without the potion. Two. Three. Four. Five. I'm gonna wait for the scorpions to move to get this chest. This should move any second. Hey Zamo, doing well? Thank you. So far this run is going pretty well too, so I cannot complain. Um, you know, we're back in here again. We had a disconnect last week in 193. We had to reconstruct the file and so far so good. So I can't complain, that's for sure. Well, that's it. Okay, that's it. Oh, it's gonna be kind of bad. I might have to steal forcibly here. Um, let's pull the Lamora Kempa. Watch my HP, I have no other heals, so I need to be a little bit careful with this. Might have the Witching, this is kinda bad. I can buy. Uh, Mono, hey, thanks for follow, welcome in. Okay. Unfortunately, we only have scorpions left, so let's do probably a strength steal and fight through a couple floors here. Gonna bind here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get distance from this so I can avoid that tail screw. I'm gonna sprint, pop it. It'll do tail screw real soon here. Hopefully soon-ish. Right? 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 
No, you son of a bitch, dude. Just didn't do skill scoot at all. Gonna grab him. Uh. Okay, I got away from it. Okay. At least I got away with it with the gravity instead, or the leg raise instead, so that worked out. That was too far away from it. I have Bind pulling it right now. Gonna gonna respect the uh, the thing here. Gonna wait a couple seconds here. Oh boy. Probably gonna buy now. And pop it now. Pale Screw hopefully will come in soon. There's Pale Screw. I should be away from that. Oh no! Oh, it said no. I wasn't too far away from it. Well, he's a jerk. Man, I was like really far away from it too. Holy crap. Potion here. If there's any any other reason why I I tell you I don't want to fight this thing, then here you go. I'm giving it to you right now. Okay, let's go. Um, we're gonna do something. I'm gonna do an alteration here. I'm surprised it hit me. I thought it was far. Look at that. I was just way too far. You'd be good at playing Tekken or other fighter because you play with two hands. Yeah? I'll take that in consideration. I'm not- I was never good at like fighting games in general, but I'll take that in consideration. Got the steel back already. Nice. Let's find the altered room, shall we? There's a frost strike, which I do want to conquer, but we'll get there eventually. Which came back, sweet. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Okay. I'm gonna sprint here. We're taking the crawler on purpose here. I got Corrigans, sweet. Got the slow, so I'm gonna hold on for a second. I'm gonna gravity wait here, and then let's do the heat blast in slow. So this way, um, I will not have slower GCDs here because of the heat blast. The hold because of the patrols coming in. Okay, good. Let's do one of these, and then we'll get over to the Corrigans. Now watch the patrols here. They might lean left or right. So look at him. He's leaning to his right. See, he's leaning to his right. So if I were to go to my left, I would aggro him across the wall. So you have to actually mind these patrols walking through the room. For some reason, they are incapable of walking straight. And that's a problem, because that is proximity. So I took that time to take a look at it, and boom. We avoided that aggro. So don't just automatically assume, okay, I'll just hit the wall, we'll avoid it on the wall. This isn't Heaven on High. Heaven on High, yes, but not in here. It doesn't work in here, because of that silliness. And that they're proximity. So there's sometimes a trap right over here, by the way. Uh, this is the Stonehenge special, so there's sometimes a trap over there. Uh, hopefully we don't have to deal with it, although it's kind of tempting me with a chest here in the middle. Okay. Ooh, wait, ooh! Why, thank you, Mr. Corrigan. Alright. Uh, actually, in that case, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run straight. Through. And the trap wasn't there. <laughs> I was doing it on purpose because um, if it was a lorry trap, then it's just I'll just rage. So that's why I was kind of doing it on purpose. Have him come to me. I was only one kill away. All right, so let's just let's just go, I guess. Let me actually. So what I'm gonna do, uh, just as a safety play something to take into consideration. I'm gonna stay in rage here. I could dump it and just pick up the rage, but what I will do is I'll just take a path from from wherever I am, go straight, angle my camera in such a way, just in case I step on a trap. Maybe I missed the trap by like, you know, one inch. So we'll go straight here. Check. Run straight back. So this way, no risk for stepping on a potential trap, even though it seemed like I'd cleared it already. All right, so now next room, I'm gonna flight for the next one. Uh, I will fly for the next one. Because <clears throat> I might be able to squeeze that with my strength and steel. Uh, I'm going for Necromancer and Machinist now. Alright, Ari, good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Hey Hannah, how you doing? Alright, I said I was gonna pull a Frost Dragon, so we gotta find one real fast while I still have strength and steel. Alright, we found one. 
shall we team? I have damage down too, so any complainers, this time I actually have a debuff. Pop. Sprint. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh shit! Well. Hey, did you know that there's two rooms? Man's voice out. That's fine, dude. There, even better. We did a frost dragon with a chimera on my ass. How's that? How's that for that? Although I'm in danger of my HP right now. Real danger of my HP. If I get smacked before before I can get a heal in, we're screwed. Don't hit me. Ooh. Okay. Okay, we're good. Dragon voice in. One. Two. Three, four, five. I know, I didn't count right. Uh, Chimera is leaning to his left, so I'm gonna go to my left. Man's voice out. <laughs> that a two kill? Oh my god. That a miracle two kill flight? Alright, I guess we're going. <laughs> Alright. See, if you kill a frost dragon. You get out of the room quicker. Yeah, that's that's uh that's strategy right there. One, two, three, four, shit. <laughs> oh sh okay, well. Oh gee Okay, stop. Guys, okay, stop, please. Poo in fact, yeah, poo in fact. <clears throat> Check for pads first. No, you just make it spicy, that's all it is. Intuition. I could dump that chest. Yeah, let's just dump the chest. I might do 30 freaking minutes. Okay, let's just go to the next room. Can you kill these without- can I kill a- uh, yo, what's up, Bowie? Can I kill a- a frost dragon without dragon steel? No, thank you. If you noticed, with the- with the frost dragon, I had steel on, right? But I had the, uh, I had the, uh... I had my sustaining potion, and I was losing more HP than I was gaining, so that's a definite negative right there. Oh, I always can pop the reach right now. Guess we're raging anyway. <clears throat> Good morning, Bowie. Good to see you, my friend. Um, yeah, we'll merge the scorpion. I'm gonna walk into uh, I'm gonna walk into 190 with like 20 minutes left. Hmm. I think Shank Seal should be a requirement parry because you have a limited time to kill it. Um, I mean, yeah, I had a Chimera on my butt, but honestly, like with 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 your sustaining potion basically getting neutralized, you only have so long to kill it. And you're gonna take continual damage because he's gonna keep spamming. Uh, he's gonna keep spamming uh, granite rain or whatever the whatever the thing is. Frostbite. I don't care. I don't know what it is. But you basically want to just eliminate him quick. Otherwise, you're screwed. Could Bard beat them? Uh, sh yes. Actually, even better. <clears throat> I love use. You would you would preemptively use it, right? You preemptively use one to block the first one and probably have another one to take out the second one. Um, so that'll probably be an even better play. I mean, I took I took care of it with Dancer. Dancer was great, and Dancer Bard should be similar DPS, unless uh, depending on how you kind of time your dances. But it should be similar, um, so you should be okay with a Bard. And yeah, the added the added effect that you can get rid of a Peon is gonna be good. By the way, shout out to Bowie the Hero. Just just an, an amazing gamer. He's, he's done some deep dungeon. He's working on. Uh, Necromancer and a couple other runs on, on Heaven High as well, but he's a good man, so definitely check him out, guys. And he's EU! Any of you guys EU? You got an EU streamer. So I know sometimes I'm really crappy with the EU times, but he's good. And just a god tier speedrunner as well. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> god tier speedrunner. I aspire to be his level. Slowly but surely, I'll get there. Oh. Alright, so this is what we call the Chimera Nest, guys. A lot of times in 189, uh, we see a lot of Chimera, and they are not disappointing right now. We've already seen three off the bat. We do have an, we do have a, uh, a donut room, though, so that's also pleasing to have a donut room. Donut rooms are the best rooms to kite in. Not when you're trying to run down another Chimera, though. 
Good morning, Osu. Hey, how you doing? Speaking of God tier, you mean... <laughs> yeah, well... We try. It's actually even more so, I think, now, Bowie, only because I've gotten a lot more confidence since the first time I did this, and we're literally pulling everything. I mean, a lot of times I'd be like, hey, don't pull this thing, you know, to kick your butt. You know, kind of avoid this thing. No, now we're just pulling everything, so... Oh, shit. Okay, well, we're gonna run away from you. He's like, donut room? Yeah, I can use a donut room, too. That's what the Chimera said right there. <laughs> I could have stopped it though, I could have done a... Uh, oh, look at him, look at him trying to come up here. I go to bed, don't DC. Alright, alright, Sig, please. Please, send that protection, man. Car just carry over that protection, dude. I dc last week at 193, so, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna be... I'm gonna be butt clenching until we just get to the end of this run. Okay. I don't want to use the steel. But I'm running out of things to fight right now. Frost Dragon is a big no-go. Like right, Chimeras, I gotta I need you to come over here. Dog ear tanks follow up, man. That seems a bit true. Well hey, I haven't DC'd yet, right? I mean, Knight's still young, but I haven't made out I haven't made the DC out. Is that all of it the Chimera? No, I think I saw the shades of another one. I think I did see the shades of another one coming in. Yep, 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 I see, I see, I see, I see. Palace of the Disconnect, oh god. God, I hope they fix that, man. I hope they find some way that it can be fixed. I really don't want to have to use a steel here, but we might have to. Um, I can rage instead of using the steel, to be fair. I can fortune rage, which is like a typical strategy we do anyway, but honestly I'm really thinking about it too, just just to maybe get some chests in. Um, so I would really, because that would push me down to one steal, which is tragic, so let's actually just do that. Uh, otherwise I'd be waiting a long time. We're gonna do a sight here. That's a big ass room. We're gonna do a fortune and a rage. I'm sitting on three rages, guys. So we're gonna use one just to help us out here. Um, we just have way too many rages right now. Oh, oh. Get him, get him, get him. Okay, if he got if he got the dot on me, it would be tragic because I wouldn't be able to heal back out of that. Feel that's God probably takes one and a half minutes. Yeah, but I don't know how many kills I'm gonna need, so I could end up it, having having sitting on like like basically sitting on one steel is kind of tragic, especially when you had three, you know. So, but to be fair, actually, you know what we'll do, um. Um, hold on. Hold on. Uh, Chimera first. Oh, maybe I should check for treasure first. Oops. Oh, the exit's here. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm not getting to the exit, but that's fine. Let me... Is the chest over there? Chest is blocking over there, okay. So let me go over here, let's grab the chest, and then we're gonna swing back to get the other one that dropped now. Why man why can Mantico only because it drops an item? It's like not an instance item with the Poemander, so that's why it can drop an item. Um and it and it puts it right in your inventory. That's why it just works. I'm gonna do a poll, guys, because I have some time to kill. Uh, we're gonna put this poll up for a quick one minute. What I want you to tell me... ...is what strategy do we want to do for Godfather. I think either can be good. Something to spawn. Either can be good. So, it's basically, do I use zero lust, which can showcase how long the fight will take without using a single lust? Maybe you come up here with zero lusts. Or do you want to see how it goes with trying to plan out three lusts, which is also a decent strategy. Right, how do we do it with three lusts? Uh, I'll give it a couple minutes and then we'll see which ones you guys pick, so... Because we, because working with three lusts, it's a it's a fast fight. As mentioned, it's like a four and a half something, five minutes. We did it last week, um, and 
pretty much the only difficult part is planting the first lust because after that the preceding lusts are a lot easier to do because you just basically recast it and re-up the vulnerability. But I can show you how it is time-wise when you just don't have lusts and do we do it within the strength of steel. Um, so that's a quick poll. It's gonna end in about it's just a quick minute poll and we'll see what you guys pick and then we'll do it. Hey demon, I think getting to see lust timing is important for beginners. It is. And I could also we'll do a three lusts? Okay. Let's do it. Ah, oh, thanks, Demon. I appreciate that. Alright, so we'll do the three lusts. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, the, the timing is a little tricky. I honestly don't even have it down secure um, because it comes down to your sustaining potion uh, usage. <clears throat> but we'll try our best. And honestly, I really should have done more research on how I do it, but a lot of times it does come down to like an early sustaining potion usage uh, to make it work like that. So now I don't have to worry about the timing and my strength because we should be perfectly fine with the strength that I have on. We just pop the steel and go um, once we get in. With 19 minutes on the clock, uh, nice, nice calm here. <laughs> oh, so yeah, let's do it anyway. See if anyone goes for it. Oh my god, that'd be sad. My sprint is down, which is not a big deal. I'm gonna open with a sustaining potion here and let's do the pull. Oh, I didn't do my uh, chart. Oops. Uh, let's do the chart. I'm gonna lose the re reassemble. That's not a big deal. Uh, this is the chart I'll be using. It's okay. I don't have reassemble. I'm not. I'm not really gonna be uh, too heartbroken about that. I'm gonna keep the potion running though. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it adds here. This is the first one. That's the top of the chart. We gotta kill the ad off. I do actually have the good timing of the potion right now. So I'm going to pop this, Tactician, and then the Potion here. You want a fresh Potion going into Lust. I can get one out here before Stab comes in. Perfect. We got two here. One. Two. I could squeeze in a third one, but the Sap's going to come in. Right here. We get two more for the five, and then I got to get my healing back in. One. Okay, heal. Heal. Prep to get this boss over to the, uh, to the east side of this fight. Because we're kiting, we're not going to incur that double auto. East side coming in here. Now, the way we do the Lust is actually really easy. That first one is the hardest part. Because um, it's just getting the 5 in. And what you really need to do is the timing of the sustaining. My sustaining was not bad. Also, no ricochet, guys. Ricochet, no ricochet, no ricochet, no ricochet. If you got to repeat that like a crazy person, do it. Because you won't regret it. You hit ricochet, you mess up this whole fight. Okay. So that's done. I'm gonna sprint here right after that bomb so I can get some distance away from the boss, get some kiting in. I'm gonna hold on to drill for the add. Add's gonna be sell. So the timing of that was important because you had to have sustaining potion going into it, otherwise you might just die because you take too much damage. Now to re-up it, what we do, at least for machinists, is much easier. Is that once it's ticking down low, we just basically get into lost do one GCD and then and then hop out. Um, it's pretty pretty simplistic just to keep the 5 stack going. You don't have to go crazy going all 5. So here I'll do it right now. <clears throat> it's a little early, but it's just to showcase it. It's at 19, 18, here, boom. That's it, we drop. So it's a lot safer, but also, again, this will be a very fast fight. 1, 2, next add is going to be to the southeast, if you're looking at that chart. Potion, okay. Southeast over here, a little bit tight to the center. Again, watch your ricochet, no ricochet, no ricochet, no ricochet, no ricochet. Perfect, just make sure the circle is underneath its hitbox and you're good to go. I'm gonna sprint here. Popping the potion up. <clears throat> I'm gonna save my heat blast for the bomb. Stop the turret. Bomb's gonna be dead center here. One, two, three, four, five. Potion up here. Watching the timer on my thingy. I can do it now while I did the sap. Next bomb will be to the northeast. One application, we're out. Pop in the potion. Keeping the run around here. 
kind of what I like to try to do is I like to keep the boss opposite of where I need to put it. So like we kind of maybe keep him around the southeast and we got to go northeast later. So he does the tank buster. Now we kind of bring him over to that thing so we can do the kiting instead of kind of parking him. I, I did parking before. Like we get, we get him to the spot. We kind of just like kind of twiddle our thumbs in the spot and everything. And then boom, he's there. But that could also help you kind of mitigate a little bit. No ricochet here. I have ricochet up. I'm not going to use it. <clears throat> Okay. No ricochet, no ricochet, no ricochet, no ricochet. I can do a uh, god throw. Okay, ricochet here now. Gonna run sprints. Gonna attack Titian because I have it up. New potion coming in. The next pad is going to be to the south again. Not gonna wildfire because um, I gotta do with the bomb first. There it is. Watch up. Oh. Oh. Watch the watch the ad. So the small bomb was right there, they're fast too, so you don't want to be too close, too close to it. Okay, now we wildfire on the, uh, on the boss. One, two... Next one is going to be to the west side. Four... Okay. Popping here, because we're gonna... Oh, okay. Two. Nine percent. Just about done with this fight. One... Circling back around and then we'll go to the west, but it's probably gonna die by then. Pretty simplistic fight as long as you do everything correctly, right? We almost died once because my potion dropped, if you saw that. I did get low HP one time. Um, but that's about it. It's gonna get to the west over here, add no ricochet. Okay, boom, done. Alright, that's the boss. That's 190. What's the macro he's using to cancel the, the aura? Oh yes, I got that for you. It's fast with three. It is right here, um, Zaro. So I it's it's it, I just have a generic one, but it's here. It's status off transfiguration. That's the macro that you want. Um <clears throat> very useful for my playstyle since I'm two hands on the keyboard. Very useful for controller. But in all honesty, I feel like a vast majority of runners use it anyway. Because, I mean, you could, you could get over here and click, but like, what happens if you click? But can I demonstrate this? Hold on, let me see something. Oh, check this out. Okay, see this. So this will be perfect. Let's say, let's say this is my transformation and you have rehabilitation, right? If you have bad timing and you don't realize this thing's ticking down, watch. My cursor is here. I want to click this off, but everything will shift over to the left because the buff goes out. So sometimes, even though you may have precision with your mouse, I mean, if you're worried about dying to Godfather, if you're worried about the strategy, you may not realize your buffs shift over because of that 15 second, and you might click off something um, unintentional. So honestly, this macro is probably the best for literally everyone, as long as you have space for it. It's just a sure shot. It just focuses on one thing, Transfiguration. It takes out the takes out the buff. So really, really good macro on that one. Delabrum expert, me? Hey, no problem. Dude, I was- I used to- so you know what I used to do on a controller? Uh, I'm sorry, on my keyboard? Traverse here, and then go over here to take out the buffs. But let me tell you, the amount of times I've taken- I've taken up strength and steel by accident, because that's exactly what happens. I didn't realize my- my sustaining potion was in an odd spot, and then it would shift over before I realized it's gone, and then I'm like, wait, my steel's done. What happened? Yeah, well that's what happened. Awkward. Awkward! Which Behemoth strat? I use the healing one. The healing one is the one I do prefer, Demon, um, because it's just what I'm used to. I did Tincture strat one time, and it was so, like, crappy, I almost failed the run. I'm like, I'm not doing this again. Like, I know it's simple. Look, I understand it's just a simple rotation, but it's just nice to have that little leeway with the healing strategy that you can, you can at least botch something, but you still have a couple of GCDs to play with. So it's a healing strategy for me. Am I Boja expert as well after Squid? I have done all six duels. Um, although ironically, you know what's funny? I did all six on Primal, but I haven't done all six on Aether. What's my macro six? Ah, uh, this one. This is my HP macro. So this one we use for specifically Behemoth. So this one is Echo Target HPP. So what this will do um, is that it will it will give me percentages on it will give me a decimal place on the HP value. Um, so like, if I was missing HP, how can I do this actually? Um, oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh well. Okay, so let's say I swap out to here. Equips up. 
And then let's go back to Machinus. Okay, so if I target myself when I use that macro... Okay, check this out. See this? When you look at your target bar normally, you see the whole number, 23. But it won't give you that decimal place. That Echo HPP target macro will give you the decimal place. And that's what we use for Behemoth. Because Behemoth, if you push it past 14.9, it goes into Meteor. So what we like to do is we like to keep Behemoth as tight as possible to that number. So you don't have to push through like a whole percent. We keep it to like 15.2, 15.3. And then when you get him that part, you hold him and then you do the burst. It gives you a better chance to down Behemoth. Because if you're just looking at that whole bar, maybe he's at 15.9, maybe he's at 15.5, and you have to cut through that extra percentage. So using that macro gives us precision on Behemoth. Now, of course, some people kind of do a little bit more, kind of push it a little bit over, but at least you see it um, happening and you can at least try to control it. So that's what we use for that. It's specifically Behemoth. Uh, I don't use it anywhere else. It's the only fight that matters for that, so... And then this bottom one, just in case, this is my well-fed, so if I ever wanted to take off food, I could. Uh, but honestly, I don't really use it anymore, so we used to do that for Behemoth too, but we don't need that anymore. Um, I really like the healing one. Yeah, I I was just comfortable with it. I know people like the Tincture a lot, because again, it's just a straight rotation. And you don't have to worry about holding your second win in your Super Potion. Oh no, you don't have to worry about holding your second win, just your second win. As long as your capped HP is just Tincture rotation, but I like the healing one. Yeah, no problems are. Okay, I don't have ice on my thing anymore. Okay, let's go. Let's not DC, guys, please. For the love of God, let's not disconnect like last time. I want to get this video up on YouTube. Um, I am recording. Thanks, Ricky. Dude, if I wasn't recording by now, I'd just be in so much trouble. I am recording. Thank you. Alright, shall we? Raising. Alright, so what I like to do, we do, I do like to open with a fortune off the bat. Because we're probably going to be here for 8, 10, 12 kills. So opening with a fortune is good. Oh, a resolution opener! That's really good. Okay, so let's do a resolution opener. So resolution is going to be good on the bonus enemies. Um, because they were going to get to undead. So I need to kind of position myself a little bit good here. Okay, so we have a course coming. I'm going to potion here. I'm going to strength because we can then down things in two kills. We do the resolution here. So what's good about this and the control is that we're stunning the patrol. So one strat I recommend is that you would want to, uh, if you see a lot of patrol, is to rezo no matter what. Because they do get down in two hits, especially with the strength on. Uh, and that's really, really useful to eliminate the whole idea of getting kind of trapped, uh, trying to get trapped with patrols in here. So that's one way to handle it. Okay, we'll see if I can get through this. No, 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 no. Okay, being a little annoying here. I think I got that one. No mouse, by the way. Let's go. Okay. I'm not gonna get that one. So we have three kills in the bag already. Keep my strength in one is a huge advice. Yeah. Because there's two there's two reasons why, which I didn't explain, Ricky. But there's two reasons why. One, it just so happens that you pick up a lot of a lot of strength in this set. Strength and seal are just common. But also, you're you're nearing the end. You're not saving it for a boss, right? So, um, you don't have to hold on to it. You don't have to keep it capped. If you just keep it at one and save that one for like a, a crucial moment, you know, whether you're walking into a, a gloom floor, you don't have serenity or something like that, that's where it would come to play. Um, and the steals you want to again hold on as long as possible because things are going to get harder later as opposed to earlier. And that's where that kind of thought process did. I didn't explain that, but that's more or less why it is the reason. Uh, the Hippograph. Okay, he didn't move. It's gonna be like, he's gonna move soon, he did. Hippograph is fine, we would handle Hippograph like we've been doing apes and wolves and everything. The fly traps are your best targets because they attack so slow with a range attack. They're bad for melee, but they're wonderful for a machinist. Um, here we're kind of surveying the land to see what else I can go. Let's go pull this fly trap here so you can see. Watch your ricochet because they are stuck in the middle, but you'll see they're gonna attack really, really slow here. Also watch your backs and everything, make sure there's no more patrols. Uh, the hippos are sights, the traps are sound. So we can get around a lot of things in here without too much of a problem. Uh, I killed the one patrol that was floating around. There was only one, so it was just there, so we eliminated it, and I guess there's no more. We're out. Okay, so I would suggest take the time here. 
I've only used the strength. We can get the silk. We can get this one down. Uh, we'll get this one, and then off we go to the next floor. Oh, there's another one. Wait, where'd you come from? He must have walked past us. I guess there was another one. <laughs> yeah, it snuck around there. Pretty sure it wasn't a spawn. This is a blinded floor, I believe. Okay, this is a blinded floor. Okay, uh, I did lose sprint, so let's pull a uh, hippo. Uh, this one first. Three minute one, yeah, because we got that resolution quick, the quick, the quick out, the resolution. Although the fortune kind of didn't really help, but we did, we got some jobs there. Also, I forgot to do an alteration. I usually do an alteration uh, for this floor, the next floor, but it's alright. I got kind of excited on that first floor, so let's actually set that up while we're waiting for this course to go. I did fight a course before uh, without steel, however, we have blind on, so the longer and longer this fight goes, the more deadly this thing is, so with blind, it's not a good idea. Maybe in the next floor if we can do it, um, but I will not pull him right now. I do want to fight him though. We're going to do a hippograph next once these guys go. Oh god, yeah, just dive into the room, yeah, thank you. Come on. Yeah, good. Okay, we play the kiting game with this dude. Once my sprint is at 2 seconds, I'm gonna do leg raise to continue the kiting. So here I do leg raise. So as you see, he is still not caught up with me. That is Machinist at his finest right now. Boom, easy game. We do the mummy next. Okay. Mummy does the same it's it's been doing in all the other floors. It just does rotten bandages and it does some single attacks. It does hit fairly hard if you're just standing there, but it's not too bad at all. Uh, just like this. My favorite is when you fight something, when you're fighting something and a new spawns on top of you. Bruh. It's not my favorite thing, okay? Hey Ben! Oh, thanks Ben. I'm gonna hopefully not disconnect. That's it. <laughs> That's all I hope for. Please, for the love of God, let's not disconnect. Oh my god. Uh, oh, that's a that's a that's a treasure. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, so how do we manage treasure? The first treasure that's actually bothered me right now. Uh, got a lust back. So actually, you know what's funny is that this treasure is actually not a problem. I just sneak right past here, no problem. Uh, easy game, no problem. As intimidating as it was, it wasn't intimidating at all. They gave me a spot. Uh, so the chorus right there is proximity. The mummy's proximity. The fly trap again is sound but they are all kind of in the middle, so it really wasn't too big of a problem. I'm a little worried about this hippo, but I'm gonna move along here. I'm gonna tactician here, because I gotta stand here for a bit. So we gotta mitigate some damage while we're staying here. Gotta let that course go. In this room in particular, you should be safe on the side. Uh, we were talking about leaning patrols, but they shouldn't lean into this area, because we're down the staircase. Okay. I see the exit. Uh, let's take care of another trap because it'll be easier to fight. I find treasure rooms where my biggest enemy costs me time. Yep. The most difficult thing with treasure rooms is basically you need to carve a path to the exit. So you don't want to just pull willy-nilly. You don't want to necessarily pull what's easier. You want to pull, you want to carve a path to either one corner or the other. Make your way through it. Or you can sack yourself. Also a strategy just to basically go and sack yourself and get to the other side, if it looks like it's too tragic. I'm gonna let this patrol go. Again, I'd love to pull him, but with blind on it's really risky, because I may not kill it in time. Wait for it to see where it goes, it's going to its left, so I need to make a note that it is behind me, because I'm gonna go forward. If you try to learn the 101 plus, do you get enough palm solo when you start? Yes! Mm -hmm. You really don't even care about palms until like 1, 1 30 if anything. Um, I mean, unless you're just like skipping chests all the time, you're gonna be fine by then. One, two, three, four, five.
get it to the other side. Let's check the chest first in case it's a mimic. And then my pull priority here is the fly trap because it's the easiest, followed by the hippograph, uh, followed by the mummy, which is the second easiest. Uh, get the list back, which is fine. Let's pull this one. Strength is going down, but I'll probably up the strength on the next floor, not this floor, even if we need more kills. I'm staying here because the mummy is kind of blocking me right now. I don't have a path uh, across the room. Okay, now I do. However, that hippograph is in a bad spot. I have to actually go this way. We're out there. Um, we should be safe from the mummy because it's proximity, it's not too close. I definitely didn't want to go the other side with the, with the hippo. Hippograph just moved there, so we are cleared to the exit. Let's go. Two floors down, ten minutes in. What's bad about pulling F? Um, in this situation, my running room is not great. I would need a lot of running room, plus if I had patrols floating around. So, if I had a lot of running room or the spawn room, they're okay. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a little bit tougher in this situation. Alright, we got Corgans here. And no items. Alright, so here's a good challenge for us. No items, let's take care of it, shall we? That's a treasure room. With a whole bunch of proximity enemies. Man, if that's the exit room, I'm totally screwed. I can't even see it visually. It is not the exit room, thankfully. Do, do, do. Holy dragons? Well, they're unholy dragons, actually. Dragon. They are proximity. Pulling with sprints. One. As a reminder, this is no item. And now I, I regret not popping the strength, but it is what it is. What is the lore reason why the environment looks- uh, I don't know actually, Alpha Squared. I'm not sure. Um, we have lore up to I think 100, but past that I actually don't know. I get hit once. <laughs> I get hit once and it's like, he like crits me half HP. Um, okay, let's pull the other one. One. Watch my ricochet. Oh, watch my ricochet. Yeah, yeah, watch my ricochet. A lot of jobs cannot do this. A lot of jobs cannot survive this. Um, with no items, you're probably using it, period. But, not quite for this job. I know there's a patrol. Okay, I need to wait. It's a soul from the tears of the runners. Well, that's, that's like, that's our lore. I don't know if it's the game lore though. I mean, it could be the game lore. It could be Yoshi P game lore. Alright, we gotta wait for them all to get out of here. Sometimes, so when a patrol goes into a room, they'll either go left, right, or down the middle. And they can either go short or they can go long. So like for instance, this thing is not going to circle around and get to me. He just walks a straight path and walks back where he came from. So it's something to definitely keep in mind if you're not used to that. If they pick a path, you're good. You know? You don't have to like do a, some type of dance or something. I guess I don't get to fight a course though, because um, I, I think they disappear by the next floor and I'm not pulling it in this floor. So, only one I didn't fight. But we did kind of handle them with a the resolution. But I did do it last time, uh, last week we did fight one. Um, maybe I'll just clip that and we'll show, showcase it there. But we did fight one. No steel, no strength. Uh, I think with strength, no steel. Now I gotta find the exit. The mummy would be next, but I gotta see what else we got. I mean, I have like a million dragons behind me, so that's also an option. Clearly we can fight a dragon. Uh, let's deal with the mummy while we're waiting. I'm gonna sprint here. Gonna watch out for that patrol, hopefully he doesn't come my way. Oh, is that another one? Oh, that is another one, okay. Good to know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now I just have to find the exit. 
To get out of this floor without using a Serenity and it's no items is very, very huge. Very huge. Um... Because Serenities are extremely precious, right? So you don't want to burn a lot of that. No. But I'm stuck here. You don't want to keep burning them. You want to get as high as you can without using them. Because the debuffs can get really bad up here. I mean, especially Gloom Floor. Gloom Floor damage down in the later floor we need to do resolution is just really tragic. So you don't want to run into that. So hold on to those Serenities as long as you can. And, and honestly, getting used to kind of a challenge here like this um, will be a good practice too if you can do it on the lower floors. Because you can do this on the lower floors too. It's just you have to have the confidence to pull it off, obviously, or the practice to pull it off. Okay, there's no... and the dragons here are now proximity, like I mentioned. The dragons in 141 are a sight, so you can kind of get around them, but not in this case. I'm not going to check a chest anymore. And the reason for that is because, um... The main reason for that is just if it's a mimic, then I'm just it's just a waste of my time. I, I really don't need to deal with them. Um, I think I need to wait for this patrol. I don't think I can beat the patrol. I might, actually. Oh, actually, I will. Okay, I got lucky. I beat him. I actually exited out of... I, I exited out of uh, my RP walk a little early. I was like, oh wait, the trap is like right there. We got through that. Good. Sounds like multiple debuffs, so that's not cool. Uh, oh, that's not bad. Okay, let's do another affluence into another alteration here. Strength again. Low HP, so I need to mine that. Is that appeal? Why yes, I shall. How do you feel Sage and Reaper played Pals Dead Heaven on High? Uh, great. Do you think the 6.0 changes to melee... changes to melee... Wait. Do you think the 6.0 changes to melee change your melee order in terms of completion? I do put Reaper top tier for melee. Uh, but it is still a melee. But Reaper was incredible in here. Like, it was... Honestly, mind-blowing how well it was in specifically Palace. It was great in Heaven on High too, but Palace Dead, you were just ripping things apart. <clears throat> like, I, I, I legit was getting to the boss in, like, record time. Um, faster than even Machinist at the time. It was so good, but... The thing is, I always put the disclaimer that I have the other four melee in my... in, in the bank. I've, I've cleared in the other four. So that really has helped my attempt on, on specifically Reaper. If, if I didn't have that experience, Reaper would be very tricky. But if you are comfortable with melee, and you know how to do the melee, Reaper is just really, really, really good. Really good. Okay, Aramon is bad for me, because an Aramon does casting and it's really hard to mitigate that damage, plus I have HP down. So something to bear that in mind. Um, hmm. Two Aramon. Let's do the trap right here. I won't be bothered by the, by the course in this position. You gotta watch my Ricochet here. If I fight the Aramon, I'd have to steal, because it would be a lot, a lot of incoming damage and it is a caster. And I do have HP down. I'm not gonna do Heat Blast. Should be good to the Ricochet though. There are three fashions working around. Okay, we all going. Oh boy, one's coming this way. That's not good. I might have to steal up here. Yep, I'm gonna steal up here. We'll use the one steal in this one. Okay, so the fashion here, again, it's a caster. Look at that damage even with steal. I gotta stay close. So what it'll do is it'll do L5 death and just run behind it. But you gotta stay close. If you're kiting this thing, he will not do L5 because he has to be close range for L5. So you gotta make sure that you're staying close. This is with steal, by the way, guys. This is nonsense with steal. That's why I had to steal. Hope that was clear. I'm gonna pull the next one since we're gonna take care of them now. One, two, three, four, five. That initial pull is rough because he casts three. After that, he'll cast two. Onward. We're fighting it. Can't you use arms like so they're cast? No, they don't melee. Uh, they only do casting, so if they melee, I can do that. But they do not melee. I gotta wait for the cast. Okay, we're running here. 
good idea, but they don't they don't hit you. Tactician. I was late. Getting close. Feels L5. It another way to do it, you could kite, but if you get in after the second cast, it should be good. A lot of patrol. Oops, sorry. One, two, three. Just for the sake of argument, I'm gonna arm slank here because I barely use it. Uh, we'll arm slank here. So it's just casting, so it doesn't get applied because he's not hitting me melee wise. So no, no, uh, no application on the slow. One. If you wish and cast her, ooh, that you know, Ricky, that's true. What Ricky did say, if you want to kind of go advanced like that, but in all honesty, I mean, you should kill it in the witching. <laughs> But that is, that is a fair, a fair thought there. If you witching, it will melee you, therefore it will get slow. But by the time it hops out of slow, it's, it's gonna be a, it, it'll be... By the time slow goes out, then... Yeah. yeah, there's a chest there, but I don't think there's the exits here. Yeah, this is the Karen of turn, so we're just gonna go. If you rage, you don't need to slow them, also true. Fashion turn, oh my god, yeah, no thanks in the gloom. They just, they're just chucking like literal like boulders at your face. Um, let's do the trap here. Is there anything over here? Uh, yes, there is a chest over there. But these are proximity. The biceps are all proximity. Hippos again are sights, so we got sight, sight, proximity of the biceps. Over there we got we got prox, prox. I could get to the chest if I get past this other one. But we're out, so we're just gonna go. Do I get this hippogram? I don't think so. Okay, we're good. To the next. 39, walking into the fifth floor with still full palms here. Head of the buff seal. I mean, they're good. I mean, machine is great right now. It's hard to really kind of pull a specific feeling on it, but it's, it's a good feeling so far. Another treasure. Uh, alteration again. We have three mimics up here, and I got the steel back. I'm gonna do another... Well, actually, wait, wait. 96, wait, 96, 96, oh, okay, so I can just do flights from now on. Here, gotta find the exit, wait, uh, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay, I can do sights. Let's do a sight here. Okay, I found the exit. Stay close, 1, 2, 3, Four, five. All right, so we said we're gonna pull everything, right? So let's actually go pull a bicep here. Biceps do a tank buster. Also, those rates, as you can see, they shoot from afar. Biceps do a tank buster. That's glass punch followed by catapult. Gives you a little bit of time to recover. Uh, that's basically all they do. We're gonna be utilizing this um, this lovely donut room to kite around for a bit. Very useful. Alright. Wraith next. So you saw what an Onyx Dragon does already. A Wraith will do like the Heaven on High Wraiths. After a couple minutes, after a couple seconds, sorry. They're going to do a uh, Scream. And then they're gonna follow by a Curse of Pox. Honestly, in this situation, I would just recommend just not stopping it. Uh, I mean, you could, but then he'll come at you. So you can keep him afar like this, because he'll be stuck casting, and then it gives you some time to just keep wailing on him with your gun. And then now he has to chase you, and it's really easy. So so don't bother interrupting it. Um, you could in a pinch, but you don't have to. Do you need to open chest at this point? Um, You don't need to. I mean, I could still get to make this a little smoother, Dula Knight. And all honesty, what you don't want to do is you don't want to open chests like if you've already opened the exit. Like if you've opened the exit and you've got a path right now, like I have a path to the exit. We flight 96, we flight 97, we rage 98, we rage 99. Um, you don't have to. If you want points, I guess, but yeah. I mean, for me, the other thing that you want to think of is um, when you you have three serenity, right? You could get really bad debuffs from 96 also. 
So if anything, maybe hunting down another Serenity or something if you use one would be a good idea. Just especially for your first clear man, you, you don't wanna you don't wanna take it too too uh too calmly if you will. Alright, so I'm gonna pass this one. I'm gonna fight the knight so I can show you guys the knight. The knight does um the knight will do a death spiral, which is a gigantic AoE around it. Uh, I heard it doesn't kill you, but I'm not quite sure if I want to step in it right now. It will then do its normal tank buster stuff. It's like double attack tank buster stuff. In about, I, I believe, 30 or... I don't know, it's like 45 seconds it'll enrage, soft enrage. It'll do an attack bonus and a defense bonus. Um, but that usually doesn't become a problem unless you, you are in a gloom floor or you're fighting multiple of them. I think we fought everything up to here. The only thing I didn't fight was the patrols. That's the only thing we missed so far. Oh, I literally forgot about that. Okay. I'm gonna check the chest if I don't aggro. Safety. Alright. Let's we'll do the knight because the knight's right by the exits. Okay, watch out for death spiral here. My steel is dropping. I do see it. I'm gonna probably re-up it real soon. One... Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna re-up the steel right now. I'm also gonna re-up the strength as well. Strength goes in. Because I basically only need strength for the next two floors and this one. Since it'll flight the next two. Also, just add a superstition, guys. This is a superstition thing. I do not like using alterations past like 94 or 95. Um, because if you get treasure and mimics, it could really, really just cost you a lot. Um, and especially for 97, 98, 99, because you get mostly undead enemies, uh, and you're probably gonna plan to either rage or resolution them, to change a room into mimics or something can be a little detrimental and cost you a little more time. So I actually stopped using alteration, uh, by like 96 or something. So from here on, I will just not use them anymore. Now again, superstition. You can still benefit off of, of the Corgans. The Corgans are still going to be really good, but I played safe like that. It's really funny because, uh, like, like Mr. Happy, who was watching the videos, he knew that I hate using alterations in the higher floors, but he went for gamble, and he did it anyway. And actually, that was the reason he got he got to 200, was because he used an alteration for 199, and he got Corgans on top of the exit. And he was, he was basically strained for resources, and he got kind of a, a gift, if you will. Uh, but it was luck, because it could have been Mimics and it could have ended the run, but he got Corgan. So, I mean, look, the gamble can be useful. It's just your call if you want to do it. I just, I kind of go, like, a safer route. I kind of go for more the secure route, if you will. Hey, Darabon. Hey, going well so far. I'm still here, so that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a good thing, you know? So here I'm gonna check the chest after uh, we kill this thing. Streamer luck. Hey, you know what is actually really nice about... Technically nice about last week, Doga? Even though we disconnected. Is that we just got right back up here. Like this is just, I never... I didn't do Machinist until we got back here this week and... Look, we, we basically essentially duplicated the process. Of course if you're talking about uh, Mr. Haps, that's a little different, but... He had like 20 million attempts, you know? He needed, he needed one to help him out. Have I tried Samurai? No, see Octavarius, that's not how you put it. It's not, have I tried Samurai since the Kaiten removal. It's have I tried Samurai since they added in Shinten. <laughs> that's the thing. Because Shinten is like, damn, I, I'm actually kind of going to be excited to try, to try it uh, with it. Alright, so we're gonna fight in Gloom, uh, just to kind of be like, hey, this is how it is in Gloom kind of thing. How you binge for TD so long? You know, it's 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 the fact that you can do other jobs. Like, the fact that I change jobs and when we do these different challenges, and then, you know, we're helping other people get clears. I think that's what's helped me. If I'm just here just to clear, I think I'd be long done by now, right? If I only wanted the one clear, if I wanted the title, I'd be long done by this, but... We found ways to make this a lot of fun, and there's still more and more people who want to get in here, so we'll be here for that. Keeping it updated. You know. Okay. Not to mention, like, you know, it's, it's, it makes it even fun, more fun with the updates, right? The jobs change around, um... 
so on and so forth. You got the expansion, so it kind of helps like keeping it fresh on my end. It's like, okay, we gotta go back in. The videos before are all obsolete. We gotta do it again. And that's why we're back on Machinist because of that specific fact. Um, that, um, what do you call it? It's a different job than it was before, and people are still using the videos, so you want to keep it up to date, you know? Gotta stay close because of the... So not too bad with Strength and Steel right here. We're doing the Fashion right here. I have no other heals though, so I gotta be careful here. Gonna stop the next stone. Okay. L5 coming in. Actually, I didn't realize they were coming that fast. They kind of scared me a little bit. Moving back to the next Fashion. Here, in this situation, I'm just gonna go for the for the exit here. Because I'm probably gonna get the exit after these four kills, if, if not less than that. Nothing too crazy, and then I have Serenity all the way up- Oh, that Fashion's coming in tight. Okay. <clears throat> Second stone, followed by L5. Should be coming in, yeah? Nope, it's not. Okay, pull the next one. Machines get stronger every patch. Yeah, they do. Honestly, Machinist right now does, like, someone asks, like, how does Machinist feel with the updates and potency increases? I mean, I gotta say this. It does feel even comfier now. But, 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 the last time I took it, Machinist really seriously was, like, you know, Shadowbringers. So it could be I just also just gotten better, which is something I do want to take into account. You know, that I've just gotten, became a better player, a lot smoother in here. That could be part of it. It's hard to tell, honestly. Another passion coming in. We're not out of here yet. Okay. I have a potion here. But the enemies keep coming at me, so that's convenient. Trying to fight through this, especially because it's flighted. Really huge deal. Because it saves me the serenity, and we're about to walk into the last three. I will go for a learning and try and gunbreaker. Uh, first and see if I can see if I can do it during Endwalker. Hell yeah, dude, let's go. Jumpbreaker's good. I mean, look, it hasn't. That's a job that hasn't changed too. I mean, it's still good. Oh my god, that's five kills. All right, let's go for six. I guess I, I see, it, dude. Have I considered doing Red Mage Showcase like you did? I actually did two weeks ago, but I died. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I. The thing is, I'm gonna go pretty hard on Red Mage soon to prepare for the next Deep Dungeon. Um, right now, the Machinist was a little bit of a higher priority because uh, I'm I'm seeing more and more comments on the current one. People are running into like the 100 boss and having issues, so it's like I want to get into this. This is also partially an excuse to farm some pot shirts because I need them for Astro. So I am trying to clear Astro, but I need pot shirts. Um, so it's a partial excuse. I did try to do a no sustaining red mage, but that ended a little earlier than I wanted to, but... I know, look, I would love to get back on red mage. I, I will, but we'll see if it's sooner rather than later. Alright, what's up, Pin, by the way? So let's set up a lust... Uh, I'm sorry, let's set up a flight affluence here. I can re-up the strength and seal because we're walking to the last three. Speed on lost. You're right, I should have said by now. You're right, Pin. Hey, well, we get the last three, so let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna probably rezo here. I'm gonna re-up the strength and steel. And we're probably gonna resolution a bunch of fight a bunch of enemies here. So one thing that's good is that the Gormon in particular is a stunnable enemy. So if you're fast, you can do three taps on this before he gets to you. That's one. That's two. This is where we're practicing that uh, the 140 boss is going to be good. If you can do three taps on the 140 boss, then you can do three taps here. Um, bear in mind that they've definitely changed around. I think I think it, it's an option that you have to set up, but you could put an option in your ground targeting where you can double tap the same button. So I have it on my one key right now, and I can hit that instead of hitting enter or confirming it, <clears throat> which is really useful for sure. Uh, I'm gonna respect this Gravekeeper here. Let's kill him. Crap. Okay, next one. We are raging the last two, so this is gonna be pretty, pretty comfy right now. So just kinda eliminating and getting to the end. Alright. 
Now there's the exit. Oh, I lost the thing. Check here. Got my resolution back. Cool. I'm gonna check this chest as well. If it's a mimic, it's not a big deal. Let's steal. Okay, that's good. Straight to the exit. Let's go. But I can't help but feel super, super squishy. Red Mage takes a little finesse to, to that job, for sure. I love the job, but it, 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 it honestly asks you to play at such a high level, and that's why I love it a lot. Alright, here we're gonna get to the end. I'm gonna get through this floor. And there's the exit already. And there's a treasure room. Uh, pop the potion, pop this. Let's do a rage here. Get a couple kills here and then go to the exit. I think that's good actually. Let's go to the exit now. <coughs> Four kills here, huh? Here, RP walk. Get the aggro. Let them come to you. Don't be too greedy and just run up to them. Let them come to you. Especially because of that. Walking. Gravekeeper is proc is sound. Gravekeeper makes me feel very comfy, and that's the reason why I can't machine this. That's understandable. Let's get a good song here, huh? We'll take the electric slide. Well, haste is actually kind of nice. <laughs> All right, so let's kill a couple things intentionally, shall we? Gravekeeper, let's go. So the reason why the gravekeepers are bad is because they just hit you really, really hard, and that's why they suck. You also, I believe, cannot wait them. Oh, you could! Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I've learned things. This is why I don't pull these. I don't know anything about them. When you, when you never pull them, you don't know anything about them, right? <laughs> Look at the damage, dude, through steel. Alright. Gubu. So here I'm just gonna basically be able to show you guys what these things do, because we just haven't done that yet. Beatdown is gonna come in from the Goo Goo. Heavy damage. A lot of freaking Gravekeepers though, that's not cool. Look, if you had to fight them, you can with Steel on, but man, it's gonna be tough, for sure. Is there anything else we haven't pulled? Did they pull everything? I guess I have pulled everything, huh? Just a bunch of Gravekeepers, alright. I got a Mimic. Let's do a Mimic. Um, yeah, it looks like I pulled everything. Oh, I can get the bunch of... Double autos is scary. It's scary without running room, too. I didn't have too much running room. Okay, I can get that bronze chest now. I, I could rage! So I can absolutely rage here. But what I wanted to also do is just show you guys all the other enemies that we that we just haven't fought yet. That's why I'm doing it on purpose. I have double raising, so if anything goes really bad, we can just take care of it. I had a strength and steel here, so we can at least showcase that. But yeah, I just may as well take advantage of this. But I think I've killed everything. The only thing I basically didn't fight was the courses on the on the first set of floors of the patrols. That's it. Let me just double check on the other room. Uh, Gubu, Wraith... Yeah, I don't think there's anything left, so I can just exit out of here. Uh, Gubu there... Gravekeeper... Alright, well, we did everything, so let's just get out of here, shall we? Be careful with these pulls. Making it look easy. Well, it is, it is, it is the top job from Shadowbringers, after all, but, you know... Still, it's still good. How's Machinist? It's still good. That's all you need to know, it's still good. Potchard. 38 Potchards, uh, but I have to use a couple to get there. Well, time to back my PUTD venture in Saturday. Kyle, let's do it, man. Is that a frog? Was that a frog trap? Oh. Well, dude, you gotta type that faster, man. I guess get over there. There we go, that's Machinist for you guys. Nice, comfy, casual climb up to 200, you know? Didn't even break a sweat. But that's what Machinist can do to you. Um, I'm really happy we got to fight literally everything. We fought basically every enemy in this, in this game mode. Oh, 
BIS glass pumpkin. Let's go. We fought basically everything in this game mode. I just missed the patrols, which we didn't get to fight because I just didn't have an opportunity to do so. Uh, but we did that, so that's good. Nice. I like dude that that's actually good enough. I don't need to go crazy with the shot. Alright, machine is cleared. Will I be doing black mage tutorial? Oh my god. I have to okay, here's what has to happen. I need to get I need to get um Astro has to get cleared. I gotta clear Astro, because I'm I'm chasing the Omni clear, so Astro needs to happen. Uh but I still am kind of massaging that to see until I get the enough pot shirt. So not, so so Astro will happen at some point. But once Astro's done, like I mean, sky's the limit. I can do a lot of things. But Yeah, June, you you literally arrived just in time. <laughs> hey guys, thank you for watching that. I'm glad I finally got this done. You know, we disconnected last week in 193. Palms were great last week. We came back in this week and the palms are great again. So, uh, machine is good. That's all I can tell you. Uh, if anything, it, again, it's it's a nice way to validate how the job is just really strong. That you can go back to back to back. I remember people asking me one time, what is your clear rate? And it was hard for me to ever say that because it's like, well, I've never really taken a job back to back. You know, I've always changed jobs, so it's hard to tell you what a clear rate is. But look, Machinist was successful twice in a row, so... You know, it, 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 it's a great job. But hey, you gotta work it. I mean, I have a lot of experience here, so it's it's about transferring that experience to you guys so that you can take it in and you can have the same success. But this is definitely going up on YouTube, clearly. And if you guys have any more questions, please, I, we are here, the community is here to help you get these clears. Um, you want Necromancy, you want Lone Hero, we will help you. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Uh, Lily and Limit Break, appreciate that. Uh, Discord, come on Discord, dude. Discord's busy. You got questions, people are just like answering them. Sometimes I don't even get to the questions. Like someone in the community just already has the answer. I'm like, okay, I'll just sit back and let them go. Um, so you got a lot, a lot of people wanting to help. You have a lot of people wanting to get for the titles. We had a couple fresh necromancers coming today. Um, so it, it's popping, you know? So come on into Discord. Twitter's where I know to go live. And you'll see this video showing up on YouTube maybe sometime next week. And this will be the new live tutorial. I will keep the old one available. But this will be the new one, the updated one, and, and all that stuff. So um, Discord is pretty good. Hey guys, I appreciate that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow for PvP. If you want to see PvP, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, where's my ranking at? We are Crystal here. So we're not bad. I'm having fun with it. I'll do it for a few hours. We'll do some PvP. And then we'll be back on Sunday, probably for Astro. Miss Kiriari! <gasps> Yo. By the way, let's do some shoutouts. Miss Kiri's here. Also, Ben. Ben, by the way, is working on his own attempts. Am I going to bed? I am going to bed. It's late. It's 3 a.m. I know it's early for you, but it's late for me. <laughs> also, Mr. June. Raid, Raider extraordinaire. But yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate y'all being there. That's true. <laughs> hey, thanks for popping in. Alright, guys. Let's see who we can say hi to today. Shall we? Um, Who we got? Who we got in the directory that we can poke and be like, yo, what up? Um, me, always. Oh, I'm going to find someone new. And then at the end of the day, it's like, oh, we'll just go to like Todd or something. Um, but let's it'd be great if someone... There's no one ever doing Deep Dungeon, at least at this hour. I always wish they were, but it never happens. But thank you guys for being here. Um, oh yeah, Sunday we're gonna do Astro again because uh, I that was a donation incentive for me to do Astrologian. Um, and I'm gonna do it until I eventually clear Astrologian, so that's what we got. Um, what are you doing? Hold on. Oh. Let's see. Well, what, are you Wait, what are you doing? Let me see this. She's just chatting. Okay, let's go over here. Let's go visit uh, my good buddy, because she's just chatting. I think they're looking at the Johnny Depp trial. <laughs> I'm sure that'll keep you guys entertained. Let's go to Darian. She drew something really awesome recently on, on Twitter. She's just such an amazing artist, but she's a good friend of mine. She's also the leader of Team Drifter. Also, True Guru. Hey, thanks for the Prime Gaming. I really appreciate that. Let's go visit. Let's go drop you off at Darian's stream, shall we? Thank you again. Have a good one, guys. I hope to catch you tomorrow or Sunday, something like that. Uh, have a good night. Good luck with the ultimates, all of you guys who's doing it. Good luck with that. We'll catch you next time. Wait now. Let's go, guys. <laughs>